What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for you. another live fight companion. Today, we got a little glory collision six. That is right. The prelims are on right now. Three free prelims for you guys on YouTube. So follow along on YouTube. We got two more fights. Main card which is a nine-fight main card, if I'm not mistaken. A few championship fights as well, starting in 56 minutes. My apologies to our loyal subscribers and friends who expected me to be up very early to watch Ryzen. Got up about half an hour into the event, had some connection issues, had some power issues, and I said, screw this, I'm going back to bed, and then slept through my, you know, I set my alarm for like an hour or two, hoping to catch the rest of the event, but... Uh, it is what it is, but we are here for glory, and we'll we'll do some sort of content for Ryzen later as I bought the pay-per-view, so I'm certainly going to be watching it later today, likely after the UFC, uh, but for all of you who are up this morning watching Ryzen, you guys are the real MVP. Please don't spoil anything for me as I, I mean, I'm going to stay off Twitter for a little bit here. We're going to be watching some glory kickboxing as these next two fighters enter the ring. All right, as we start off here, ladies and gentlemen... Second prelim of the day. And again, you can follow along on YouTube. We have Drew Robin Sirich, 21 and 6 as a pro. 7 KO TKO. He was part of that reality show, House of Glory, much like you know the ultimate fighter. I see. Uh 3 and 3 in glory as well. Okay, maybe he wasn't the one making uh he wasn't the one. I think, yeah, this cat was the one in the House of Glory. Three and one is a pro one KO fighting out of Morocco. And uh, he's zero and one in glory. I'm putting my money on Sirich. He's the number fifth ranked welterweight going up against a young cat coming off this reality show. <laughs> young cat in the promotion. So yeah, I'm going with Sirich on this one. I'm going with Sirich on this one. Uh, shout to Glory again, as always. Their, their website is awesome. They fill... All their fighter profiles with amazing stats, accurate stats. And uh, since we don't really have like a a, a, a box rec for kickboxing, uh, it's on Glory. It's on One, which they don't do to, to put out a lot of good information on their website. Again, if you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chats. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we're doing UFC right after this. and. Likely, I'll post some postcard ri uh, rise in content later today. As uh, again, my my apologies for missing it this morning. Yo, yo, yo! What's up, Irish animal? Great to see you. Great to see you. All right, like I said, fighters are being announced in the ring. I'm gonna go with Robin Sirich. He is the more experienced fighter, more experienced glory fighter, more experienced kickboxer, and he's the fifth ranked. What, what do you say? Welterweight in the division. All right, guys. Round one coming up here. And again, if you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction. If you're following along, you can watch on Glory YouTube. That's where I'm watching the prelims. And I just bought the pay-per-view. I just bought the pay-per-view. Uh, this time from Fight TV in the United States, I can buy it right from the Glory website. Anyways, round one, ladies and gentlemen. What is up, Zek? <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Back in Canada, West Coast, my power was out this morning, so I ended up not streaming Ryzen. I went back to bed and did not wake up until like half an hour ago. <laughs> but it's good to be home. All right, two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock here. Sirich with the white gloves. Uzi, uh, Uzgini with the black. Uzgini with an outside low kick there. Uzgini, longer legs for sure here. Definitely the more lankier fighter. Not necessarily taller. Nice straight left and a right there by Sirich. A couple knees on the entry there, the tie clinch by Uzgini. Again, Zek, it's great to see you, buddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at them at my uh, sister. I'm staying at my sister's house, but visiting my parents and... Uh, some friends out here for a month. I will be in Vancouver, so I'll, I'll hit you up. I'll be in Vancouver a couple times, actually, so I'll hit you up. Inside low kick there by the young prospect. 
Throwing an uppercut was Sirich. Didn't land. Outside low kick did, though. And he's Gini. He's being aggressive here. He's getting tagged with those low kicks, with those hooks that Sirich is trying to employ aren't meeting their mark. They clinch it, separate one minute and 32 seconds on the clock. Double left jab, going for the inside low kick again was Uzgini. Nice combo there by Uzgini. Keeping Sirich on the back foot. Sirich tries to throw left. Uzgini lands a nice combo there. There's that uppercut that Sirich has been chasing, though. Well, Sirich is mixing it up well, as the broadcast does mention there. He was chasing that uh, hook for a little while, and the uppercut at least lands. Irish animal. Oh, uh, it's good, man. It's good. Oh, awesome. Is that okay? Well, I'll definitely hit you up, dude, on in the Discord and we'll we'll plan because I'm gonna do like a brewery tour in Vancouver. And I have some friends there that I'm gonna visit as well. One minute on the clock. Right hand by Uzgini. Not everything went through the guard there, but there's a nice hand right hand by Uzgini. Uzgini's looking good in this first round, though. Can he continue this pace, though, for the next two rounds? Guys, what I love about Glory, if you're new to watching Glory compared to, like, one kickboxing or K1, for example, see, the open scoring. Five judges, open scoring. It's a beautiful thing. You know exactly where we, we you know exactly where you're at. The fighters know exactly where they're at. Great first round, 35 seconds left. Body kick by Sirich. Uzgini, though, again, for a guy who's three and a one. I'm very impressed. Three and one up against Sirich, who's 21 and six, seven knockouts on his career. Uzgini's looking damn good given that pedigree. A couple body shots there, but Uzgini. 10 seconds on the clock. Yeah, each of them have the exact same stats. Oh! And a late knockdown by Uzgini. Oh my goodness, and getting the count here is Sirich. That's huge for his game. There's literally seconds left in this first round. There was literally one second left in this first round. That was huge for Sirich. Sirich just got the first round. Late round knockout there. Again, prospect versus veteran here, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, man. I'm sure I'm sure I'll cover a round or two as well. But uh no, yeah, I'm hopefully hope, hoping to do a brewery tour and then uh, visit some friends. So I'll let you know. I, maybe even hit up a Canucks game. I don't know. I haven't even looked at the schedule, but uh I was hanging out with Shane the other night, one of the exclusive members on the channel, and uh my buddy from Nanaimo. And he uh <laughs> and we watched the game with them just destroying the sharks. Okay, well, that was it for the first round, guys. And essentially, even first round on the stats until Uzgini. Got the knockdown. I love to go to the Canucks game. Let me know if you're thinking about it. Pfft, there you go. I am thinking about it. Oh, Senchai fighting right now? Let me know how that is. Guys, there's so much mixed martial arts. So last night, Cage Fury FC, LFA, uh, Karate Combat, one Friday fights, one fight night, okay? Today, Ryzen, Bare Knuckle, uh, Thailand, BKFC Thailand, round two starting here, guys. Um, UFC, Octagon, Glory. Like, it's just unbelievable. Two minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Oh, huge combos here. Yeah, 10-8 on every single judge's scorecards for Uzgini because of the knockdown. Love the open scoring. Yeah, Buakov versus Senchai. Good. I have so much fight. I have so much fighting to watch after we stream today. Like, after a full day of streaming... I have a whole evening of, of catching up on fights. I got to watch. I didn't end up watching all the K or LFA before bed last night. So I have LFA to watch. I have bare knuckle. I'm going to throw it down there by series. Two minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. I have bare knuckle uh, Thailand to watch. I have the rising card to watch because I already bought it and everything. I have. I think that's it. Oh, Octagon as well. Octagon as well. Two minutes on the clock here. We won the game 4-2. Nice, dude. This weekend is stacked. Yeah, like I said. Each of them have thrown 46 strikes. Again, who's getting credit with the knockdown? Literally one second left. One second left. Me and Sean Cavanaugh, the Shamrock Ravers game versus Ligo. Let's 
Straight left jab there by Sirich. Yeah, it's an awesome weekend, man. It's an awesome weekend for combat sports. Coming off a thin one last weekend. Like I said, it's, it's weekends like this that I wish, like, not that I had staff, but there was, like, other creators on the channel um, who, who we could all just cover all these at the same time. That's the goal down the road, though. Certainly won't be the last, you know, back-to-back -back consecutive days full of combat sports, right? Oh, dude, that's awesome. That's going to be so much fun. It's been so long since they've been, like, a successful team as well, so the vibes are going to be great. One minute on the clock here, they clinch. Way closer round, but again, it's Uzgini who's pushing the pace, even though I think Sirich is landing the better shots here the last minute and a half or so. Shout out to Glory, by the way. 16,000 people watching on their YouTube channel. That's awesome. Right hand by Sirich. Ooh, nice uppercut there by Uzgini as they just trade in the pocket. Again, Uzgini 3-1, and one, ladies and gentlemen. 3-1 and one coming into this one. Look at this. Going up against the veteran, the fifth-ranked fighter in Robin Sirich and winning the fight thus far. Because if Sirich wins this round, he's going to win 10-9. He's not going to get the 10-8. And Uzgini, constant pressure. No chance for Sirich to set anything up or really be on the offense other than throwing those leg kicks. Or sorry, those body kicks there. Nice right uppercut by Uzgini. And a left and a right by Uzgini. That left hurt Sirich there. They clinch. Going to break the record of BC Place. Wow. 37,000 tickets sold. I think that is amazing. What were the prices for them? Because um, I've never I've never paid more than like, I think like 25 bucks for MLS. Mind you, the team has been so bad. The Minnesota team costs a lot more. I was hoping Miami would come through Minnesota, but of course not. So. The morning Messi was traded, I still found like, $30 tickets in some markets that were playing them before they jumped to like a thousand. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. 1980 had uh 60,000. Yep. Where was that? What, what, uh, what pitch was that? Did they play? Cause obviously BC place wasn't built yet. I was, we were alive. I don't know if you were alive, but I was alive when BC place was built. I think you were Zach. You're close to my age. Irish Animal, we won the league for the fourth time. Nice, dude. Irish Animal, thanks so much for joining, buddy. All right, we're about to see the judges score from that second round again. Well, towards, yeah, 10-9 for Uzgini. Uzgini is well up. Sirich needs a knockout. Outside Loki by Sirich. 2017 on every single judges score. His guys, open scoring is amazing. Open scoring is amazing. Five judges, too, is amazing. Why can't the UFC at least get five judges? Put them all around the cage, man. But anyways, I know this is kickboxing. But if we're going to do 10-point must, which I hate, but if we're going to have 10-point must in MMA, might as well have open scoring. Might as well have two more judges. Uh, Iris, thanks for sharing, dude. That's awesome. I'm BCIT alumni, so I get discounts on Canucks and Whitecaps and Lions. Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is a BCIT student. You get that. I went to UVic. I get nothing like that. <laughs> not even for, not even for freaking BCHL. I see, actually, you know what? WHL, you get some student deals on. Nice right hand by Sirich. Sirich is upping his output here. Actually, you know what? As a student, I did get deals on WLA lacrosse, box lacrosse. You, uh, Vancouver has a few WLA teams. Um, shout out to the Victoria Shamrocks. 15 or uh, 15 or what was it? It was like 15 or 20 bucks for like six home games as a student. And I, I was a season ticket holder three years in a row. Ooh, a nice spinning heel kick attempt there by Sears when he falls to the ground. Uh, King, you each presenting all these fights is preventing me from chores, encouraging my combat addiction. Dude, there's so many fights out there. That's what I'm saying. This morning alone, BKFC Thailand, Rise in Landmark 7, Glory Kickboxing, Octagon, UFC. Then there's Japanese kickboxing for free on their YouTube channel, which I'll share later uh, at uh, 3 a.m. Eastern Midnight Pacific as well. I have so much MMA to catch up on. Ryzen in particular. Sorry about that, guys. Slept in anyways. And then uh, ended up sleeping in more. 51 seconds on the clock here in this third and final round. And again, unbelievable performance by Uzgini. And one, two, and a 
Low kick there by Uzgini. Again, Sirius was upping the output in this third round, but if Uzgini won that second one, he's definitely going to win this one as he's continuing to pl push the pressure here and getting more shots off in the pocket. Twenty-five seconds on the clock. Sirius, that uppercut has been dangerous. Second round on, I still can't believe Uzgini got the knockdown late in the first round. Fifteen seconds left on the clock. 12 seconds. High kick attempt by Uzgini. And yeah, Sirius just... I don't know what alarm that was for. Yeah, Sirius just not able to pull the trigger on those big combos, those fast combos. And that is it for the third round, ladies and gentlemen. Damn! I, I cannot believe it. I don't believe it. This guy right here. 3-1-0. and oh, Coming off the reality show, the, the House of Glory. I wonder if Sears took this on short notice. I'm not sure. I know there's a much like the UFC card has been in shambles. I know there's a lot of, uh, not maybe a lot, but there's like two or three last minute changes on this card as well. You should the UFC comes and offered you to commentate for them, but you only get a 3K week. Oh, Rovers, not Ravers. Sorry. Uh, for a 3K for for a UFC UFC show, I'd do it. Uh, it'll, bunny, it'll be funny with the, the top bowl open. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so what's one of your pregame spots when you go to town? I, I always used to go to the Pint. Especially for Canucks games because on one side, you got the good sports you know crowd. And you can all walk together to the, the arena. On the other side, you know, you got free entertainment. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I even went to the Pint uh, in the morning. It opened early when the Canucks hosted the draft. On day two, I went with uh, a buddy and had a bloody to start the day. All right, awaiting uh, the official decision, but Uzgini... Again, I imagine won that third round. He won the second round 10-9. He won the first round 10-8 with a knockdown on Sirich, guys. With a knockdown on Sirich. Unbelievable stuff. Again, if you're new to the channel, smash that like button. Uh, ring the bell for notifications. We do live fight companions every single weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, my apologies for not being able to do Ryzen this morning. Uh, I'll tell you the story. I'll tell you the story. This is why... Uh, this is why... We didn't do Ryzen this morning. So it started really, really early, and I'm on Pacific time now. So I was like, okay, whatever. It's better than starting at 1 a.m., starting at 6 a.m. I was up super late, so I was just like, I'm just going to like sleep half an hour anyways. We'll miss you know, a little bit of the opening ceremony, whatever. Uh, woke up at like 6.30 my time, so half an hour into the event, no power. And I waited like literally only like five, 10 minutes. And I was like, yeah, fuck this. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> and I went back to bed. I set my alarm for, I think, an hour ahead of time. So I was like, oh, I'll miss the first half of the card. Whatever. I will stream a chunk of it. We'll, we'll stream the, the, la the later half. And I just slept right through that alarm, apparently. So I woke up about 45 minutes ago and was like, you know what? It, you know, it, it's not worth doing two, three fights on like a whole stream and then jumping over to glory after late. We'll just jump into glory one fight into the prelims and continue to do the entire glory collision six card. And then we will jump right to UFC. Then uh, later tonight, I might even just stream as I watch uh, the rise and event and hang out with you guys. All right. Official decision. Again, we know who wins this one. 30, 26 all around ladies and gentlemen hit the Jamaican horns. Boom, 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 boom. Great win. Great win for Ismael uh, Uzgini. Four and one now as a pro, and one and one in the promotion. Uh, one more time, I'll show you guys here. And he said he's been training five or six weeks, so he's been preparing for this one. Yeah, now one and one in the promotion. Yeah, that's crazy, man. His opponent had way more experience than him. All right, we'll highlight these next two welterweights in just a moment. Uh, let's see if I can get more. Let's see if I can fit more on screen here, guys. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Uh, not sure. I usually just go last minute and leave as soon as, as it ends. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. For, uh, being from Vancouver Island, we always like made the most of like 
the event there because it was like, oh, we're going over via ferry and, and shit anyways. Um, usually, I usually I like take one of the first ferries and just go, go over early and make a day out of it. Like I said, I'm bored. No, fair enough. You're local. So I get it. I get it. I see like project disciples need to meet up a fight card in the future. Yeah, dude, we should. Even if it's like a regional, even if say like LFA goes to like a fun joint, say like LFA, you know, because the LFA ticket itself is not going to be that expensive. But if but if LFA goes to a like a fun destination, it'd be sweet to all meet up. I know eventually I'm going to meet Brian and Brittany at a, a Anthony Pettis event. All right, next two fighters here, man. We got uh, someone making their uh, glory kickboxing debut here. Gino Van Stinas, one and O oh, as a pro. I wonder if he's coming off that reality show as well. He's fighting out of the Netherlands. Uh, promotional debut and only second fight in glory kickbox or in pro kickboxing. Going up against a zero and one fighter in the promotion who is two and one with one KO. Okay, this one's a little bit more <laughs> even as far as their records going in this one, if you ask me. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, two and one, one knockout, which is 50% knockout ratio. <laughs> and uh, he has fought in the promotion before, like I said, zero and one. So again, this one's a lot closer. This one's a lot closer. Both from the Netherlands. And, uh, yeah, there's not really much more statistics on them since they're relatively new to the sport. Sounds like a vibe, though. Yeah, I like the pint. Um, you know, when, uh, you know, rest in peace 1040, but when TSN 1040 was living strong and, you know, it, it was it even died strong as their ratings were really good. But anyways, I won't get into that. Um, they would do a bunch of events and stuff at the pint, too. It's It's a cool little pub downtown. I think I even went there when uh, the Vancouver cannot or when Vancouver hosted the World Juniors. It's on YouTube, Irish Animal, a uh, Glory Kickboxing YouTube channel. Last fight for free on Glory uh, Kickboxing YouTube channel, and then it is going to be on pay per view. I just bought the pay per view in Canada. You can buy it on Fight TV. In the United States, you can buy it buy it right on um, Glory's website. And on Glory's website, if you click watch, it shows a, a link or it has a page which shows like every region in the world and how to watch it. Uh, Don Snow, by the way, 22 years of age, Gino Van Stinas. So, you know, I've actually seen Gino Van Stinas' last fight, to be perfectly honest. I remember this guy. What promotion was it in? I know who this guy is. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, wait. He, apparently, he took this one on shorter notice, too. I forget where I've, is it like a Romanian league or something like that. Anyways, uh, many of us couldn't afford a UFC 300 type ticket. Small organization venue allows more followers. Hang. Exactly. Like LFA cage Fury FC, something like that. But say, say they do like a show in Vegas or like somewhere. I don't know. Somewhere fun. Uh, just heard some Canuck talk. Maybe you've already mentioned the 10, one victory versus sharks. Yeah. I was hanging out with Shane. He was paying up some of his beer bets. And we were watching. I do this honestly. As much as I'm gonna like, I will praise the Canucks for that performance. It was a National Hockey League team. Uh, the Sharks look like look like a VIJHL team could have beat them. Uh, I'm gonna go with for this one. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going with Snow on this one. Locking it in. It looks like he's got. Uh, Looks like he's gonna. He looks like he's in there to knock someone out again. But again, this one a, a lot more even of a matchup compared to the last one, and it's crazy that again I don't know if he's the underdog or not. I should get bet bet uh, io up here or odds.io. Shanus is a little bit bigger though. Oh, he is a lot taller. No, I'm gonna stick with snow. I'm gonna stick with snow, and I'm gonna pull up the odds after this because I didn't even have that up. I'm I'm going with um, <laughs> I'm going with pure gut on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know your picks in live chat. Hey, they they are truly a rebuilding team, and hey, they might break a record as worst team in NHL history. Absolutely, 
Two minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Nice right hand by Sheamus. We'll figure it out, guys. We'll figure it out. Oh, a nice counter right there by Sheamus. Says Snow's the one who is pressing the pace as he moves forward. He's in the white gloves. Sheamus in the black. Outside low kick, but that was checked by Snow. Inside low kick by Snow. <laughs> the Braga says uh, Vancines looks like Anthony Pettis the way he fights. He kind of does. Nice right hand, left hand, and a right uppercut by Snow there. Good combos. He enters the pocket. High kick by Vancines. Again, Vancines taller. He is the bigger fighter. Huge welterweight. Nice right uppercut there by Snow. And Vancines with a good counter. Two minutes on the clock. Yeah, well, there's no one in that arena, Nick, in that game. But yeah, they do have to rebuild. Nice left to the body there. Uh, right uppercut by Snow on the exit. High kick attempt there, Vancinas. Snow's pressuring him into the corner. Vancinas escapes back to the center of the ring. One minute and 40 seconds. Swing and a miss on the leg kick by Snow. And a left and a right and a right uppercut there by Snow. Snow employing some good dirty boxing here in the clinch. When Snow cuts the distance, he's landing the better shots. Plus, he's just like making gamble. There you go. There you go. Yeah, we'll definitely make sure the state has uh, <laughs> allows uh, sports betting. Uh, Snow, the spinning heel kick attempt there. Stinas ha uh, has been landing uh, more strikes, funny enough, guys. 13 to 8, significant. 56 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick checked again by Snow. He's been doing a good job of, of checking the leg kick, but Stinas finally gets one there. I guess Stinas has been employing a good guard here, despite uh, Snow pressuring him more. A couple shots to the body there by Snow. Snow is doing a good job of mixing it up, though, when he's in the pocket. 35 seconds on the clock. Good high kick there by Stanis, right under, like right on the rib of Snow. 22 seconds on the clock. Oh, nice knee by Snow, man, on the entry there. Beautiful knee. I think that hurt Stenis a little bit there. Stenis covering up here. Oh, a nice right uppercut by Snow. 10 seconds left, left in a hook. A uh, couple left and right hooks there by Snow. Great ending sequence there. And Steen is trying to fight back, but Snow could have won back the round with that closing sequence. So, yeah, he puts up his glove at the end of the round, and I think he got that one too. Close round up until it wasn't, up until the final 15 seconds where... Oh, as we look on the replay here, Stenis has actually cracked him with some big shots as well. Snow, definitely the louder fighter in the second round. In that last sequence, there with a few with that knee to the body, followed by that just flurry of shots and some hooks. I'm going to give the first round to Snow, but Stenis did land some big shots. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Stenis did land some big shots. Around two coming up here, guys. Um, half an hour, 28 minutes to be exact until the main card starts three fight prelims here in glory collision six, which is awesome, which is awesome. Cause usually they only have two, sometimes even just one, but they do show free prelims, which is, which is great. And Ryzen also shows a free prelims on their YouTube channel as well, guys. They might take the video down though, after it's streamed. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, second round and look at that. The sun of course is peeking out now. Two minutes and 40 seconds. Stenis trying to employ spinning back fist there, but Snow with the pressure. Clinch by Snow. A couple knees. They separate. Two minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. Left by Snow. Beautiful overhand left. Stenis is swinging a miss with the right. A couple shots of the body there by Snow. 30 seconds in. Knee on the entry there by Snow. And a left hook by Snow. Stenis didn't like that. Two minutes and 20 seconds. Outside low kick by Stenis. Good head movement there by Snow. Snow trying to play that right uppercut. Good head movement by Snow. Snow's looking Snow's looking good. Snow's looking good. I know I picked him to win, so I'm cheering for him. 
No, I'm, I'm trying to call this as even as I can, folks, or as unbiasedly as I can. Two minutes on the clock here. Neither. Whenever uh, Snow is in the clinch there. Okay, it looks like only one judge gave the first round to Van Stenis. Four judges gave it to Snow 10-9. Nice left there by Snow. Yeah, because Van Stenis did land some hard shots and, and I think volume there uh, leading up to that last fury, flurry. But uh, Snow with that knee and that final push there was enough to win that round, in my opinion. Van Stenis throwing uppercuts here, but not landing. Snow landing more in the second round. One minute and 20 seconds on the clock. Stenis looking like he's getting a little tired here. Those shots of the body aren't helping. Snow pressuring him to the corner yet again. Knee to the body there by Snow, followed by a left hook. Snow, 38 shots landed. Van Stenis, 37, but Van Stenis looks gassed. Or it looks like he's starting to gas anyways. Uh, King James, they are... Oh, and there we go. Snow with the knockdown. Yes, they are. I'm watching them on uh, YouTube, King James. And I and I watch the prelims on YouTube in the States too. Getting the count here is Van Cenas. 43 seconds left in the second round. Snow, that's going to be a 10-8 for him, assuming Van Cenas doesn't knock him down too. But Van Cenas is just throwing caution to the wind. Left jab there by Snow. Snow ripping the body again. Snow with the right hand. Snow with the left. Knee by Snow. Oh, and Snow with the knee to the face, and he knocks down Van Stenis again in the clinch. Snow pulls Van Stenis down and knees him in the face, ladies and gentlemen, right in the nose. Van Stenis is bleeding. He's getting the second count of the round. 15 seconds left, and we are right back to it. Van Stenis has just been knocked down in the last 50 seconds twice and just throwing bombs to the body right now and hook combos here is Snow trying to finish this, and... That's the third knockdown. And it is all over. I don't even know why the ref gave him the count there. Three knockdowns in a round. And it is over in the final seconds. In the final seconds. I don't think we're going into a third round. No, that is it. Snow's going to win this one. They're not going into the third round. He just called it. Unbelievable performance by Snow. It is all over, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I didn't bring my soundboard with me when I traveled here to Canada. By the way, a lot of people like the, the temporary the temporary uh, setup here. I might move the camera a little close, closer, I don't know. But this was my old bookshelf. I gave it to my sister when I moved. It's over on YouTube? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'm watching it on YouTube. But this fight is over now. So 24 minutes until the main card starts. And uh, very excited for that. Guys, two videos. Two videos dropping later today. Very excited for them. Finished. Edit, stayed up way too late editing. That's the thing. I probably should have you know, gone to bed. I probably should have gone to bed a little bit earlier. That's on me. Uh, Stina struggled to stand. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So what, what other fights are you guys looking forward to on this card? It's actually a great main card here. Some awesome fighters, man. And again, I'm like, I've been watching one championship a lot more than glory the last year, two years, but, uh, I would say the last I'll say the what the last 10 months or so, you know, I haven't missed a glory card and I've been super into it. Basically look up when the next ones are, are coming up and love streaming them with you guys. But three title fights, the middleweight championship, heavyweight, light heavyweight championship and heavyweight championship all on the line featured co-main main. So it's going to be a great end to this card as well. Then right after this, we're jumping over to UFC. I went to bed at 2 a.m. watching the stream. Uh, Modesta's going to school the Brazilian. Let's go. Let's make some money, Funkmaster. I knew you were going to be in my corner for this one. Sleep is for the weak and dead. I know, I know, but I, I tried. Just got an iPhone 14, brand new. Oh, nice. Brand new on Facebook, 750 bucks steal. Dude, that's good. That's good. I haven't owned an iPhone since I was in uh, high school. I think I, I think I had the iPhone 3. And I've been... uh. 
Android ever since. I got I got to be nice to my laptop here today because <laughs> this I can I obviously couldn't bring my desktop traveling. All right, official announcement here. And again, the winner is going to be uh, Snow, in my opinion. And he's going to get the TKO. So he's going to have uh, in three wins, two of them being knockouts. King James, the rising card, it's right now. It's literally right now. So it's taking place in Azerbaijan. And that's why I missed it. Uh, so I'm on Pacific time. It started at 6 a.m. my time. And I had every intention to like, because I think I went to bed at like 3.30 my time. I was just like, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to wake up like 20 minutes into it, miss the opening ceremony, whatever. So I did, and we were having some technical issues and the power was out for like, apparently only like 15 minutes. But I waited five minutes, five to 10 minutes. And I was like, yes, I was all groggy. I was like, screw this. I'm going back to bed. Set an alarm to wake up like, you know, half uh, an hour later. And I was like, all right, I'll do half the card then. And I just slept right through it. So woke up about an hour ago and was like, ah, I could do like a half an hour rising stream or 45 minutes rising stream and then jump to glory or just commit to glory until UFC. So that's the, that's what happened. That's what happened. It's because I'm a zoomer. <laughs> I still use a $25 flip phone out of boy. Oh, I know daylight savings. I hate it, dude. I hate it, man. Now, one Friday fights are going to start at 4.30 a.m. for me. <laughs> at least 6.30 when I go back to Minnesota. Great win by Don Snow again, guys. Great win by Don Snow. All right. Main card is coming up next, guys. And Chick Musa fighting on the main card. I don't know if you guys have seen him fight before. He is awesome. Looks like this one's going to be a catch weight, though. He's the number two ranked uh, featherweight, all his fights that I've seen have been unbelievable. Ahmed Chick Musa, 58 wins, eight losses, one draw, 28 knockouts, guys. 28 knockouts. He's fighting out of Germany. Uh, three and one in the promotion, only one knockout in the promotion uh, thus far. Going up against the number one. This is this is a you know title eliminator fight right now. Going to get the guy who's three KO TKOs, five and two in the promotion. And Abraham uh, Vidal is a Mexican kickboxer. You know, he's tough as nails. 15, 2, and 12 knockouts, dude. All but three of his wins have come via knockout. Five and two, like I said, in the promotion, three knockout. Like, this is going to be such a good fight. This is going to be such a good fight. And his nickname is Ham, dude, because he goes ham. Da -da -da -da. Dead savings isn't real. That guy is not real. It makes no sense in today's day and age, but it's very much real because it affects everything. And it's so annoying. It affects fight schedules. It affects Isha sleep schedule. It literally makes our days darker for no reason. I guess you could wake up an hour earlier, but you know, I, I'm usually a morning guy when I'm not staying up all night editing videos. Um, and I still hate it. Basically, this is it. like I tell everyone, I'm not scared of the dark. I just hate the dark, you know, and I'd rather it be light all the time. I don't care if it's cold. Like I could live somewhere north where it's like super cold, but light all the time. I'm, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. My dad's from the desert, dude. I need that sun. I need that sun. My mom is from Seattle, though. So I'm literally like the opposite ends of the scale. Freaking day walkers to freaking... Tuscan Raiders. <laughs> Let's show solidarity and boycott time change. Um, well, I know British Columbia wanted to do away with it, but Washington said no. And because BC and Washington do a lot of business together and kind of run on the same wavelength, they needed a Washington state. They needed uh, to abolish it. They needed to be on the same page. Um, all right, guys, main card coming up here. Glory kickboxing. Uh What's it? 15 minutes? We got 15 minutes to chill, man. 15 minutes to chill. Ugh, I don't want to even check in on the rising card because I don't want to spoil it. I don't want anybody to spoil it for me today either. Um, but if you guys uh want to hear my UFC predictions, I will throw that in the live chat. We'll do that here. Again, my apologies uh for missing the rising stream. If you guys uh, missed the explanation, this this is what happened. Quite, quite simply. 
Uh, I was going to wake up a little late for it anyways, like uh, 20 to 30 minutes late for it anyways. And so I did. I did. I absolutely woke up a little bit late for it. And we had first a couple little technical issues, e easy little fix. Um, but it just kind of started off the situation like, uh. Um, and then, uh, and then I realized, oh, no power. That's why I'm not getting on the internet. We got no power. Um, which apparently was only out cause it was super stormy this morning. Apparently it was only out for like 15 minutes. Um, that's my UFC prediction video, by the way, I put in the live chat there. I'll put time. Actually, I probably don't have time to put timestamps on it. So there you go. But we, we ripped through it pretty quick. Um, so then, yeah, instead of waiting 15 minutes, I waited like five or 10 and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going back to bed, set my alarm an hour ahead. So I was like, I eh, will stream half the rise and show whatever things happen. And I slept right through that puppy. So, uh, woke up about an hour ago. Here we are rising, baby. Woke up again about an hour ago and here we are for, or sorry, here we are for glory, glory collision six. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, we do live play by play commentary reaction. And of course, live interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. Uh, catch weight fight coming up next Ahmed Chick Musa and Abraham Vida uh, Vidalis they're fighting at 130 or 143 pounds I believe usually they fight at 135 regardless the number one and two contenders in the division ladies and gentlemen it's going to be a fun one I've seen Vidal's fight before, but Chick Musa, he, the last time, the last two fights of his that I watched, I was just like, oh, yeah, this guy's the real deal, James Neal. But Vidal does have three knockouts in the promotion thus far. Um, again, the free prelims are over on YouTube, but if you go to the Glory Kickboxing website, there, if you just click watch, there's an entire page, easy to navigate. Uh, depending on where you're located, depending on your region, it tells you where you can watch uh, this card. Again, in the States, I usually just buy the pay-per-view from the Glory website, which is actually the cheapest option, if, especially if you're in the United States. I believe it's only uh, $12.99, $14.99 at most. In Canada, it was $24 bucks through um, Fight TV. Do, 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 do. Uh, Zach, I got Ryzen and Glory stream. Nice, nice. Zach's doing God's work. If you guys want, uh, yeah, and if you guys want uh, other places to watch this stream, like uh, like Zach here can help you. You can become a member of the channel, even just for you know one month. You will always have access to the Discord. You'll always have access to that side of the community and a whole tab to find fights. Dun, 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 dun. I really just want to eliminate these white lines, but I can't. I'm like OCD in that sense. Whatever. Um, all right, guys. Like I said, 15 minutes till the main card starts. Keep the comments coming here. You guys want to talk UFC. You guys want to talk Glory. You guys want to talk any other promotion that's going down this weekend. Let me know in the comments. Um, great fights this weekend. Like I said, I wish I could be in four places at once. Like We, we got to get more contributors on this channel soon because for weekends like this, Last night, okay, last night alone, one uh, one Friday, well, one Friday fights in the morning, of course. One fight night 16, okay. Uh, Cage Fury FC, LFA, a great karate combat card, all at the same time. BKFC, this morning, BKFC Thailand, Rise in Landmark 7, Glory Kickboxing, Octagon MMA with a K, UFC and then Japanese kickboxing later tonight. Like there's just there's so much out there right now. There's so much out there right now. Uh, I need a dark. I'm Batman. Uh, somebody sponsoring a bare knuckle tie card today. It's BKFC. BKFC. I'm pimping on my phone right now. Nice, nice. Again, guys, if you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. Appreciate every single one of you joining us here today. Um, but, but, but again, vote in the poll question if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, let me know what fight card you're most excited for this weekend or have been most excited for this weekend. And if it's not listed, comment it as well. I know like I was scrolling through some of uh, Kaposa's 
or Kaposa's list earlier uh, today, and it was just crazy. It was just crazy how many great promotions, and some of them that like I was familiar with but haven't watched yet had some stat cards as well. But again, uh, keep the comments coming, guys. Even if you want to talk some UFC, happy to answer some questions here. I don't know if you watched the video, but we had our uh, <laughs> degenerate and safe parlays of the week as well. Do, 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 do. Always, always fun to share those with you guys. Uh, BKFC was decent. What's up, Void Mate? Great to see you, buddy. Yeah, how was the main event? How was the main event? Um, Zach saying watches. I can't. I can't see links for some reason. Here, one sec. I'll go to the live chat here. I'm just pr pulling up YouTube right here. Maybe I can see a link from here. Oh no! You just you made a comment. Got you. Got you. Uh, Derek Lewis drinking and driving absolutely crashes into his opponent's fifteen second flying knee to the dome. Five times odds. Two hundred into one thousand. <laughs> Bottle service hookah going. Oh my goodness. Uh, Senchai broke his finger early. No. I bet that all the like the Muay Thai fans are just like, see, see, this is why we didn't want to see this shit. Speaking of the hookah going on, uh, I found my old hookah yesterday going through some stuff. I got to watch, wash that bitch out and fire it up. Shisha is so expensive in BC, though. It's absolutely insane. Like the tobacco tax here is insane. He still went the distance. Oh, out of boy. But uh, Buko was breaking. A lot of the rules he won by unanimous decision. Yeah, it's weird that it's just like they should have just done norm like just Muay Thai rules with bare knuckles. You know what I mean? They shouldn't have tried to make it like a further hybrid out of it. Um, I know a lot of like the Thai fans, like the Muay traditional Muay Thai fans, weren't happy with it. Um, but um, how was the show overall? Were, were there some other good fights other than the main event? That's legendary. Yeah, how how was the rest of the card? I mean, that's another one, guys. I have so many fight cards I got to catch up on uh, later today. I'm actually so glad the UFC card is earlier, like it, that it's an earlier fight night today. Well, it's starting at six p.m. I think for uh, Eastern, three p.m. for us on Pacific time. Or I'm just happy that I'm on Pacific time uh, watching this UFC card because I'll be able to actually catch up on some fights because I have to watch. I have to, I'm almost done the LFA card, but it was a good card. So far, anyways, it's been a good card. Um, I think I have three more fights to go on the LFA card. I have to catch up on the Rising card. Um, bu 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 BKFC Thailand. Apparently, last night, the BKFC card was really good as well, so maybe I'll just watch both of them. Um, what else am I missing? What else am I missing? Octagon I won't be watching today. I woke up too late, but a lot of KOs I see on the highlights. Nice. Can't wait to watch it. I have that for free and last night's for free because I I uh, subscribe to the BKFC app, so I get all their events. Only caught the main, only fight I cared for anyways. Yeah, for sure. You know what's good about BKFC, though, is typically all the fights, or typically all the fights that you don't know anything about deliver, which is what I like about the promotion. Uh, again, guys, smash that like button if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. Subscribe to the channel. Um, appreciate every single one of you. Already got a, a, a pretty good chunk of votes for just starting out here. Uh, what fight card are you looking forward to the most this or today? Uh, the Ryzen card, Glory, UFC, Octagon. Obviously, Ryzen is just wrapping up here. But 34% saying Ryzen, 43% uh, saying Glory Collision. I love it. I love it. And again, the first fight to start off this card is an absolute banger, ladies and gentlemen. Last three fights on the card here today. Title fight, title fight, title fight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look. Let's take a quick look at uh, the title fights here today, and I'll get that here up on screen. So, co or a featured fight with the middleweight championship fight here. 
against Boape, uh, the number one ranked middleweight, four and one in the promotion with one knockout, 16, three and one with seven knockouts in his career. He's out of Ghana. And again, five appearances in the promotion thus far. Uh, going up against, like I said, the champion here. We have the first of three championship fights against, uh, is it we say or we nine and one in glory two knockouts 19 and one he's only been defeated once in his career with 10 knockouts uh from uh Sur suriname uh suriname suriname my apologies for butchering that uh nine and one is a pro suriname i know benjamin's probably rolling his eyes right now <laughs> Uh, next up the card, light heavyweight bout here. We where we have Abina, who's defending his title, going up against going up against Tushasi, who's the nine ninth ranked middleweight. Uh, we watched his last fight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, one win in the promotion, one knockout, and it was a sick knockout. Uh, props to him. He's fighting out of Morocco, twenty two years of age, very very young. Again, only one. In the promotion, undefeated, ladies and gentlemen. 15 and oh, 12 of those 15 wins have come via knockout. Um, and the light heavyweight champion here, 26 and 9, 7 KOs. And she's average fight time 10 minutes. He's she's caught a lot of fight time in this promotion. Eight freaking fights in glory, where he's gone four and four. And finally, uh, man, Verhoeven facing Osaro, the number one ranked heavyweight, five and one in glory, five KOs. Every single victory from Osaro in the promotion has been a knockout. He has a great record of 25, two and one, 13 knockouts to his name. He's at a Nigeria. Yeah, five and one in the promotion with five knockouts as a heavyweight. That's what you want to see. Only 28 years of age as well. And the legend that is Rico Verhoeven, 60 wins, 10 losses, 20 KOs to his name. He's out of the Netherlands and he's been in glory forever, it seems. 34 years of age, but look at this record 22 and one in glory. With nine knockouts. Unbelievable stuff. I don't... When was the last time he's fought? I don't think he's fought for a while, though. Despite being the champion. When was the last time he fought? He fought... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Back at Collisions 3 in 2021. Uh, that was the last time he fought in Glory. He did fight in Hit It. Back in 2022. Where he beat uh, Hesdi Jurgis. So he hasn't fought in pretty much a year, just over a year. Thoughts on UFC event tonight? Let's get specific. What uh, What do you want to know? What do you want to know? Rico is the king. What's up, Theron? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be sweet to see him back in the ring. Uh, yeah, be more specific, Zach. Uh, what what? Thoughts on which which fight card just or just whoops or just overall? Do you just want my overall thoughts? I think it was a very good card, a very good like for the non-casual, for for us, for those who are like super super into MMA and who like keep close tabs on the UFC. There were some unbelievable matchups, but uh the Wayans just ruined it all. The Wayans just ruined it all. I'm not blaming the Wayans, but just the weight complications. I mean, I feel like there were, it was. It's been more of a game of musical chairs than it has been a seamless weigh-in day slash fight card. Um, it's turning into the fight night version of UFC 294. <laughs> Bro, I slept in too. So this is what happened. This is what happened. I woke up. I, I had every intention, and I wrote this in the Discord as well, to like sleep in twenty to thirty minutes when the show started, anyways, just to get a little bit more sleep. Woke up. Had some technical issues, fixed the technical issues, realized then quickly that there was no power. And then I waited five, 10 minutes. Apparently it came back on in like 15, 20 minutes. Um, waited five, 10 minutes, was like, fuck this, going back to bed. I set an alarm for an hour so that I could, could at least do half the event. Slept through that alarm. So I bought the pay per view. 
I might just stream later as I just watch it. Um, but I missed it too. So no spoilers, okay? I missed it too. I woke up about an hour and a half after that initial debacle at like 6 a.m. my time. And I uh, was like, screw it. Let's just watch some glory, baby. So so there you go. But now I've, I've purchased $50 worth of pay-per-views. Um, <laughs> glory and Ryzen. So I am going to watch it later. But uh, yeah, there, there's the story. What is up, my man? Great to see you on the quality. So so it went from good to now meh. But there should be a few good fights. So the fights I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to Cabo Ohio's fight. Um, I'm looking forward to, obviously, Gabriel Bonfim. Um, I'm looking forward to the first fight uh, for Fernandez. Uh, Fernandez, sorry. Uh, Kobe Fernandez. I'm looking forward to that one. Um, I, I think Modestus Bukaskis will get it done. I'm looking forward to that one. And uh, the Fakir Dinov Zaleski fight. I'm looking forward to that one as well. Uh, Petrosin, I picked him to win. Is it going to be an exciting fight? I don't know. Because like sometimes his fights aren't exciting because he's he's good at scoring. He's good at winning uh, and, and getting strikes. What the heck happened to my drink? And getting... Uh, Doing damage and getting strikes in unfavorable positions, but sometimes it doesn't make for a exciting um, event if you, or an exciting matchup if you if, if you understand if you if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Oh, I have to refresh this. It's funny, Glory's on Fight TV as well. It won't let me load it though. Hmm. Is anybody else having issues with uh, the Glory broadcast right now? I'm going to refresh it here. Uh, single chop to the esophagus while uh, screeching Bruce Lee sounds. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. I got all the predictions right yesterday without knowing anyone. Nice. Dolby smokes Bonfim. Uh, I want to see Curtis Blaze, Jelton Almeida. Tim, what's going on, Tim? It's great to see you, buddy. Uh, what's up, everybody joining us right now? We're just firing up the main card here. I don't know why it's not working. Sorry about this, guys. I Should be all good. We're watching on Fight TV. Might just do a little restart here. Uh, I'm watching on Fight TV and May Post Daily. Brandon fight is fire. Well, he's fighting a dude on short notice. He's fighting a dude on short notice. It would have been fire. He's, I mean, he's going to win. Don't get me wrong. He's going to win, but I don't know. Um, speaking of fire, though, this first fight coming up here, man. Chick Musa against Vidal, uh, Vidal is, is going to be absolutely fire. And what is up to everybody joining here? We are going to get into this next fight in just a moment. Yeah, on YouTube, the live stream is gone, man, but it is on pay-per-view um as you know you can watch it on the glory website or on fight tv that's what i'm trying to do here is watch it on fight tv having a couple issues uh with the app here i'm just gonna try to fire it up uh fire it up on desktop but anyways, keep the comments coming, guys. Let me know your predictions for this next one. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Appreciate every single one of you joining. Uh, Vier is interesting to see because you wonder if he's one-dimensional approach and poor cardio can be enough to notch an MMA win. That is true. So I'm being boring offsets that by a little. No, fair enough. Fair enough. Man, why isn't this working? <laughs> this is so sad. My fight TV app isn't working right now for some reason. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I am seeing your comments, so guys, keep them coming. Like I said, we're going to get right to the right to the event here in just a moment i might have to fire it up on this screen yeah sorry about this guys again the fight hasn't started yet so we're all good we are going to get to the play-by-play -play here in a moment i'm just uh like i said, i i literally just bought this pay-per-view too so like i hope it's not 
messing with me. Hope it's not messing with me. Okay, we're good. We're good. Is anybody else having issues firing up the their uh, Fight TV app? Let me know in the live chat. If anybody's watching this on the Fight TV app, let me know if you're having issues right now. Because the Fight TV app loads, you click watch live, and it just closes. So let me know. Help me out here. Uh, da, da, da. Not for a while, buddy. Not for a while. The main card is just starting. It says, yeah, there is there is eight fights left. There is eight fights left. Oh, uh, what's up, Lena? What's going on? I'm not showing the fights, guys. You know that. I'm on YouTube. I'm on YouTube. I can't show the fights. We're going to be doing live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, all that good stuff. And appreciate you guys joining. We're just waiting to fire it up right now. It looks like there's some issues on the broadcast side of things. So I'm just refreshing it here. There we go. There we go. It looks like it was issues on the glory side of things, guys. They've been actually having issues all morning, even on their YouTube side. Uh, but we're good. The broadcast is here. Whew. That scared me for a sec. Guys. I was like, is it is it on my side? No, we are good. Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel. Whew. The sweat is gone. Live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in live chat. Keep the comments coming. Again, Rico's going to be fighting in about two to three hours. Two to three hours. Yeah, likely a couple hours away. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, Verander, if you want to find this, you guys can become an exclusive member on the channel and our boy Zek will help you out in the Discord. Uh, da -da -da -da. Shout to Miss, good to see you. Shout to Dylan, like I said, King James, Nick, Tim, MMA Post Daily, Zek, uh, Theron, Voidmate, appreciate every single one of you joining. For all the new people joining, smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. We do live Fight Companions every single weekend. Whenever there's a Glory event, we cover it as well. Zek, I will, if you promise to go and like my predictions video, <laughs> I, will, uh, I will give you my safe parlay of the weekend, and that is Kai Bohayo, Brenner, and Mora. Mora is the only one I'm... Um, scared on of scared that she might break it because she did come in overweight and apparently she has some health issues but she's massive she should stomp her opponent the degenerate parlay of the week ruiz krajewski and lewis do not recommend betting on that one but that will buy you a new house if it hits i think bonfin's a lock i hate to say it but i think uh, almeida's a lock um i think bohio is mm, i think he's a lock do, 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 do. Probably, uh, probably Brenner as well. Just because his opponent's taking it on short notice. Um, but yeah, like the more I look at it, it's going to be a competitive card. But uh, it just sucks that some of the fights played out the way they did, or some of the the matchups played out the way they did with some of the injuries and things like that. Uh, Glory, no, I'm just watching as a fan, man. I'm just watching as a fan. What's up, uh, Marius? Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, official card. Sorry, no, Kyle's just calling me, so I'm going to text him. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Kyle's just calling me. That's so funny. <laughs> sorry guys one sec literally the co-creator of the channel didn't see the streaming schedule and he's literally calling me i'm like bro i'm literally live right now <laughs> i did say jump in if you want to if you want to hang out what's up hoggy from home great to see you People are trolling if y'all excited for glory. <laughs> What's up, West Coast? Great to see you, buddy. Link the video. I can't find it. Sure, sure. Uh, it's under live, but I'll, I'll link it for you, dude. Uh, West Coast. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Again, appreciate every single one of you joining us live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. Your uh Yosra, I'm watching uh, on pay per view. Uh, whenever I'm in the states, I buy it on the Glory channel. Here I'm on uh in Canada, so I'm watching on Fight TV. Uh, if you guys want to become a member of the channel, my buddy Zach can hook you up with some spots in the Discord. Oh, oops, I don't know why that. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know why when I paste 
when I paste, I tried pasting the link there, but the names of the next fighters came up. One sec, dude, one sec. I don't know why that happened, but there we go. Now it's copied. Now it's copied. <laughs> You're probably like, what the fuck? All right, there we go, dude. There we go. Uh, that's not the link to glory, by the way, guys. That's the link to uh, the my UFC predictions video. I think glory main starts in 15 minutes. Perhaps, but the fighters are making their walkouts now. Dude, the fighters are making their walkouts now. Uh, let's highlight the next fighters here. This is a great fight to start this card, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new to the channel, like I said, we do live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. Chick Musa here. 58 wins, 8 losses, 1 draw, 28 knockouts. He's the number 2 ranked featherweight. This fight is being fought at a catchweight. 23 years of age, four fights in the promotion, three and one, one knockout. Uh, going up against the number one ranked featherweight in Vidalis, who just does not get knocked out, okay? Five and two in the promotion, three knockouts to his name. Fuck, this is going to be such a great fight, guys. This is going to be such a great fight. What a fight to start off this card. 29 years of age in his prime, five and two in the promotion. He's fought seven times in glory, and he's finished his opponents three times in that run. What a fight to start this card. Smash that like button, guys. We're going to keep you abreast of everything that's going on. We're going to keep you updated play by play throughout these fights. And this isn't even the only live stream here today. That is right. We have also UFC later today as well, folks. Yosra, you can join our uh it, you can join and become an exclusive member to get the the link. Do, do, do. What's that thing on Chick Moose's chin? Uh, I, I just, I missed it. I didn't see anything on his chin there. Uh, Mary's follow you from Romania. Oh, dude, thank you so much for the support, man. Thank you so much for the support. Hope you're having a great day. So far, the prelims have delivered. I'm excited for this start to the card. Again, guys, keep the comments coming. Happy to interact with you. Shout out to uh, Hockey From Home, one of our exclusive members. West Coast said what's up as well. Appreciate some of our fans all the way from Romania. Again, I highlighted the fighters here. I'm going with Chick Musa to win this one. He impressed me so, so much in his last fight that I got to pick him for this one. And uh, we're going to take a break after this first fight just so I can refill my coffee. Just a quick two, three-minute break, but... I'm way too jacked for this one. Um, I ain't leaving my seat here. I'm keeping my eyes glued to the screen, and I will continue to give you guys live updates, play-by-play, -play, commentary. You'll see my reaction, and we will continue to interact with you guys in the live chat here. Uh, no, I'm not showing the fight. I'm not Glory. I wish I was. Hey, if Glory hires me someday, I can. But uh, no, this is YouTube, brother. You know I can't show the fights. They will... They'll ban my channel like that. It's illegal, brother. So we're going to be doing play-by-play -play commentary. I am watching on the pay-per-view, so there's no funny business. It's not going to cut out. So you guys will have the live updates. If you want to join and become an exclusive member on the channel, my boy Zek can hook you up in the Discord. Uh, you got to become an exclusive member, 144 main. You got to become an exclusive member for the Discord link. Uh, Atlas Leon, uh, like I said, my boy Zach can help you out. Can help you out if you become an exclusive member. I bought the pay per view, so I don't have a link. But some of our friends in the live chat, they got they got links for you guys. They got links for you guys. Not of the Zelda variety either. <laughs> All right, first fights on the card. Fighters are being announced in the center of the ring. Cannot wait to get into this first one, guys. Again, appreciate everyone joining us live here on the channel. I will make a post right now, so if anyone becomes an exclusive member, you'll have the link ready on the community tab on YouTube. Again, if you guys want a place to if you guys want a place to watch us and you cannot afford the pay per view, you can afford becoming an exclusive member, and our boy Zach will hook you up. Sorry to give you that responsibility, Zach, but it has been dawned on you. Uh, da, da, da. All right, first fight on the pay-per-view. Starting now, ladies and gentlemen. Ref, 
separating them from the corners, reading the reading the rules. Not like they already know it. All right, I made a post on the community tab for exclusive members. What's up, Go Mexico? I could never join because I'm off grid and hijack neighbors Wi-Fi. Out of boy, out of boy. Love from Romania. What's up, Luca? All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Again, I'm going to give you guys play by play and commentary. If I just started here, you can see the bottom of the screen. It has the round. Two minutes and 45 seconds on the clock in the left hand there. By the Mexican fighter. Outside low kick by Chick Musa. Vidalez with some nice right uppercuts there in the pocket. They're just swinging there in the pocket early. No feints there. And a nice right hand and a left by Chick Musa. Quick hands by Chick Musa. Two minutes and 24 seconds on the clock. Nice left hook there by Vidalez. Getting through the guard of Chick Musa. Nice right hand to get right through the guard of Chick Musa as well. And a 1-2 by Chick Musa. Great range there. And distance controlled by Vidalez. And a nice left hook by Vidalez. Huge. Triple left hook by Vidalis, followed by a few rights here, and Chick Musa falls to the ground. Vidalis knocks down Chick Musa in the first minute of the fight. Oh my goodness, Chick Musa's wobbly. Chick Musa's wobbly. He's getting the count. And it is over. It is over. Vidal. Vidal is wins. Chick Musa cannot continue. He's too wobbly. And my prediction was wrong. Just like that. Just like that. Vidalis beats Chick Musa. Chick Musa is Kurdish. Yeah, Kurdish nationality training out of Morocco. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lars, I can't show the fight, dude. You know this. You're smart, man. This is YouTube. Mexico. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Chick Musa with a big right hand to start, but that distance control, and he was able to pierce the guard with ease, man. John Hager saying, Musa is trash. Thank God Hagerty won. Hey, he had a good performance. He had a good performance, but... JL, you're, you're a guy with, uh, like, you know, good morals. I'm surprised that you, that you root for Hagerty. He's not a good person. Not a good person. Yeah, he lost, dude. He got knocked down and was too wobbly on the way up. Lineker is waiting for him. Yeah, I can't wait for Lineker to humble him. Wait, no, he wants to fight Andraj in MMA. JL, he 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 called out Andraj, unfortunately. Oh, there's a laundry list, JL. A laundry list. Oh, uh, what's up, Bart? If you become an exclusive member, Zek will hook you up with a link. Uh, probably in like two to three hours. Uh, it started, buddy. It started. The first fight is over. The first fight is over. In one minute, Vidalez TKO'd Chick Musa. Good ass fight, not gonna lie. Uh, right near where it says subscribe, you can become a member. As a member, you get a, uh, a few perks on the channel, like exclusive membership streams, special shout outs, but also access to our Discord. And, you know, our community helps each other out in the Discord. I put 19 on your human parlay. Out of boy, out of boy. Nadir G, what's up, Nadir? Great to see you. And one, <laughs> one on the autism parlay. <laughs> I like your names for it more. What was mine? The degenerate parlay, which you've deemed the autism parlay, and the uh, and the safe parlay, which you say the uh, the human parlay. That is it for the first fight, man. It lasted a whole minute. I thought Chick Musa was gonna take it. No, Vidalez. Easy victory. Easy victory. Well, 19 and 2, 15 KOs. That is amazing stuff. That is amazing stuff. Uh, Angela, like I said, our, our community on Discord, for those who become a member, they'll help you out to find a place to watch it. I'm watching it on Fight TV. I buy the pay-per-views. Uh, I, unlike all you guys, I canceled my Netflix. I canceled my, you know, whatever Disney plus, like, I don't need any of that shit. I want to watch fights. I want to watch fights. So I buy the pay-per-view to make sure that when I give you guys live play-by-play -play commentary and live comments, that there's no connection issues and that I'm in real time. If you guys want, 
or don't want to go that route, like I said, you can become an exclusive member on the channel, join our Discord, and I'm sure some people in the Discord will help you out. Uh, Chick Musa lost, dude. He lost already. It is over. Chick Musa lost. Chick Musa lost, dude. He got TKO'd in the first round. He lost. TKO lost in the first minute of the first round. Wow. I'm excited for this Valdez guy, man. <laughs> that is awesome. Or Vidal is. I say Valdez. Vidal is. Sorry. Valdez is a good boxer, though. All right. Moving right along, ladies and gentlemen. Moving right along. Let's tee up this next one. Abraham Vidal is, man. What a victory. Made easy work of his opponent. Damn. All right, we got light heavyweights next, folks, and we'll highlight them in just a moment. Keep the comments coming. It's a comment-driven live stream. Absolutely love the interaction. $1 into four or 94. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> what? Isha is so often confused with Google. 19 to 43, I have a feeling. How win? Uh, TKO. He lost via TKO. I just threw the Lakers into this parlay. All right, let's take a look at this next fight here, guys. Uh, we got Ibrahim El Bouni out of Morocco. 41 wins, 8 losses, 1 draw, 22 knockouts in his kickboxing career. He's 31 years of age. He's undefeated in the glory ring, going 4-0. and He has one knockout to his name. Looking at his opponent, the number 6th ranked light heavyweight going up against, by the way, uh, Bouni's the third ranked light heavyweight. 1-0 in the promotion. He had a great debut. 16-2 and overall, 7 KO TKO. He's out of Romania. So our friends in the live chat here from Romania, I know who they're rooting for. Again, only one appearance in the glory ring. But uh, he's young, man. Despite him looking like he's 40 years old, he's only 21. He's only 21 is Latesu. Um, ba -ba 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 shoot. I mean, he did look good in his last fight. He did look good in his last fight. But uh, I I'm going with El Booney. I'm going with experience on this one. That is my pick. Locking it in. Let me know your pick in the live chat. Who are you picking in this one? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, Ozzy, no, it's not, dude. It says watch party. It says watch party. Ozzy, it's YouTube. You know I can't show it on YouTube, buddy. You're a smart man, dude. Come on. Ozzy, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. I think you're a smart man, and you know, uh, you know, I'm not glory, dude. You know, I'm not glory. It says, it's, it clearly says watch party in the title. It clearly says a disclaimer in the, in the, in the com or in the description. So, don't be like that, Ozzy. Don't, don't ruin the vibes here. We do these every weekend, Ozzy. So. So don't get don't get angry that you got tricked from YouTube because it's not a trick here. It's YouTube. You should know better, my man. But but Ozzy, we will help you out, dude. It is live on Fight TV right now. It's live on the Glory website. Uh, if you join and become an exclusive member, our boy Zek will help you out. It's it's easy as that, brother. It's easy as that. But uh, welcome to the community. Glad to have you here, my man. Glad to have you here. I don't, know, I, I don't know why you're so mad. Ozzy, I'm glad you're here, buddy. Welcome to the community. Uh, we do these every weekend covering all combat sports. It's clearly a YouTube. So, so you know, I, I'm not, I don't work with Glory. Um, and and we're more than happy to, to, to help you out, Ozzy. You're just, you're just coming in so aggressive. We're more than happy to help you out. We have a full community here uh, of people watching this stream. But if you're going to come in and be all pissed off about it, I mean, come on, bro. We're all just fight fans here. We're all just fight fans here, my man. Oh, I was surprised. I was surprised that he was losing, man. I did not think he was going to get uh, blown out that easy. I did not think he was going to get blown out that easy. Uh, da, 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 da. He came in swinging. Yeah, Ozzy came in swinging like Chick Musa here. Ozzy came in uh, swinging like Chick Musa. Uh, well, Ozzy, then you don't have to be here, buddy. You don't have to be here. <laughs> Da, 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 da. 
Ozzy thinks this is our first rodeo. There you go. Subscribe to the channel. You can have access to every single fight. There you go. Uh, the prelims were on YouTube. Yes, the prelims were on YouTube. Or you can get on your knees and beg, Ozzy. Get on your knees, Ozzy, and beg, little man. Ozzy's calling me, little guy. Ozzy, get on your knees and beg. Get on your knees and beg, Ozzy. Ozzy be pouting. Ozzy be, Ozzy be begging. Ozzy be begging. Love you, Ozzy. Love you, Ozzy. Um, Muhammad, join as an exclusive member and we'll give you the link. There you go. Hasbula saying it's there on TikTok. What am I, Google? <laughs> what am I, Google? All right, guys. Again, shout out to everyone joining. Uh, again, El Booney, 41 wins, 8 losses, 1 draw, 22. K.O. Tigo, uh, he's a third-ranked light heavyweight in the division. 31 years of age, undefeated in the glory ring up against the up-and-comer Latestu, who, despite looking like he's 40 years old, he's only 21. The number 6th six, ranked light heavyweight uh, has one win in the ring thus far. Seven KOs in his 16 wins. Dude, this card is stacked head to toe. Very excited for this one. <laughs> Zach, my IQ is above 100, so I can find. There you go. There you go. Ozzy be sounding like an entitled Karen. I know. I know. He's calling me a little guy, yet he's begging. Begging. Ooh. Chick Musa lost, dude. He lost. All right. Fighters are being announced in the center of the ring. I'll update the ticker on the bottom of the screen to reflect the round, and we'll get right back to play-by-play. -play. Diamond, no, nah, dude. This is YouTube, buddy. You're smart, man. You're, you're a smart man. I don't work for glory. So I'm just giving live play-by-play -play updates, commentary. If you want to join and become an exclusive member, our boy Zach can help you out. But uh, I bought the pay-per-view on Fight TV, man. Um, and if you're in the United States, you can buy it right off the glory website. It's worth every penny if you ask me. If you're a fan of Glory, I mean, you know, why aren't you supporting them? Yeah, come on, guys. It's YouTube. You know, I don't work for Glory. I can't show the fights. I'm just a fan of the sport, watching the sport, giving you guys commentary. We have a great community here. We do these every weekend. Rico Verhoeven. Yes, excited to see him fight later as well. Um, Volcan, what's going on? Uh, let's go, Albuni. He trains for my gym. Dude, I picked him to win. That is awesome. Shout to Volcan, one of our exclusive members on the channel. Banger song indeed. I posted the Discord link on the community tab for members. Dude, Zach, thank you very much, dude. You're doing God's work here in the live chat. Appreciate you. Hail from Romania. Let's go, baby. Let's go. So excited for this one. So excited for this one. I know he's not as yoked. I know he's the veteran. <laughs> but um, I'm going for uh, El Buni here. And he's our boy in the live chat. He's a, he's a, is he your training partner or he just trains out of, the, uh, out of your gym? Yeah, Pink uh, Taro, if you join our uh, exclusive member, if you become an exclusive member on the channel, we'll be able to hook you up. Kiko, what's your favorite heavyweight? Oh. I mean, Verhoeven in glory was one of my favorites for years. Same with Overeem. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Badahari at his peak. Two minutes and 55 seconds. Outside low kick by El Buni. Now Buni again, a little bit taller, a little bit lankier. But the young Latestu, he's got some power. Outside low kick by Latestu. El Buni, some slick shots of the body already. Nice leg kick checked by Latestu. No, what a nice right hand by El Buni. Drops Latestu. 30 seconds in, El Buni drops Latestu. Latestu's getting the count. What's up, Ali? Good to see you. And Bel El Buni with some huge hooks there landing. And El Buni checking the leg kick of Latesu. And look at the size difference as far as the height between these guys, man. And El Buni, he's got some power too, clearly still. And walking him down is Latesu now. 
Woman keeping his chin down, his guard high. One minute and 54 seconds. We'll get back to the comments here in a sec, guys. We're going to keep our focus on the fight. We'll get back to the comments in between rounds. Keep the comments coming. If I missed your comment, just comment it again. Donate, whatever. Make yourself known, and I will read it. <laughs> One minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Nice right hand by El Buni as he dodges the big swinging right of Latestu. Inside low kick by Latestu here. Trying to get... Something going as he was dropped so early. And if he can get a big shot on El Buni as well, tie things up, maybe even things out a little bit. Right now, it's 10-8 if this ended right now for El Buni. So far, he can't get hit here. He's evading all the big shots of Latestu as he's walking him down. Look for that big counter like he found in the first 30 seconds. Pressuring into the corner here is Latestu. Latestu knocks down El Buni! And there's the shot he was looking for. Big right hand by Latestu, evening things up here as he knocks down El Buni. Each of them have a knockdown. Each of them have a knockdown. My absolute favorite is Peter uh, Ertis. The way he dropped Semi the Giant Schilt in his days in K1 was phenomenal. I loved Mark Hunt and Ray Sefo in K1, dude. I loved Mark Hunt in K1. Out of all the heavyweights in kickboxing history, Mark Hunt is my favorite to watch. That fight with him and Ray Sefo is legendary. And I love how he just was a street fighter who became a kickboxer. Unbelievable stuff. 30 seconds on the clock here. They each have a knockdown. And Latestu walking forward just trying to land those big shots. Outside low kick by Latestu. And he's backing up El Buni here. Oh, and a big left hook by El Buni. And El Buni with the right hand. Final five seconds on the clock here. Oh my goodness, what a first round. Each of them landed knockdown. El Buniz landed some big shots as well. And that is it for the first round. What a crazy first round, ladies and gentlemen. They each have a knockdown. Latestu's been pressuring El Buni a little bit more. But El Buni landed some big shots at the end too. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Uh, Rico, in like two to three hours. Like two to three hours. Uh, Latestu, hey, I love the name. Relaxing sounds and forest and nature. As soon as they place a bet on Phoenix Suns mid game, they down 10 points. Oh no. If Isha showed the fights, we'd lose most of the abundant fight coverage on YouTube. Yes, indeed. The underdog wins. What's up, Yee Hans? Good to see you. Will Rico get a cookie today? It's like some people don't read. It's really unfortunate. Again, shout out to everyone joining us here. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. Well, how can I forget Mike uh, Zabitis versus Buakai? Dude, it's funny. Someone just told me to watch that fight like two weeks ago, and, uh, and it was amazing. What a fight. Thanks for reading my comments, by the way. So to you and your channel, and big thanks for your radio style talk along. Thank you so much, Dan. We appreciate you. We do this every single weekend covering all combat sports, not just kickboxing and Muay Thai, but... Again, so happy you're here, man. Uh, drop a like if you don't mind. Subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you again. And a nice right hand there as this round starts. Another right hand there by Latesto. And he drops El Buni in the first 30 seconds. El Buni has just been dropped in the first 30 seconds of the second round. Again, Dami, big shout out to Dami here. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Two minutes and 24 seconds on the clock. That's two knockdowns for Latesto. Latesto with the left knocks down El Buni again. And a left hook knocks down El Buni again. It looks like the judges were split in the first round. Three of them gave it to El Buni. Two of them gave it to Latestu. El Buni just got dropped twice in the second round here. Latestu's looking to finish the job. And a left and a right. And a left and a right. El Buni, it is over. It is over. El Buni is on skates. He is wobbling. And Latestu finishes this one with storming in. Big right and left hooks. I feel bad for Vulcan. His boy who trains out of his gym just lost this one. But what a performance by Latestu. Thank you so much, Dami. I usually have a soundboard, but I'm actually on the road right now. I'm not even in my studio. It's a little pop-up studio as I'm visiting, visiting friends and family. But uh, thank you so much, brother. Oh, my goodness. The City Life Project is dedicated to combat fighting junkies. Yes, indeed. GG. Trifan Dragos, thank you so much for joining, buddy. Same with Dami. You guys, if you're new to this channel, we do live fight companions every single weekend. We're also covering UFC later today as well. Sorry we missed Ryzen this morning. Um, we drop videos 
uh, top five regional finishes every single weekend, commentary videos, news videos, vlogs, the whole nine yards, guys. Prediction videos. So happy to have you guys part of the channel. That is it for the fight. That is it for the fight. Second round TKO by Latesu. No worries. It's not me who lost. What a fight, though. Hey, it was a back and forth first round. I think three of the judges had him winning that first round, but Latesu is just so. Latesu, not as slick as Albuni, but just brute force, man. Probably two, two and a half hours, buddy. Uh, Taha, become an exclusive member and click the community tab and you'll find it, buddy. Uh, I didn't bet on him to acknowledging he had a chance to lose. What an awesome fight. Dude, every single fight on this card thus far, prelims and main card have been have been great. Have been quick, but have been great. Wow. Stefan Latestu with his second fight in glory. Uh TKOs, the number three ranked light heavyweight and veteran El Buni. No, prob no problem, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. Again, guys, smash that like button. We are trying to get 100 likes on the video. There's 150 people watching. If all of you guys smash that like button, we will fly past our like goal, and that would be amazing. It just helps out the channel. We appreciate you guys. Again, we do live commentary, play-by-play, -play, reaction, updates, interaction with you guys. We also post... MMA and combat sports commentary videos, news reaction, highlights from the regional scene and reaction to those highlights, as well as a ton of other content, music content, vlogs. There's some for everybody. Appreciate you guys. Hit the like, guys. Uh, the most active MMA streamer. Appreciate you, buddy. Vulcan, I feel so bad I missed Ryzen this morning. I feel so bad I missed Ryzen this morning. For those who don't know, I'm, I'm visiting some friends and family on the West Coast right now. I'm... Um, it was a late night last night editing videos. We we're going to post them this afternoon. And I had every intention to like, you know, sleep in a little bit, like for the first half an hour. I was going to miss like the opening ceremony of the rising card. Uh, woke up, had some technical issues, fixed those quickly, then, then realized, oh, the power's out. That's why the internet's not working. And instead of waiting 15 minutes for the power to come back on, I, I waited five minutes and was like, yeah, screw this. I'm going back to bed. Set my alarm for an hour to wake up and just do the second half of the rising card. Slept through that alarm and, you know, woke up right when glory started and was like, all right, we're just going to do glory UFC and we'll, we'll do some sort of rising content later as I bought the pay-per-view for rising. So I'm going to be watching it later. Uh, what's up, Bruno? Thank you so much for joining brother. Probably in like two, two and a half hours. Yeah, it was an early morning. It was. Uh, you should do a weekend betting segment. I should. I'm just not a huge gambler, but I should. I should. I do uh I do a UFC live uh predictions video where I give my best bets. And uh Nick, it's actually it's on the channel right now. Didn't you join us last night for it? I think you did, but I should, I'm just not an expert in, in the betting side of things. That's the thing. Activate A. I mean, maybe I should just commission Activate A to do it. Maybe I should just commission Activate A to do it. Uh, if you ever need help with tech shit, it's my career. I'm kind of a genius with computers. All right. See, I'm not a genius with a computer. I'm like good enough. We're well, not even good enough. Like I'm levels above the plebeian. We'll just say that. But I'm not like, uh, like I can basic code and things like that. But, um, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, who won the last fight? Is that who you're asking? Who won the last fight? Oh, uh, Latessu won. Latessu won. But uh, I'll run some things by you, Zach. I'll run some things by you. Yes, Chick Musa fought and lost. Chick Musa fought and lost, dude. TKO lost in the first round. In one minute from Chick Musa. Uh, Ismaili, if you want to watch it, uh, you can buy the pay-per-view fight TV glory website or join our exclusive membership and join our discord and Zek will hook you up. Gabby, uh, yes, Latestu did win. He won in the second round TKO. <laughs> That's funny. Glory is using, uh, the same music as, uh, artlist or from, from artlist.io. All right. Let's highlight these next fighters folks here in just a moment, just a moment. 
Oh, welterweights coming up next. And man, what a pace to this card. What a pace to this card. And what a group. Over 150 people watching right now. That is amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. So much combat sports this weekend, guys. So much combat sports this weekend. Uh, we had BKFC Thailand, Ryzen Landmark 7, Glory Collision 6, Octagon MMA, UFC, and to top it off, some freaking Japanese kickboxing to bring in Sunday unbelievable unbelievable i wish i could be in 10 places at once uh jamba lamba i'm watching i bought the pay-per-view i bought the pay-per-view but if you want a place to watch it, my boy zek will hook you up if you become an exclusive member on the channel we the discord link is waiting for you four exclusive members on the community tab of this channel you click that and, and zek will hook you up zek will hook you up uh, Lucas, I again, you're a smart man, Lucas. So I, I, I feel like I shouldn't even have to answer that for you. But you're a smart man, Lucas. You know this is YouTube. You know this is YouTube. Uh, yeah, brief preview of the card. You fight companion and some picks for it. Lines where you get the best lines on a bad idea. So I kind of do that, but I will add to it. I will add to it. Again, guys, become an exclusive member. Zach will hook you up. It's as easy as pa. You don't want to pay twenty five bucks for the pay per view. That's okay. If you really want to see him, you'd buy the pay-per-view. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. No way how to chick Musa lose TKO in the first round. TKO. He got he got dropped bad. Uh, Ismaili, I already gave the Discord link. You have to become an exclusive member and then click the community tab, my man. What is up, Gravedigger Jones? Don't spoil anything. Don't spoil anything. I, I have to watch it. I have to watch it. Video land shows it too, guys. There you go. There you go. Dude, I was shocked too. I was shocked too. So you know what happened, Gravedigger Jones? So I woke up about uh, you know, half an hour late because I was going to sleep in a little bit. So I woke up at 6.30 uh, Pacific time, you know, 9.30 Eastern. And power was out. And it was super stormy this morning, so I figured the power would be out for a little bit. And it was only for like 15 minutes, but I only waited five minutes. I was like, yeah, screw this. I'm going back to bed. Set my alarm for an hour ahead because I was like, you know what? I'll just sleep another hour. Power will be back on and we'll stream the last three hours of the six-hour event or whatever, right? We'll do half of it. I slept right through that alarm. Woke up right when the glory alarm started and was like, all right, well, it's glory time, baby. So I bought the pay-per-view. Don't spoil it. Gravedigger Jones, one of our exclusive members, says I am going to watch it after UFC. Uh, D, uh, Z, D, G, that's why I buy the pay-per-view, man. It's only 20 bucks. Hamicha, next champ. Uh, who, who, Drak, who? Chick Musa already fought, yeah, and he lost. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been, a, it's been a busy morning, Gravedigger Jones. It's been a busy morning. But I did edit a lot of videos last night, guys. All right, let's highlight these next two fighters. We have... Chico Kwasi coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. 41 wins, 5 losses, 22 knockouts. Guys, if you're new to the channel, by the way, we do live updates, play-by-play, -play, commentary, and interaction with you guys in the live chat. So keep the comments coming. Like the video. Vote in the poll question. Absolutely love every single one of you and this uh, interaction here. Anyways, 45 wins, 5 losses. Great season veteran in the promotion. He's only 25 years of age. 22 knockouts. The number 4 ranked welterweight. This is his third time in the glory ring. One knockout, two wins. Uh, he is up against the number one ranked welterweight out of the Netherlands, Jay Overmere. 29 wins, five losses, 15 KO TKOs. He's 26 years of age. Both these guys, <laughs> veterans in the sport thus far, but still very young in that they're just in their primes. They're just in their primes. Uh, five in the glory ring. That is right. Five matches in the glory ring, four and one, three knockouts. Very excited for this one. Again, Glory just absolutely stacked their cards here today. Uh, again, Rico's not coming up for another two hours, guys. Rico's not coming up for another two hours. You cheap-ass motherfuckers. I love you guys. You guys are the best fans ever, but am I the only one who <laughs> cancels my Netflix and actually watches these? Uh, welcome... To Morocco event for Glory 91. Cannot wait for that one. Chico. Oh, it's a rematch. There you go. It's a rematch. 
I'm not looking at X then. I'm not looking at X. <laughs> Hamicha will lose. Of course, Gravedigger Jones. Uh, you watching? Uh, well, yeah, don't worry. We're going to be streaming all day, Gravedigger Jones. We're going to stream the rest of Glory and then UFC. Amazing combat sports weekend. Uh, the fight's starting right now, buddy. The fight's starting right now. Rico probably in like an, yeah, an hour and a half, two hours. Okay, guys, I'm going to give live play-by-play -play as soon as it starts here. The ref's just giving them instructions, then we'll get right back to it. Rico is fighting in two hours, guys. All right, round one. Let's get it on. Two minutes and 57 seconds on the clock here. They each exchange some leg kicks. Again, two minutes and 50 seconds if you want to sync up with my broadcast. And trying to switch stances there on the fly was over mirror, but he ends up tripping there. Again, left hook there, followed by a right leg kick by Overmere. Oh, a nice knee there by Kwasi. Beautiful switch knee there by Kwasi. What a nice counter left there, one two by Overmere. Both of them swinging the pog here, entering into the clinch. There was Overmere, only lands one shot to the body. Again, if you guys, if I miss your comment, comment it again. I'll get back to it, but we'll get back to it between rounds here. Taking a one two there was Kwasi trying to land that high kick. Both of them center of the ring, two minutes and 11 seconds on the clock. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Homichi is my cousin. Nice, dude. If you guys join the exclusive membership on this channel in our Discord, you can get a link. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock. Ooh, a nice high kick attempt there by Overmir. Pushing forward is Kwasi. Didn't land any of those push kicks. One minute and 46 seconds. Swinging a miss there with the kicks there. Outside low kick by Kwasi. And swinging, with, swinging and missing with the kicks was Kwasi as well. Catching the body kick there was Kwasi. And a one-two. Entering the clincher. Both the fighters, none of them land anything clean. One minute and 27 seconds on the clock. Overmere with a nice outside low kick on the lead left leg of Kwasi. Nice trip there by Overmere as well. One minute and 15 seconds on the clock. Keep the comments coming, guys. We'll, we'll get back to them in a, in a moment here. Nice knee in the clinch there by Overmere. Ref separates them. One minute on the clock in the first round. A right hook and a left swing and a miss there by Overmere, but he's swinging with ill intent. Each of them have landed 14 strikes apiece in this first round. 50 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Kwasi. Walking forward is Overmere. Very close round, very close round. Overmere takes a body shot there, entering the clinch. I'll say Kwasi landed more of the leg kicks. 40% landing rate for Overmere, 39 for Quasi. It is an even fight. They've thrown 53. They've landed 20 apiece. My goodness. 20 seconds left. Whoever makes a mistake in this last 20 seconds will, will lose this round. There's a nice body kick there by Quasi. Knee in the clinch there by Overmere. This is a dead even round. I'm, I'm interested to see how the judges score this one. Clinching again here in the final 10 seconds. Five seconds left in the first round. They each exchange some low kicks at the end. Nothing really significant to sway me either way. And that is it for the first round. All right, guys, let's get back to the comments. Who won that first round in your opinion? I know we're going to see the live scoring here in a sec, but I want to hear from you guys. Who won that first round in your opinion if you're watching along? John says Kwasi won that first round. He, he did seem more active, especially with the low kicks. Demi, thanks for the commentary on the fight so far. Appreciate it, lad. Good night to you, sir. Everyone else in the chat. Oi, oi, thank you so much, Demi. Appreciate you. Rico main event and can be ordered live visually through Google. The City Life Project commentary fights live. Yes, I do. Best chap ever. I got to go have them kids to put to bed. I guess I'll see slash hear the news tomorrow about the big fight. Hey, we'll be here all day and all night, Dammy. Thank you so much for joining. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, Ismail, Ismail's pissed. I mean, Ismail, you could also just find it on two Google searches, man. Ismail, it took me two Google searches to find it. I don't know why. Guys, why is Ismail so pissed? Ismail, we're all chill here, buddy. I don't know why you're so angry. I said, if you want a place to find it, we have a spot because people in our community 
they they give out. You know, they try to help you. So I'm just I'm just giving you an option, buddy. But Ismail's getting all pissy here. Dude, it's not my fault you cannot use Google. I, I'm, I'm, I truly am sorry you don't know how to use Google, man. I, I'm really sorry that Ismail here cannot use two Google searches and find it like everybody else. So my apologies, brother. I bought the pay-per-view. You're being cheap. That's on you, my man. Too many, and I don't even care if you buy anything from us. You don't even want to, you don't even want to buy the glory pay-per-view. That's on you, buddy. And you can't use Google. It's not my fault. 30 seconds on the clock here. 30 seconds into the second round, I should say here. Two minutes and 23 seconds on the clock. Round two, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, our exclusive members community has a place to watch it. If you guys want to join, they will help you out. I'm watching on the pay-per-view. And uh, so I can guarantee watch these fights, guys. Two minutes on the clock. So my apologies. I don't have a link for you guys, but our community does. If you want to join as an exclusive member, they said they will help you out. I'm watching the fights. I bought the pay-per-view. We're going to focus on that, boys. One minute and 52 seconds on the clock here. Um, comment along if you're watching the fight, as I want to hear your guys' opinions. One minute and 42 seconds on the clock. Overmere entering with those knees in the clinch again. One minute, 30 seconds on the clock. Kwasi with the nice hooks there. Body kick by Kwasi. And a good job evading some of those shots by Overmere. Kwasi doing a good job with the head movement. Getting his counters going. Kicks and hooks. One minute, 18 seconds. Nice step in right jab by Kwasi. Kwasi to the left of the body. Fainting with a knee there was Overmere. Kwasi doesn't bite. They clinch and separate. Yes, Vidalis wins. Vidalis wins. Oh, what a nice shot there by Overmere. Kwasi trips, falls to the ground. Back up. Not a knockdown. Throwing some big shots in the pocket there is Kwasi. Doesn't have quick hands, but powerful hands nonetheless. And Overmere, the counter left there. That landed. Kwasi overextends on the entry, and they clinch here. 35 seconds left on the clock. And Kwasi thrown over Mir to the ground. 30 seconds on the clock here in the first round, ladies and gentlemen. Strikes essentially even a piece, 19 to 15 in favor of Kwasi in the second round. Overmere, what did it say? 28 to 24 for Overmere in the first. Oh, a nice step in left, followed by a right there by Kwasi. 10 seconds left in the second round, ladies and gentlemen. John Hagel saying Kwasi wins. That's your prediction for this one. Activate A, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it for me. All right, end of the second round. End of the second round. Let me know your opinions, guys, but I have Kwasi up two rounds. First round was very close. First round was very close. Uh, activate A, this is what happened. So I woke up, like I said, I was going to sleep in for 30 minutes of the event. I was going to come in 30 minutes late. I, uh, I, I woke up 6.30 a.m. my time to watch it. Power's out. We had a big storm here. It's sunny now, which is crazy. We're finally. Big storm here. Apparently, the power's only out for like 15 minutes. Uh, I only waited five minutes. And I was like, fuck this. I'm going back to bed. Set an alarm for an hour so I could at least do like half the event. Slept through that second alarm. Started with glory. I bought the pay-per-view. I'm going to watch it after UFC. Uh, thanks, Jones. Appreciate you, buddy. There you go. See, Jones knows how to use Google. Jones is an absolute beauty. Jones... You are the MVP of this live chat here. Jones was trying to be all, trying, trying to be mean, but I appreciate Jones because he's a smart man. Uh, I'm not. I know you're going to watch it later. I saw it on Discord. Attaboy. Thank you so much. All right, round three, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, shout out to Jones. He knows how to use Google. Shout out to Jones. Only one judge gave the second round to Overmere, by the way. Everyone else gave it to him 10-9. Two minutes and 41. Yorsra doesn't know how to use Google. Yorsra doesn't know how to use Google. Yorsra, I'm watching on pay-per-view. I don't know what else to tell you. I bought the pay-per-view. You want to be cheap. It's not my fault. I bought the pay-per-view. Go on the Glory website. That is my link. Two minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. I don't know what else to tell you, uh, Yorsra. I bought the pay-per-view. That is my link. I don't have a link for you. Two minutes and 11 seconds on the clock. 
Our community has a link for you. If you want to become a member, I don't. They do. They're being nice. I, I'm i watching the pay-per-view. One minute and 58 seconds on the clock here, guys. Strikes favoring Kwasi here, 61 to 49. 52 seconds on the clock. They clinch. Outside low kick by Kwasi here on the entry. Left body shot by Kwasi. Left and right by Kwasi. Over here trying to counter, but just not landing. Right hand on the entry by Kwasi as well. And again, in, in the pocket there, Overmere's not landing enough. Knee to the body there by Kwasi. Overmere just needs to honestly throw caution to the wind a little bit here in the pocket. Just throw with those big shots here. He's thinking a little too much and he's one step behind. He's also gassing a little bit here. Straight front kick by Kwasi. Overmere catches it and lands a decent left. But he just looks labored. He just looks gassed. What's up, William? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, there's like five more. Got a sub. There you go. There you go. 53 seconds on the clock. Good to see you, William. 45 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Third and final round. Pushing forward is over me, but he's just not landing the shots. Whenever Kwasi threatens on the entry, he just Overmere's just going for the clinch. Well, oh, there's a nice right hand by Overmere. Spoke too soon there. But Quasi's dangerous with that knee on the entry as well. And every time Quasi steps forward there, over me just elects to clinch instead of counter. No, you, you didn't. You didn't, Sine. I Again, I don't have anything free. My community does on the as an exclusive member Discord. If you become an exclusive member, we have a Discord. If you want it, sure. I'm not pushing on you guys. I don't care if you become an exclusive member or not. But if you want to become an exclusive member and join our Discord, our community, they, they said they will happily give you guys links. I, I don't even know where you can watch this. I did two Google searches. There's some stuff there. You can find it there. I bought the pay-per-view, guys. I support Glory, and uh, I always buy the pay-per-view. So I'm just being transparent. I'm just being transparent. Um, this is a watch party, clearly says in the title, and I'm very excited to have you folks alongside for the ride. And yeah, love commentating on the fights and that is it for the third round clear victory in my mind three rounds for quasi only one judge like i said gave the second round to Overmere. uh no you didn't because it would say it would say sine I, I mean you didn't become a member and that's okay i'm not pushing it upon anybody but i would know it, it would it would tell me so I'm um, yeah, I'm I'm not giving nothing for free because I don't have a free link. Guys, I bought the pay-per-view. I don't know why you guys are so mad. You guys are so mad. Gamer Slayer, why are you so mad, brother? You have Google. You can buy the pay-per-view like me. I bought the pay-per-view. <laughs> Cuz I'm an actual combat sports fan. <laughs> oh man. Uh, El Buni, he lost, buddy. He lost. He did get a knockdown early in the first round. 30 seconds in the first round, by the way. Then he got knocked down late, and then he got knocked down twice in the second. Couldn't continue. Yeah, so Rico's the main event, guys. Rico's the main event. I'm not trying to be mean, dude. I'm not trying to be mean. It, it just blows my mind. It's like, I, I know what events that I want to watch, and to avoid, you know, we're, you know, the stressors of trying to find something, you know, there, there's some fight events where like I, I make sure, you know, put a little bit of that paycheck aside and, and, and watch, uh, watch a little glory here. My community said in, in the discord, which part of uh, the chat, part of the perks of becoming a member on this channel is you get lifetime access to the discord. They're offering stuff to you guys. I buy the pay-per-views cause I'm a psycho. Uh, it's on the community tab if you become an exclusive member, guys. Uh, probably in like two hours, buddy. Probably like in two hours. What's up, Denial? Come through uh, to drop a like and say what's up. Still stuck on just phone. So one screen life. Wish I could watch fights and chat. But much love to each and the crew. Thank you so much, uh, Denial. Appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, 30-27 all around here for the winner by unanimous decision. Chico Quasi.
Deserving win. I mean, the first round was very close. I think he won the second round. And third round, he was landing the better shots. Overmere wasn't countering enough, in my opinion. Clinching over countering, in my opinion. All right. Middleweight fight coming up next here, guys. Uh, probably in like an hour and a half, buddy. Probably like an hour and a half. How many more fights? One, two, three, four. So four more fights, dude. Four more fights. So an hour and a half, give or take. There'll probably be a little bit of an intermission, but uh, you know, nothing like Ryzen or, or like KSW uh, lengths because they go like 20 to, to 40 minutes, but there'll be like a little 10, 15 minute intermission, I think, between the co-main and main. But uh, no, other than that, probably an hour and a half. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate you. Uh, again, guys, if you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat here. Uh, appreciate every single every single one of you who have been joining. Again, we do this every single weekend. We have been doing these every single weekend for over a year now. So again, shout out to everybody. We're going to be doing UFC a little bit later. Uh, sorry we missed Ryzen this morning, but I did buy the pay-per-view. I am going to be watching it after UFC. So whether I just go live while I'm watching it and hang out with you guys in the live chat or not, we'll see. We'll see if I have a voice at that point. But uh, again, just big shout out to everyone who supports this channel. Uh, two new videos dropping tonight. The final weekend regional finishes in October. Uh, the five or six highlights because we had an honorable mention in that one as well. That video will be dropping. I have another video I'll be dropping of a scary, scary knockout as well as two other videos that we're filming and a couple of vlogs uh, from Vancouver Island from the visit on this channel as well. So, so much content on this channel, MMA, vlogs, live streams, the whole nine yards. If you missed our UFC predictions video, it is uh, live on the channel as well. So uh, yeah, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, da, 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 da. when is uh Anshul Jubilee returning to the UFC not probably not for a little while I would say probably like uh three to four months cheers from Lima Peru too bad pay-per-view for glory isn't available today oh I'm sorry to hear that Oscar I'm sorry to hear that uh shout out to Peru by the way Inca FC I've been I've been following that league a lot now brother uh, da, 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 da. can't believe Bonfim is so fat Do you watch the fight or like the commentators? I commentate. I comment. I'm watching the fight as well on. I, I buy the pay-per-view, buddy. I buy the pay-per-view. When is Rico fighting? Like in an hour and a half, dude. In like an hour and a half. Enchil is the glory champ. <laughs> Enchil Jubilee. Uh, good to see you, Kari. It's good to see you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, semi art. Uh, I don't, buddy. I'm watching the pay per view, like I said. Our community, though, uh, I'm I'm looking at our exclusive member Discord, and they have some links. If you guys wanna, if you wanna join, sweet. If not, you can you can listen to me. But I know Zach, he was offering to help you guys out. But yeah, guys, I bought the pay per view as I do with every glory event. Uh, what's up, Angela? Uh, I'm, I'm buying. I bought the pay per view. Like I said, I canceled my Netflix. I don't care about Netflix. I don't care about Disney Plus. I don't care about Paramount. I care about fights. So, uh, I bought the pay per view. Uh, if you guys want to join the exclusive membership on this channel, one of the perks is our Discord group, our community, and some of the community members said that they would help you guys out if you if you join. So, look, you don't have to. I'm not trying to push that upon you. I'm just saying it's an option. Cheaper than a pay-per-view. Uh, the exclusive members said that they would help you guys out in the Discord if you want to join. I put the Discord link for exclusive members on the community tab. If you want to go down that route, they said they will help you. But again, I, I can't. I did two Google searches. It was pretty easy to find on that front. Um, again, I didn't do much digging because I bought the pay-per-view here. But the uh, next two fighters are making their walk out now. Uh, da, da, da. Don't think Rico will happen in under an hour and a half. More like 20. No, no. It, it More like. Okay. Okay. It's my projection. I don't know when it's going to, because I don't know when it's going to start because obviously these are fights. Fights could end quick. Fights could go the distance. So my projection is in an hour, an hour and a half, but it could go a little bit longer. Angela, I just answered your question, so I'm not going to continue <laughs> to answer it over and over again. All right, let's take a look at these next two fighters. Appreciate every single one of you uh, watching. Out of Turkey, we have the number two ranked middleweight, Serkan 
Oskaglian, 45 wins, 8 losses, 36 of his 45 victories have been knockouts. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? 36 of his 45 wins have been knockouts. That is amazing. 29 years of age, he is in his prime. This is his sixth time in the glory ring. Three KO TKOs in four victories. He also has two losses on his resume. What a career, man. Oh my goodness. And he's, he is in his prime. Up against the number fourth ranked middleweight in Ulrich Bokeme, who is 31, 4, and 0, 17 knockouts to his resume, 33 years of age. One and two in the glory ring, so not as fortunate in the glory ring. Only one win in the promotion, two losses. Zero, like he didn't get a KO in that win either. So out of the Dem Democratic Republic of the Congo, he is looking to get his second victory in the ring here. Again, fourth ranked middleweight up against the second ranked middleweight. I am going with Serkan Ozkaglayan. He just hits way too hard. He just is too powerful. And I'm a little suspect on his hand speed compared to that of a Bokeme, but uh, I'm still giving it to the 29-year-old from Turkey. That's who I'm picking. Let me know your picks in the live chat. Let me know who you think is going to win this next one in the live chat, guys. Andrew, what's up, Andrew? Good to see you. Glory is my thing, but went with Ryzen. a boy. John says, Bokeme, that is your pick. Locking it in. Uh, no greedy bastards by pay per view if you want to watch. <laughs> Add a boy, Wesley. Add a boy, Wesley. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Uh, what's up, Marys? Yes, he won, dude. He won second round TKO. He was dropped 30 seconds in the first round, but then got a knockdown as well in the first round. And in the second, dropped El Bu uh, Buni or Buni twice and was able to get the victory. So yeah, he already fought and he won. Adios, Angela. Uh, yes, Latestu won, dude. Latestu won. Okay, got you, Wesley. Hey, like I said, you're probably uh, more accurate. What's up, Serial Killers Documentaries? One of the best channels on YouTube, guys. Go subscribe right now. F free ads. Go subscribe to Serial Documentaries. One of the best YouTube channels out there. We have a celebrity in the live chat. We have a celebrity exclusive member here. On my way home. Cannot wait for you to hang out with us for the rest of the glory card in UFC today. Serial Killers Documentary. Yihans, I know it's crazy. Uh, da, 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 da. Letestu is the future world champ. Uh, I lost money on LFA yesterday. Now I'm done betting. No problem, buddy. No problem, dude. I am happy. Uh, Wesley, the best middleweight? Is that what you're asking, Wesley? All right, guys, fighters are being announced in the center of the ring. We'll get back to the live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction. If you're new to the channel, we do these fight companions, these watch parties every single weekend. Kickboxing, MMA, Muay Thai, Jiu-Jitsu even, the whole boxing, the whole nine yards. Appreciate every single one of you for watching. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to be giving you live updates and play-by-play -play here coming from all three rounds. Uh, Oscar, <laughs> hello to Oscar's family. Uh, da, da, da. I mean, when Pereira was in glory, he was unbelievable. My favorites uh, were from K one, to be honest, like the the Mark like Mark the Mark Hunt days. Probably an hour and a half, two hours. Yes, all right. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get back to the commentary. Two minutes and fifty six seconds, and already a sweep. By Bokemi. 10 seconds into the fight. 2 minutes and 45 seconds. You want to sync up with me. Inside low kick by Oskar Glayen. Ooh, a nice body kick by Bokemi. Bokemi being pressured into the corner right now. Right body shot. High kick attempt there by Oskar Glayen. 
And Bokemi enters the clinch with a knee to the body. They clinch. Ref separates. Two minutes and 29 seconds on the clock. Four more fights after this one, buddy. Four more fights after this one. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Right jab, trying to gauge the distance. Is Oz Kaglayan lands a body kick caught by Bokemi in a trip sweep one minute into this first round. Two minutes on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Again, not a lot of power coming from Oscar Glyan shots yet. And there's a right hand, but nice block there by Bokemi. Bokemi's throwing more to open this first round, ladies and gentlemen. One minute and 54 seconds on the clock. Body shot followed by a left hook by Oscar Glyan. Blocked the body shot of Bokemi. Oscar Glyan, he's the one pushing forward right now. Threw a right and a left hook. Neither of them land. Bokemi landing under that left arm of Ozka Glyan pretty much every single time he throws that body shot. Despite Ozka Glyan being the one walking Bokemi down here, Bokemi's landing the better shots. And it's body kicks. Oh, and a nice kick to the body there by Bokemi, but Ozka Glyan didn't like that, and he's trying to counter with some big hooks, but Bokemi blocked pretty much everything with that solid high guard, enables the tie clinch, and lands a knee to the body. I'll get back to your guys' comments after this round. Keep the comments coming. I want to hear your thoughts on the fight. Body kick there by Bokemi. Again, under that left arm, man. Under that left arm, right on the left rib there. Swing and a miss with that right hand by Bokemi. 55 seconds on the clock. Left body shot there by Oskar Gayan. And the left hook there by Bokemi. Oh, Bokemi with a nice high kick there. Blocked, but that still hurt Oskar Gayan. Oskar Gayan with a body kick of his own. Outside low kick by Oskar Gayan. Okemi seems like he's a little bit quicker and a little bit faster with his strikes here, but uh, he's throwing his whole body into some of them, and we don't want to see him gas out. 25 seconds left on the clock. High kick attempt, a swing and a miss there by Bokemi. 68% of his shots landed by Bokemi. Thrown 35, landed 24. 27% landed for Oskogai, and 10 seconds left in the first round. Ooh, nice counter left there by Bokemi. Straight right through the guard of Bokemi. And Oskar Gayan pushing forward. Final seconds. Too little, too late. They clinch in the corner. And that is it for the first round. That is it for the first round, ladies and gentlemen. All right, round two coming up here. Let's get back to the comments. I know, I know. <laughs> What's up, Syed? Good to see you. Good to see you. There you go. Gamer Slayer doing God's work. Gamer Slayer, you're an absolute beauty, buddy. If I had my soundboard, I'd <laughs> I'd give you the that's just beautiful than a motherfucker. Uh shout out to Gamer Slayer. Nice profile picture too, buddy. Everyone go subscribe to Gamer Slayer. He's helping you out. He's doing God's work. He's doing God's work. There you go. Gamer Slayer. See? Nothing but good vibes here, boys. Nothing but good vibes here. Uh, great fight to start off this first round. I am giving the, I'm giving it to Bokemi. He's landed some huge body shots when he's connected straight through the guard. They've been some nice shots. Oscar Gayan, though he's walking him down, his you know his accuracy, his landing percentage not as not as good, and I just don't think the shots are doing as much damage. All right, round two. Let's see what the judges have to say with the open scoring here. Hello from Brazil. What is up, buddy? Bernardi, uh, Bernardino, Bernardino MMA. Shout out to you, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. And Bo Kemi throwing some big shots there. Oscar guy and got tagged with some, got tagged with the right hand there and an uppercut. He's on skates. He desperately goes for the clinch. Two minutes and 31 seconds on the clock. What's up, uh, Ovir Palacio? Oscar guy is a bad fighter. He got bad technique. Thank you so much for joining, buddy. Appreciate you. They clinch right now. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Second round. And Bokemi with a nice right hand. Hasn't knocked down Oscar Gaian yet, but he's tagged him. And Oscar Gaian just slowed right down with his shots here. Bokemi way quicker with his combos. And a great high guard by Bokemi as well. Strikes landed already in this round. 17 by Bokemi, only two by Oscar Gaian. One minute and 56 seconds on the clock. Trying to throw that high kick is Bokemi. I mean, we're hoping Rico wins, right? We're hoping Rico wins. <laughs> Wesley saying, 
Gamer Slayer's BS. One minute, 36 seconds on the clock. Ooh, a nice body shot there by Bokemi. Bokemi with the left hook and a body shot again, man. He's just way more crisp. Way more crisp and clean with his striking. Straight left jab. Knee on the entry. Oscar Gagan, he's just too slow. He's just too slow with the striking right now. Maybe just a little too labor. A couple body shots and a low kick there. But again, the shots of Bokemi are landing. They're hard shots, man. He literally just took those from Oscar Gagan. Didn't even see him phase. Outside low, or inside low kick by Bokemi. One minute on the clock in the second round. And yeah, the broadcast said Bokemi's just giving him these free muffin shots here. Bokemi moving forward. Pressuring Oscar Gagan into the corner here. He's trying to probably lab, land that uppercut. Bokemi, hopefully he's not gassing here in this second round. Because Oscar Gaian actually landing more shots in the second half of this second round, but they're muffin shots, and it looks like Bokemi's just giving him the round here. I bought the pay-per-view, guys. I, I don't know where you can watch it. I bought the pay-per-view. Outside low kick by Oscar Gaian there after his combo. None of the shots, though, to set up that low kick landed. The guard of Bokemi, the high guard, has been incredible. Even his, even guarding his body there, the low guard there. And you look at the shots. Oscar Gagne just threw a combo there. It landed nothing. Nothing landed. Nice knee to the body there by Bokemi on the entry. Oscar Gagne tries to throw a knee of his own. Five seconds left in the second round. Weird round. Bokemi, the first minute and a half rounds out of the first minute and a half of the round Bokemi definitely looked you know picked up where he left off in the first and then just kind of gave free shots to Oscar Guy in there gave him free shots muffin shots they did little to no damage at all but then kind of looked like he slowed down so I'm interested to see how the judges scored that one I mean volume wise maybe he got it but Bokemi was just playing with his food there, in my opinion. Third round coming up. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. I want to hear from you guys. How did you score that second one? Yep, Rico wins if he did train. Again, let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Again, my boy Zach said he'd give it to you guys. Um, but unfortunately, you got to become a member. All right, round number three, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Two minutes and 53 seconds on the clock. Only one judge gave that second round to Oz Kagayan. Every other judge gave it to Bokemi 10-9. So 2018 on one of the judges' scorecards, 2019 on all the others. Outside low kick by Bokemi, but Oscar Gaian's pressuring him into the corner here. Again, muffin shots to his guard. Bokemi's landing 39 shots in the second round to Oscar Gaian's 35. Yeah, he gave him that. He gave him the end of the second round. Nice knee to the or nice knee in the tie clinch there by Bokemi. Two minutes and 19 seconds on the clock. They're fighting right now, buddy. They're fighting right now. A huge debt. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. I haven't seen it. Don't. I don't want to hear anything. Don't. Don't tell me. Huge debt. Don't ruin. It. I bought the pay per view. I slept in. I missed it. <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> I, I. I don't. I don't want to know. I'm staying off Twitter until you know after I watch it too. One minute fifty two seconds on the clock. But great to see you, huge debt. Hope you're having a great morning. Hopefully, uh, you win some money on UFC, and so you're happy again. No, all good. All good. It, I'll tell you the story in a, uh, after this fight. Remind me. I'll tell you what happened this morning. One minute and 35 seconds on the clock. Nice knee to the body there by Bokemi. Bokemi landing some knees in the clincher. Oh, and a counter shot by Oscar Gaian. Okay, it was a push. I thought it was a counter shot and knocked him down. But it was a push. Not going to count as a, as a knockdown. That could have resulted in this fight being a draw if that was a knockdown, which is crazy. One minute and 16 seconds on the clock. Third round here. One minute on the clock. Outside low kick by Bokemi. Bokemi looks like he's tired, man. But also Gaian just muffin shots. Muffin shots. One straight right through the guard of Oscar Gaian by Bokemi. Oscar Gaian throws a left. Oh, and a beautiful counter left by Bokemi. 
that hurt Oscar Gain and slowed him down tremendously, even more than he. It's labored him more than he's labored right now, ladies and gentlemen. 41 seconds on the clock here, third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Left hook on the entry, followed by a knee. Bokemi landing some big knees in the tie clinch here. Both of them seem tired, but Bokemi, he's got a little bit more gas left in the tank, clearly. Muffin shot after muffin shot after muffin shot by Oskoglai in here. Not landing anything through the guard of Bokemi. The high guard anyways, and even the low guard. They exchanged some kicks here. 15 seconds on the clock. Oskoglai swings at the air. Bokemi, beautiful counter shots here. A one, two, and an outside low kick, which is the low kick's the only thing Oscar Gain has pretty much been able to land in this third round. Final five seconds. Lands a hook there. Lands a knee on Bokemi's entry. And another couple knees there by Bokemi. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the third round. I have Bokemi winning all three rounds. The judges had him up going into the third, and Oscar Gain did not end it. So I imagine he's going to win this one unanimous decision. Hell yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Oscar, shout out to the Maja family. I think Sir Ken's going to lose. Yes, I think Sir Ken's going to lose. Uh, Rob, Rob, uh, on our exclusive, if you become an exclusive member, one of the perks is lifetime access to our Discord. Now, again, I'm not, you, not trying to push this on you guys. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. I'm saying it's an option. There's some of our homies in the uh, part of our exclusive membership, our membership subscribers, our membership homies. They offered to help you guys out if you guys uh, want to join our Discord that way. The Discord link is in the is in the community tab. Again, not trying to push that on you guys. That's not the ploy of this at all. I'm watching on pay per view. I buy the pay per views. They said that was an option. If not, y'all, you can use Google. Y'all can find it. Uh, gamer, it's it's uh, gamer. So guys, the Discord's on the community tab for exclusive members. <laughs> Your mother loose. <laughs> Wesley, I'll do it if you pay me half the pay-per-view contributions. <laughs> who won? Who won? Yeah, sec uh, Sir Ken got his ass whipped. Bokemi beat him up all three rounds. The official decision is coming up here in a second. But again, Bokemi was up two rounds going into the third. And he he dominated the third. <laughs> dominate dominate is, is, is a stretch. But he was the better fighter. He outlanded him. Let's take a look at the stats here as well. Landed 43%, 36 kicks of 43, 19 of 21 knees, 102 of 173 sh shots thrown overall. Underdogs are winning. Uh, What's up, Void? Uh, he hasn't fought yet, buddy. He hasn't fought yet. Uh, okay, I'm home. What are we watching? Glory Collision 6. So watching some Glory Kickboxing. We got th we got four more fights left on the card before we jump over to UFC. <laughs> Rico hasn't fought yet, guys. Rico hasn't fought. Uh, probably in like an hour or two hours, right, guys? An hour and a half? Hour, hour and a half? There's four more fights until his fight, okay? I'll, I'll... Again, guys, you guys are fight. Why does every... Can I ask you guys a question here? Why is everyone asking me when Rico starts? Guys... This is fighting. Some fights can go the distance. Some fights can end early, right? So I don't, I don't have a time for you, but I can say this fight's next. Then the co-main event. Then Rico. So four more fights. Four more fights, guys, okay? Four more fights. And then Rico. All right. Okay, I am in. <laughs> uh... Ulrich Bokemi won. Ulrich Bokemi won. Unanimous decision. Getting big shout out to Serial Killers Documentary. One of the best YouTubers on this platform. If you like Serial Killer Documentaries, go check out his channel. He does great work. And he's a big supporter uh, of our channel. And he's on the Discord. So he has a place to watch this. Daniel, you you're a smart man, Daniel. You know you 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 know the answer to that question, Daniel. You're a smart man. You're a smart man, Daniel. Come on. You're a smart man. Uh just play by play commentary. It's a watch party, but like I said, you're a smart man, Daniel. You 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 know the rules of YouTube, sir. You know the rules of YouTube. Uh 145 viewers, 53 likes, hit that like button. Yeah, come on, guys, smash that like button. 
Someone Google your pair fight and tell me exactly what time it starts. Where can I watch your free <laughs> and the outcome? <laughs> oh my goodness. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. All right. Welterweight featured fight coming up next year, ladies and gentlemen. We have Diguli Kamara, 24 wins, four losses, one draw, 10 KO TKOs. Oh my goodness, guys. Here you go. Here you go. Serial killers just gave out five memberships. This just gave up five. Ready, same day. There you go, buddy. There you go. There you go. For all members, you can find... You can find the links now. For all members, you can find the links. Go to the community tab. Go to the community tab and join the Discord. And then ask the Discord, guys. Go to the community tab. Thank you. You didn't have to do that, Serial Killers. You didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, as always, going above and beyond and supporting this channel. You are amazing, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. All right. All you exclusive members, I gave you the link to the Discord. Here you go. Exclusive members. There you go. Click that. Join the Discord. Zek will be there waiting for you. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. You're already an exclusive member. You gave out memberships in the last stream. And now you're giving out memberships in this stream. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Guys, I'm going to be pumping this channel all the time now for, for until I die. Serial Killers Documentaries. Go check it out. Everybody hit the like. Who's first to list of going to play first? No, no, he's the main event, buddy. He's the main event. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There you go. Ready, same day. There you go, buddy. There you go. Sometimes you, uh, sometimes the little luck helps you out. I put the link in the live chat, guys. Click the Discord. The community there will help you. I know, Wesley. I know. It is what it is. 2023. 2023 there you go guys i put the link in the chat for all new members thank you so much again my man i cannot believe it serial killers documentary thank you so much sir thank you so much wow wow i cannot believe it you guys are amazing you guys are amazing thank you so much buddy i'm speechless bro i'm speechless um, for all new members, here we go. Welcome. And I put the link for you guys. So again, anybody who just joined the discord, don't say I never did anything for you. Don't say I never did. Don't say serial killers documentaries never did anything for you. There you go. There you go. Yes, Becco, he lost, buddy. Unfortunately, he I picked him to win, but he lost. One minute into the first round, he got TKO'd. One minute TKO, he lost, buddy. I cannot believe it. Uh, again, Serial Killers documentary, I, words cannot describe how thankful I am, my man. I know, dude, I know. Uh, street statistics, just like, buddy... You know, you, you gotta you, you can join our Discord lifetime membership for our Discord, even if you just become a member on the channel for one month. <laughs> uh which Moroccan guy? There have been a lot of Moroccan guys on the on the card, buddy. All right, let's highlight the next two fighters, guys. We got uh Diaguli Kamara, like I said, 24 wins, four losses, one draw, 10 KO Tiko. He's fighting out of France. He's the number nine ranked welterweight, 30 years of age. Uh, two and zero oh, with one KO in the promotion. Going up against Hamicha, we had Hamicha's cousin was in the live chat at one point today. So shout out to them. Four and zero oh in the promotion, four KOs. The number two ranked welterweight at twenty seven years of age. He is forty wins, two losses, thirty knockouts. Is that the Moroccan guy you're talking about, Void? Is that the Moroccan guy you're talking about? 30 freaking knockouts. He's 27 years of age. Four wins, four knockouts in the promotion. What else do you want me to say? He's an absolute beauty. Kamara's good. I've seen Kamara fight before. But uh, I'm going with Hamicha. That is my pick, locking it in. 
Uh, Wally Ducks, uh, the Discord's available for you. I put the link in the live chat, dude. The I already put it in the live chat. It's available for you on the community tab, my man. Uh, in about an hour, dude. In about an hour. Hamicha, two years layoff with leg injuries. Ooh, I didn't. I didn't take that into account. I didn't take that into account. Is he still the favorite? That is the question. Is he still the favorite? Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. is he still the favorite? I'm still gonna go for him. I, I still, I'm, I'm still gonna pick him. Screw it. I'm living life in the fast lane. He's the new Badahari. Uh, Wally Docs, I don't know how many times I, I have to keep telling you, buddy. I already put the link in the live chat. You can click the community tab. It is there for exclusive members. I don't know how, how many times I have to tell you, buddy. There you go, Wally Docs. For members only, like I said. Um, I bought it on pay-per-view. Or you guys can do that. Uh, Fight.tv has it. Here, I'll help you out. Fight.tv has it or Glory website. Is there a problem that Kamara's coach sometimes comes in my gym? Oh, no, that, that's not a problem. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Not going to lie. All the Moroccan kickboxers are monsters. It is true. It is true. What happened to Kamara's head? I'm not, I'm not sure. All right, guys. Like I said, next fighters are making their walkouts to the cage. I'm going to, or to the ring, I should say. We're going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen here. Again, I'm, despite his layoff, I'm still going with Hamicha. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Let me know who you think is going to win this next one. Give me your early predictions. And again, Kamara, he's dangerous. He's dangerous. But uh, layoff or no layoff, doesn't matter. We're going with Hamicha on this one, boys. All right, next fight coming up here. Hamicha versus Kamara. Final chance for you guys to give me your predictions here as they're going to be announced in the ring, and then we're going to get back to live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Hell yeah, dude. We're excited for that one. We're excited for that one. Um, Yihans is going with Kamara. Oh my goodness, there's insane knockout in Octagon MMA. Wow. Yeah, Diego. I have to. So, fight promotions that I'm going to be catching up on later is going to be Ryzen, LFA, Octagon, and the BKFC Thailand I missed this morning as well. Uh, Wally Docs, I've told you so many times. I'm not going to tell you again, buddy. I I'm, and I don't mean to be a dick either. I I've just, I've literally given you so much time with answers. So I'm going to do it one more time. You have to become an exclusive member to gain access to the Discord. That is one of the official perks of this channel, regardless of the stream, buddy. Perks of the channels are exclusive membership streams every Monday, regular shout outs and videos custom emojis, and lifetime access to our Discord where our community helps you out and finds all sorts of combat sports fights. I'm not going to repeat myself, buddy. I'm going to ignore the comments that are asking the same thing because I just gave you an answer for the third time. If you become a member, the Discord link will be there for you, brother. Easy peasy. <laughs> I feel like I, I, you know, I handled that respectfully, right, guys? <laughs> Uh, Wally Ducks, thank you so much for the support. Uh, I feel like I, I spelt it out for you uh, pretty well there. Anyways, final predictions. Let me know in the live chat. I'm going Hamicha despite the layoff. Uh, Kamara, though, is no joke. 10 knockouts. Only one in the promotion thus far, but hey, he's making his third walk to the ring. <laughs> now Wally Ducks probably swearing at me. Uh, I picked Kawasi and uh, Boke both won. I wish I could put money on it. And Steven too. 
Uh, probably in an hour. There's three more fights left. An hour and a half, hour. I know I keep saying that, guys, but it, it's in three fights. We don't have the time for the fights, remember? Because they're fights. Yeah, Waladox is... is in, unless Waladox becomes a member, Waladox is getting no more response. Because I've, I've answered three times, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know... I don't know what else there is to say. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and the crowd's going crazy for this one. Crowd's going crazy to see him meet you back. All right, guys. Hamicha. In the white gloves, we have Kamara in the black. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen, round one. Two minutes and 55 seconds on the clock here again. Hamicha in the white. Kamara in the black gloves. Oh, and a nice right hand by Hamicha. They're going to count it as a slip, but I mean, he... He dropped Kamara. He didn't like knock him out, dropped him, but he hit him while he was entering with his kick and he fell to the ground. Hamicha with the body kick. Hamicha with the counter left after Kamara threw a body kick. Hamicha with a nice right hand uppercut. Head movement there by Kamara. Kamara's covering up well here, but Hamicha's landing some big shots. Again, good defense by Kamara, but Hamicha's pushing forward. Aggressive with the body kick there. Knee attempt by Hamichi. He's got to be careful not to gas himself out early here, especially with some ring rust. But he's looking good to start with the counter left there by Hamicha as well. Kamara doing a good job covering up here. Two minutes and 11 seconds, but he's getting tagged with those body shots by Hamicha. Two minutes on the clock. Yeah, I don't know if this goes the distance, guys. Good leg kick by Hamicha and an equally good checking there on the second one by Kamara. Hamicha continues to move forward. He's trying to keep Kamara... In the corner, cutting off his angles, keep his back to the ropes. Hamicha with the pressure here. Kamara's not been able to do anything. And Hamicha lands a nice counter left. That hurt Kamara there, forcing him to clinch. One minute, 38 seconds on the clock. We'll get back to your comments here in a second, guys. One minute, 35 seconds on the clock. Body kick there by Hamicha. One minute, 31 seconds. High kick attempt there by Hamicha. If I missed your comment, just comment it again. We'll get back to it in between rounds, guys. I don't want to miss any of the action here, and I know a lot of you are relying on the play-by-play. -play. One minute and 22 seconds on the clock. Again, Kamara clinching again. He has no choice. Hamicha is just pressuring him like crazy. Leg kick there. Body kick by Kamara. Hopefully, Kamicha, you know, didn't drain his gas tank too early. Nice outside low kick by Hamicha. Kamara didn't like that. It actually tripped him up. What's up, the Red Reaper? Hey, what's up, my fight fan? People love all y'all and love and life and what a day. And to whoever gifted me a membership, thank you so much. I'm blessed and hope everyone else is too. You got gifted a membership. That is awesome, buddy. Thank you so much. Yes, he did win. When's my next bowel movement and where will my knees be on Monday morning? Damn, Hamicha is good. What's up, Alibaba? 32 seconds on the clock. And a nice body kick there by Kamara. And a one-two by Hamicha. Good job by Kamara. At least using his left leg now to check those outside leg kicks of Hamicha. Because they they hurt, man. Hamicha's landed a couple on that outside of the left leg of Kamara. And he almost tripped him up with it. At the around the one minute mark there. Final 10 seconds of the first round. Body kick there by Kamara. Tried to land a spinning back fist at the bell. And that is it for the first round. Wow. What a first round, ladies and gentlemen. Again, Hamicha starting off with a huge pace. A relentless pace. Stalking down Kamara. Will not stop. Kamara, though. Let's see if he's been able to manage his gas tank and not get, you know, too... Crazy there, which he hasn't. He kept attacking the legs. He kept attacking the legs, covering up a lot. I will say Hamicha, when he had those flurries early in the first round, Kamara did a great job with his guard. He wasn't piercing through the guard much, but he did land some shots. Having said that, he did land some shots, and you can see he's, he's breathing pretty heavily here. I mean, I, I'm not suggesting that Kamara's gassed by any means, but that was a relentless pace, and I'm interested to see if Hamicha can keep that pace throughout at least the rest of the second round. Can this fight go the distance? I mean, if they gas, it will be a, you know a slog fest. But uh, I think someone's getting knocked out. I think someone's getting knocked out. 
This is Glory Kickboxing. What's up, Robert? Great to see you. Thanks for the membership attempt, but I'm off-grid and unwilling to plug into the Matrix. Fair enough, King James. Fair enough. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. And, and yeah, every every judge gave it to Hamicha, 10-9. Robert, it's great to see you, buddy. Nice left to the body there by Kamara. And looking to land that counter right is Hamicha. Two minutes and 34 seconds on the clock here. A left, a right, and an outside low kick by Hamicha. Kamara lands a left through the guard of Hamicha. Two minutes and 24 seconds on the clock. Hamicha spamming some kicks here now to the left or yeah, to the left side of Kamara. Two minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Yes, sir. Open scoring five judges. It's a beautiful thing. Nice high kick by Hamicha. And if it wasn't for the ropes, Kamara would have fallen over again. Yeah, open scoring and five judges. It's a beautiful thing. Ready, same day. You're welcome, brother. Say thank you to uh, Serial Killers Documentaries. He hooked you up. And ready, same day. I hope you joined the Discord. I hope you found it, my man. Uh, great to have you part of the community, Re uh, ready, same day. You're an absolute beauty, sir. Thank you so much. One minute, 43 seconds on the clock. Ooh, a nice left there by Kamara. Kamara with a nice switch knee. Again, Hamicha slowed down in the second round. This is what I feared. And Hamicha falls over now. Doesn't count as a knockdown. And I, I mean, Hamicha, ring rust. And fighting at the pace that he did in that first round, I figured he'd slow down. Or at least I, I figured that would be an option. He's still landing big shots there, one, two, and a low kick, but he has slowed down tremendously compared to the first round. Having said that, Kamara is landing definitely more shots and is, and is walking forward more than he has throughout the first round, but he's not doing enough to dominantly win this round, in my opinion. A couple shots of the body there. 55 seconds on the clock. I mean, I think Kamara might sneak this round, but it, it wasn't a dominant comeback, right? Hamicha's just slowed down and he's not landing enough. 45 seconds on the clock. Leaving his head open when he's throwing those crazy kicks there is Kamara, though. But again, Hamicha might be a little tired here, or at least conserving some of his energy for that third round. 34 seconds on the clock here. Swing and a miss by each of them. A left hook in the pocket there by Kamara. Good head movement by Hamicha. Another swing and a miss by Kamara, but Kamara did land a left uppercut. Beautiful left uppercut by Kamara. That landed. Hamicha's on the ropes. Kamara lands a left. Straight left there. Hamicha looks gassed. Hamicha looks absolutely gassed. This is what I feared, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I feared after that crazy pace in the first round. Though Kamara's not... Though Kamara's gas tank isn't full either, definitely looks like he's got a little bit more juice. Five seconds on the clock here. Good left. By Kamara. Oh, Kamara with a beautiful counter left. Kamara piecing up Hamicha with a left at the end of the second round. Kamara wins the second round. Beautiful end to the second round by Kamara. Kamara wins that second round. It's one apiece going into the third, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be one apiece going into the third. We'll take a look at the live scoring here, but all the judges gave Hamicha the first round 10 9. I imagine every single judge is going to give Kamara the second round 10 9 as well. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Soyab Gaming, yeah, if you if you become an exclusive member like Ready uh, Same Day, our, our friends on our Discord, uh, we'll hook you up. And the Discord link is on the community tab for exclusive members, my man. I'm watching on the pay-per-view. You can also, it was $20, $24 Canadian on um, Fight TV. I heard they're doing that in boxing as well. It seems like good in the opening scoring. Uh, no, 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 Wesley, don't don't come at King James. You King James has been a longtime supporter of this channel. King James has been a member of this channel, or uh, said he wanted to be a member of this channel, but he's been supporting. So don't come after King James, Wesley. King James is awesome. I no, I disregard this King James. Wesley doesn't know what he's talking about here. Sorry about that, King James. Sorry, Wesley, you can't come after the king like that, especially because he's like been with this channel since <laughs> what? Since I think even before we were at a thousand subs. All right, 1919. Oh, a nice knee there by Kamara. Doesn't count as a knockdown in this third round, but he falls over. Uh, da, da, da. He's one, one foot in the door, one foot, foot out the door. <laughs> Up your ass. <laughs> oh, man. Two minutes and 19 seconds. By the way, Wes, I'm just playing. Thank you so much for the support as well, dude. But no, King James is a good guy, man. King James hasn't missed a stream in almost like, what, 10 months? 
So I appreciate his support. And I appreciate your support too, Wesley. You're awesome. All right, two minutes on the clock here, guys. Two minutes on the clock. Look at that. King James, I'm listening for free. Choose not to pay for the free fights. One minute, 58 seconds on the clock. Uh, yeah, Jesse TH. Uh, I ain't Google, buddy. One minute, 47 seconds on the clock. Nice right hand there by Hamichi. But again, he... He's gassed, man. Kamara's got a little bit more left in the tank there. We saw it in the second round. We're seeing it in the third here. One minute, 36 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Kamara. Kamara sets up that spinning back fist. And Kamara's flowing now, man. Moving around here. His footwork's good. Body shot there by Kamara. In and out. Hamichi's only landed five strikes in this third round thus far. 14 for Kamara. And you can see the difference. Hamicha 41 to 13 in the second round. E like more even in, or sorry, in the first round, more even in the second. And yeah, Kamara's running away with it in the third here. Hamicha tried to grab the leg of a Kamara, catches it. Kamara sets up the spinning back fist. Kamara rips a shot to the body. Tie clinch, left leg kick by Kamara. Trying to catch those leg kicks or body kicks, I should say, is Hamicha here, but he's just too labored. He's just too gassed, man. Counter right there by Kamara. 40 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Kamara. Inside low kick by Kamara. Kamara stalking down Amicha. Double right jab by Kamara. Kamara trying to set up that spinning back fist with his movement here again and again. 25 seconds on the clock. Third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Hamicha started off strong. He's going to need a knockdown like the broadcast says with 15 seconds left or Kamara is going to run away with this one. In round three, Hamicha is just gassed, man. Absolutely gassed. Can barely land a strike. Maybe landed six total this whole round. Five, four, three, two, one. And that is it for the fight, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for the fight. All right, let's get back to the comments here. Let's get back to the comments. Uh, three more fights, guys. Three more fights. <laughs> I'm long in the tooth, not easily triggered to enjoy satire myself. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I miss Booty Man. <laughs> Kamara is a good fighter. Uh, Jesse T. So what time is the actual... Which fight? The main event? Uh, in three more fights, buddy. In three more fights. What's up, Mehdi? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, has anyone ever seen the video about uh, Black Guy Loves Booty and Prison Booty? You know, you know. I think I have seen it. I think I have seen it. <laughs> Fair enough. I like trolling these folks thinking they can watch fight for free off charge. Uh, Tariko Sara, is that your pick? Is that who you're picking? Yeah, three more fights, guys. Three more fights. Uh, Tariko Sara, that's who Rico's fighting. And he's good, man. He's good. Shane, the glory fights have been amazing, dude. But Shane, I, <laughs> I slept in a little bit for Ryzen. So what happened, guys? This is what happened with the Ryzen stream, all right? This is what happened with the Ryzen stream. I woke up at 6.30 a.m., half an hour late, but I was going to sleep in a little bit. Woke up at 6.30 a.m. The power was out, Shane. There was a huge storm last, and the power was out for like 10, 15 minutes in my neighborhood. I didn't even wait that long. I was like, power's out. I'm going to bed. I set my alarm for an hour, Shane. I set it for 7.30, slept through the 7.30 alarm, woke up at like 9, just in time for glory. So I haven't watched the Ryzen yet. Don't spoil it, Shane. If you want to hang out later, I don't know if I'll be able to hang out for UFC, but if you want to hang out later and watch Ryzen with me, more than welcome to you, buddy. More than welcome to you. No problem. Oh, Wesley, you're the man, dude. Thank you so much. Wesley, I'm so glad that like, you found this channel. And um, hopefully you continue to watch uh, fights with us moving forward, dude. All right, we're awaiting the official decision. I imagine it's Diaguli Kamara, though. He's a good fighter. Kind of took the first round off. Not even, you know, actually, that's not fair. He didn't take the first round out off. It was Hamicha came out swinging in the first round. And drained his gas tank. It's a split decision. Get the fuck out of here. So some judges have Hamicha winning the second round. How? I must have missed the first round. What? I thought only one judge gave it. Wow. That's a fucking robbery if I've ever seen one. 
I, I, I was literally reading the open scoring. All judges gave him the first round. All but one judge gave him the, the second round. Get, all, all but one judge gave Kamara the second round. Who gave Hamicha the third? Absolute robbery. Who the fuck gave Hamicha the third round? That that is terrible. Hamicha won, but he did not deserve to win, dude. That that's that's not a good decision. Damn, David. It hasn't it's, it hasn't even gone on yet, David. Kamara lost. Yeah, dude. Ah, that's terrible. So far, the judging has been bang on, except for that one. Damn. So, obviously, knockdowns are an automatic 10-8. And then who lands the more shots or significant strikes and or who's more aggressive. Yeah, Verhoeven is the last fight. Nobody knows exactly when a live fight begins. It's in three matches away. I only know the older kickboxing names like Badahari and his group. Yeah. No, there's a new wave. And uh, uh, honestly, Robert, this has been a great card to show off the new wave. By the way, big shout to the over 260 people watching and following along. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Smash that like button if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 100 likes on the video. That's right. We're trying to get to 100 likes on the video. Smash that like button if you haven't already, guys. You all are amazing. It's open scoring. You still go around that third round, dude. That because th- it was one round apiece going into the th- going into the third, but one judge gave uh one judge gave Hamicha that second round, and the third round they must have all scored for Hamicha's favor, or at least three three or four of them. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, what's up, Omar? Uh, who has won? Uh, so Hamicha won that fight. Uh, we'll do a quick scroll here. Uh, Bokemi won his fight. Uh, Kwasi won his fight. Uh, Letetsu knocked out El Bu- uh, Buni. Uh, and Villa- uh, Vidalas beat Chick Musa. One minute TKO, by the way, he beat Chick Musa. Awesome fight. All right. We are at our first of three title fights, ladies and gentlemen. Featured welterweight fight here. Sorry, featured middleweight fight here where we have uh, Bopa against Weiss coming up next here in just a moment. I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen as we have our middleweight title coming up next. Featured fight, co-main event, and main event, ladies and gentlemen. All title fights, Glory Collision 6. They don't call it a collision for nothing, ladies and gentlemen. They don't call it a collision for nothing. It's been an outstanding card. We've had an outstanding crowd and I'm so pumped to have you all along for the ride. Uh, probably depends on the type of shoots. Judge is still a problem. For the most part, though, Robert, they, they do a good job here. Glory. What's up, Adam? Great to see you. Yeah, Kamara won. Uh, what's up, Marab's in the live chat here? What's going on, Marab? Verstappen won. Uh, you deserve all the viewers you can get, so wish you well. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Uh, Colin, you're a smart guy. You know the answer to that question, Colin. Uh, I've seen a great little documentary about a Greek Australian kickboxing guy, but I can't remember his name. Uh, he was a baldy small guy. Yeah, well, the Moroccan kickboxers are still absolutely crushing it today. Still absolutely crushing it. We spy snooze fed, but I'm rooting for Bo- uh, Bape. Daff, you know what? You've swayed me. You swayed me. We're going with Bopa or uh, Boape. Uh, Verstappen always wins. Best driver ever. What's up, Toxic? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, three more fights or two more fights, buddy. Two more fights. Uh, what's up, Poatan? Good to see you. No, this is uh, Vancouver Island. Vancouver Island. What's going on, buddy? One of our exclusive members. Thank you so much for joining. Visiting my uh, visiting my mother and sister here. It's awesome. It's been piss and rain for the most part, but the sun finally, finally peeking out. Great to see you. For 80% tonight, Tariq will defeat Rico. Yeah, I mean, I think Tariq will probably win. I think, you know, he is that next wave. He is that in that new wave, but Rico's a legend, man. 
Uh, this was an older guy who they called the small Tyson of kickboxing. Oh, okay, got you. Uh, guys, we're going to take a quick break here. We're going to take a quick break before we highlight the next two fighters. On the other side, we'll be back. We'll do a quick rundown. Buddy, you keep asking me to send the Discord link. I keep telling you, become an exclusive member, and you can have the link. Uh, Kamara won, Omar. Kamara won. Two chads in the chat, Marab and Poetan. I know, dude. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, guys. We're going to take a quick break. On the other side, we will be back to highlight the fighters. We'll be back to make our predictions. We'll be back to call the fight live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. Two-minute break. I'm just going to refill my coffee. Uh, do a quick stretch, and I encourage you to all do the same. Keep the comments coming. You guys are amazing, and we'll be back on the other side. Let's go.
And we are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. And guys, Poaton, Stonehands, Alex Pereira, two-time glory champion, has just been inducted into the Glory Hall of Fame. I don't think he's coming back to kickboxing. He's going full MMA right now, searching for that second MMA title. And he's literally being inducted into the Hall of Fame. And guys, we have him in the live chat. We have him in the live chat. We have the man, the myth, the legend. Poa Ton is literally in the live chat right now. Shout out to the exclusive member, Poa Ton. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much, everyone, joining us live here on this channel. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, but most importantly, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. So keep the comments coming. Absolutely love the interaction. We do this every weekend. Click the live tab on the channel. You can see all the promotions that we cover. If you want to find this uh, live, I'm watching on Fight TV. Pay-per-view is only $24 Canadian. Uh, you can buy it in the United States straight up from the Glory website for $14.99. Or you can just ask the live chat here and they will help you out. I buy the pay-per-views. So everyone asking me, give me a free this, give me a free that. Guys, I don't even watch it for free. I buy the pay-per-views. I'm a psycho. We're doing play-by-play -play on this channel. We have a great community. So shout out to everyone who's been filling in the live chat. Shout out to everybody who's been voting in the poll question. And hopefully we see a lot of you for UFC later today as well. All right, back to the live chat we go. So look at this. Void D, you found it. There you go. Void D. If Void D can find it, you all can find it. I, I just like, I'm like I said, I'm a psycho. I, I hate having glitches or anything like that. I hate being behind in broadcast. So 20 bucks for a Ryzen pay-per-view, which I bought as well. 20 bucks or $14.99 in the States. Everything's cheaper in the States. Um, for me, that's nothing for a fight fan. I get some people don't want to buy it. That's cool. But, uh, I'm just letting you guys know that's, I'm just letting you guys know, not judging, not judging. There you go. Pay me half of the paper and I'll start streaming it. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm just scrolling up in the comments. Uh, make sure they're giving it to Alex. I knew it. Uh, Emil, it's on right now, buddy. It's on right now. We're watching it. Well deserved, absolutely. Video Land, it's a, uh, it, it's out in the UK, right? Video Land's a broad or out in the Netherlands, is a TV broadcasting company. Yeah, guys, it's live commentary here, boys. It's live commentary here. Yeah, Video Land streaming service for the Netherlands. <laughs> Google's a commonly used search engine. Rico Goat's gonna win. Bro is the goat. Alex Pereira. Uh, da, da, da. What's up, Poaton? Yo, 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 he's in the live chat. Good luck against Samurai Yuri. Shame he wasn't there. Uh, I guess he fights next week. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, dude, Robert, thank you so much for joining, as always, Robert. Appreciate all the... Uh, all support. No, hey, Void, I... I I believe you. You're one of the smart guys. You're one of the smart guys. <laughs> oh, dude. Wesley fits in perfectly with our community here. Shout out to Wesley, man. And also, big shout out to Serial Killers Documentary. He gave out, he gave out 10 memberships on the last stream. He just gave up. He just gave five on this one. And this guy is literally famous on YouTube. This is one of the biggest serial killer documentary channels on YouTube. And he's a fan of our channel. And he's a member of our channel. It's amazing. He's a musician as well. I imagine you do all the jingles for your uh, channel too. Uh, what an absolute beauty. Uh, it's been awesome connecting with you. I saw your email again. And my apologies for not replying yet. It's just been such a busy week traveling and catching up with work. I will reply to you later tonight. I promise, buddy. Thank you so much for gifting the memberships. Seriously. We Dutch are always smart. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> there you go, Wesley. Have you heard of Mike uh, Zambidis? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, probably again. I don't know what time, but two more fights. Two more fights, man. Two more fights. 
Alex has an underdog versus Yuri is crazy. See, I don't think it's crazy. What, what are the odds again? What are the odds for it? And that's from a huge Poetan fan. So what what are the what are the odds for? Is it like a, is he a big underdog or is it like close? Is he like plus one fifty five or something like that? Because if he's like plus one fifty five, I understand. My biggest thing is is Yuri. His style is so easy for Poetan just to step back and hook with. Because Yuri's like he's always bobbing his head around, going full crazy MMA samurai, which can throw some fighters off. But I think Poetan will just stick to the basics, and his step back counters are going to be money. Uh, or his knees, or he's gonna, you know, Yuri's gonna leave his head open for a takedown, or again, just leave that bobbin head open. You know what I mean? Um, so it's good value if Alex is the uh, the underdog, one hundred percent. How many fights for Rico overall? Uh, three more or two more fights until Rico, but Rico's fought uh seventy freaking times, ladies and gentlemen, in kickboxing. It's unbelievable. But again, we have the middleweight championship coming up next year, and uh, we will highlight it in a moment. Just going to try to catch up on your guys' comments. Oh my God, there's so many coming in here. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Shout out Tamara. Amsterdam in the house. Let's go, baby. Serial, uh, he did. Serial Killer uh, gave uh, the Red Reaper a membership. Oh, he's the favorite. Okay, I got you. Uh, never understood why folks choose to pay. The, okay, blah, blah, blah. uh, David, David, uh, Rico's attacks are very strong, but Tariq's defense is really good. I think he can tire him out and take the round, but the probability of a knockout is very low. What do you think? I think it goes the distance as well. I think it goes the distance as well. Uh, da, da, da. I mean, he's the favorite. Alex, okay, got you, got you, got you. Uh, two more fights, two more fights. Uh, Alex Pereira versus Yuri is going to be a great fight. Rico's the best soccer player. <laughs> Off Ajax Amsterdam. What's up, Peter? Good to see you. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. We're going to highlight these next two fighters. We got the champion, Donovan Weiss, 19 Wins a one loss, 10 KOs. Uh, he's 26 years old, middleweight champion here. He has fought 10 times in glory, only two knockouts in his nine victories, but has been in the glory ring 10 freaking times. Nine of those being wins again, not the most exciting fighter, very much a point fighter, very much a distance fighter, but uh, definitely a big challenge here for the number ranked middleweight, the contender. Michael Boape. Uh, age unknown, apparently. Uh, four and one in the promotion. He has one knockout as well. 16 wins, three losses, one draw, seven KOs. I think he has a better chance of knocking out Weiss, but as Donovan Weiss makes his walk to the K or sorry, to the ring now. Caught myself there. I do think this fight goes the distance for the middleweight championship. Rooting for uh, Michael Boppe here, but uh, I think if the, I think Weiss will s snag out another distance victory here. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. Let me know your thoughts in the live chats. It's a rematch. Uh, yes, he did. Yes, he did, and he lost. He lost a decision. He lost a decision. Uh, ready, same. Day. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, Weiss is good. He is good. He is good. Not the most exciting fighter, but he is very, very good. Scott, combat sports addicts aren't allowed to be soft. <laughs> uh, Video land should be paying Wesley, right? Dude, that's what I say about Fight Pass. UFC Fight Pass. I, I say that all the time, too. I'm like, they should be paying me at this point. Weiss is the big favorite. Yeah, I imagine he's going to win. I'm picking him to win, but root, rooting for the challenger. Rooting for the challenger. See, like Project is the fastest growing combat fighting stream on YouTube worth worthy reasons. Oh, thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. King James, like I said, longtime supporter. Ho Dan Netherland. Again, there's there's uh two more fights. There's this fight, and then there's this fight. And then this one starts. Again, it's fighting, bro. You know this as, as much as I do. Like, if this goes the distance, it's gonna be a longer, like the time's gonna be longer than if it's you know two knockouts, right? 
Uh, Kamara lost absolute robbery, dude. Absolute robbery. And I don't scream robbery often, but he, he did not win that fight. He did not win that fight. Uh, Hodan, people are helping you in the live chat. Again, I bought the pay-per-view, guys, so I'm not I'm not handing out links like Oprah Winfrey up in this moth. I'm just not going to do that because I don't have any. I'm watching the pay-per-view in 4K, I might add. Shout out Fight TV. Um, but if you want to follow along, um, our friends in the exclusive membership Discord, they said they'd help you out, or there's some people in the live chat who are helping you out right now. So check that out. Yeah, no problem, Ho Dan Netherland. No problem. All right, guys, we highlighted the fighters. I'm going with Weiss. I think this goes the distance. Hopefully, this is more of a brawl than just a clinch fest but we shall see absolutely we're gonna we're gonna comment through the entire card and then we're gonna move to ufc after this no problem buddy thank you for joining guys don't forget to smash that like button on the channel subscribe we do these every single weekend all right let's get the round on the ticker here so you guys on the bottom of the screen you'll see what round it is every time Uh, yeah, Toxic, you can find it uh, if you uh, become an exclusive member, then click the community tab, my man. Uh, dude, he looked really good. He got knocked down early. I think as long as he can, put it this way, as long as he can keep his guard tight and not gas, he's got the power to knock out anyone in the division. Because he's more of that brute fighter. He like, he lunges forward kind of like, Ho, 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 ho. Like, just like, I am big fighter. And he, like, smashes those hooks. But he does leave his chin open at times, too. Especially when he throws his kicks. He, like, doesn't even have a hand up at all. And he's not chin-y, but if he, he does go down, as we saw in that one. So, I think he has a good future. Has to tighten up on a few things. Cardio and uh, and his his tight high guard. Other than that, he's got the power to knock out anyone in the division. Homicha lost, dude. He lost. He lost, buddy. He lost. A, or sorry, he won. He won a robbery. Sorry, he won. See, I even said he lost there. He won, but he should have lost. He won a decision. All right, guys. Round one. Live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction. Let's get it on. We'll get back to the comments in a bit. If I miss your comment, just comment it again. Two minutes and 55 seconds. You want to sync up your straight left jab from the champion Weiss. Inside low kick. And Weiss with a step back left jab. Boape with the leg kicks here. Boape tried to land a left and right uppercut, but great guard there by Weiss. Weiss with a left and a right. Boape pressuring Weiss into the corner here. Nice right hand and a knee from Boape. Weiss, you can see, is a little bit taller and just a little bit bigger than him as well. Outside low kick by Weiss. Is it Wisa? My apologies. Nice right uppercut by Wisa. Outside low kick in the step back, right jab. I like that. Left to the body. Wisa rips the body of Boape there. Boape, two knees followed by two shots to the body as well. Both of them keeping a nice high guard. Wisa unable to get through the high guard of Boape with the one twos. Boape, nice combos there. Finishing with the leg kick. Push kick there by Boape. That landed right in the gut of Wisa. Straight left jab. Doesn't get right through the guard there. I mean, Weiss is so dangerous with a step back one, too, dude. Even though they're not landing now, you can see they got some power behind them. But uh, Boape doing a good job keeping the pressure here, even early in the fight. Outside low kick by Boape. Right hand by Boape. Again, both of their high guards are tremendous. And unable to pierce the guard of Boape is Weiss. Yeah, and Boape, he got a right hand through the guard of Weiss. Left to the body, Boape. Walking down, we say nice knee in the tie clinch, and he's just pressuring pressuring him into the corner. One minute and 21 seconds on the clock here. First round. Title fight for the middleweight strap, ladies and gentlemen. Nice head movement and counter right hand by Boape here. One minute and 11 seconds on the clock. Inside low kick by Boape. They traded low kicks here. Tried to go over the counter. Right was, we say, didn't land, but did rip a left of the body there. 59 seconds on the clock. Back to the center of the ring. 
Inside low kick by Boape. They exchange kicks there. Both we say 56%, 49% for Boape as far as their landing. Right jab and left. Oh, beautiful counter shots there by we say again, we say just hits a little bit harder here, but Boape, he's fighting a great technical fight here. Constant pressure, mixing it up. A couple shots of the body, as we saw there. Great job with the knees on the entry. Oh, and a nice counter left by we say, but it looks like it's going to be counted as a trip there. He did step forward and fall backwards, but he did get tagged with a straight left, and we say just got a little, mm, he's got some power on those shots compared to Boape, who's a little bit more technical, a little bit more quick. Lighter on his feet. Nice counter right uppercut by Boapay. Five seconds left in the first round. But despite the pressure that Boapay is putting on Wise, Wise is tagging him with some of those big shots. Straight left job, jab by Boapay there. And he finishes with a right low kick. That is it for the first round. That is it for the first round. I imagine Wise is going to get this round. He landed the harder shots. His accuracy is a little bit better. But the pressure that Boapay is putting on him is no joke. And he's landing volume for sure. Interested to see how the judges score this. I want to hear from you guys. Though. How are you scoring this? Let me know in the live chat. Power difference is clear. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, boring fight, says Martin. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, dude. Let me know your thoughts. Boppe's head. <laughs> Yeah, Martin, I think it's a good uh for I think it was a good first round. I think it was a really competitive first round, but um Daff said it here. The power difference is clear. Oh, not the fight, bro. Oh, he's talking I'm boring. Oh well, I'm glad you're here, buddy. I'm glad you're here. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes and 54 seconds on the clock. What do I look like? Google? All right, we said 10-9 on all the judges' scorecards. That's what I imagine. Nice tie clinch there by Boape. I bought the pay-per-view, by the way, guys. Cancel your Netflix. Get the pay-per-view. Two minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. Inside low kick. There's two more title fights. It's worth it. And you can just see the size difference between the men. High guard there of we say is just beautiful he Boape has been able to pierce it with some straight shots but not with any hooks here thus far continuing to pressure him into the corner and or to the ropes is Boape here though enters with the tie clinch some knees again but those counter shots even those counter one two even those one two three fours quick combos by Weiss or we said even two even if one lands Boape I mean he forced to answer is their hard shot slipping as we say they're not going to count as a knockdown? One minute and 55 seconds left in the second round, guys. Nice left to the body by we say. And again, utilizing that tie clinch again is Boape. Boape's head movement is good, like very competitive fight. Just at the end of the day, it's exactly what I said in the first round. We say is just landing with the harder shots, even on the step back counters, like he did when he landed that right there. Outside low kick by we say one minute and 35 seconds on the clock. Oh, beautiful knee by Boape as he just straight up walked him down like he was in Bangkok. Right uppercut there by Boape. Didn't land. But he's utilizing that uppercut as he's walking in here. Uh, left hook there by Wise. Left hand by Boape. Nice right hook there by Boape. Right uppercut. Left uppercut in the pocket here. A little dirty boxing. Right hand by Boape. Those are some big shots. Huge for the round. Another left hook there by Boape. One minute on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Knee there by Boape. Doesn't land. Good job getting those uppercuts in the pocket. Those are some good shots. There. Enough to win the round? Maybe. It's been pretty close up until that point. We say rips the body. Right hand. 47% for Boape. 52 as far as shots landed. 62 shots have landed for We say. 79 have landed for Boape, but he's thrown 170. 34 seconds on the clock, and neither of them look gassed yet. Boape, un incredible athletes here, ladies and gentlemen. Pressuring, we say, into the corner. Counter right there by Boape. 24 seconds left on the clock here. Again, all night, Wiese has been forced to play the counter game, and honestly, he's okay with it because he throws those one twos, those one two threes, all those four punch combos, and even if two shots land, Boape feels it. 10 seconds left in the second round, guys. 10 seconds left in the second round. 
Five. Left shot to the body. Trying to set up that right uppercut is Boape. And that is it for the second round. What a fight, man. What a fight. What a fight. I thought this might be boring. I thought this might be a clinch fest. No. Not at all. What a tremendous fight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, one day we would like you to interpret the fights there at Glory. You're really good at it, man. Oh, thanks, David. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Solid hits for sure. Again, thank you so much for being an exclusive member, my man. You get regular shout-outs in all the video. Ready, same day. Ready, same day. Do you have a channel? Can I promote anything of yours? Nice, Hodan Netherland. Appreciate it. Well, probably kind of rocked him. Yeah, with those, uh, with those uppercuts for sure. Boppe's nose is wider between the eyes and is likely broken several times. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> Good luck. Cheers, buddy. Appreciate you. All right, guys. I think uh, that second round, I think I'm giving it to Boppe. Let's see how the judges score it. They're probably going to give it to Wise, but let's see. Third and final round. Let's get it on. Just, just type like what the name. You just have to kind of type it. So three judges are giving it to Boape 10-9. Two judges give it to Wise. Damn, it's a close fight, guys. Three judges gave that second round to uh, to Boape. Two given, given, or gave it to Wise. I think the second round should have gone to Boape 10-9. But anyways, third round here. Boape needs to win this round and or get a knockout to win this fight. Spinning back for his attempt by Boape, and it landed not clean, but doing the same thing here, pressuring we say into the corner. Two minutes and 22 seconds left. Rico's in two fights, buddy. After One more fight after this, and it's Rico. Two minutes and 30, 13 seconds on the clock here. We say with a nice counter right. Good head movement there by Boape. Moving back right hook there and it lands clean knees as he enters left to the body there by Boape Boape how does he still have the energy to continue to walk him down high kick by Wiesin high kick by Boape front kick there he goes in for the clinch Boape has forced Wiesin to fight on his back foot this whole fight and Wiesin is comfortable doing that but the relentless pressure here and mixing up with the knees the uppercuts the dirty boxing the distance strikes and Boape just somehow still has the pace to continue. It's amazing. What a fight. One minute and 31 seconds on the clock. Straight left jab there. Straight right jab, I should say, by Boape. They attack the legs here. Nothing too crazy. And nice step back one, two by Wise. Tried to grab Boape's neck to bring him in there. But Boape, man, he's just too agile right now. And he comes in with a tie clinch again. Knees to the body. One minute on the clock here in the third round here. Not a decisive round yet, ladies and gentlemen. Not a decisive round yet. I would say Boape still winning with the pressure that he's putting on and those knees to the body on his entry. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a title fight. It's freaking, it's going five rounds. Jesus Christ. It's going five rounds, ladies and gentlemen. My apologies. The next two fights after this are going five rounds. Sorry, guys. That was a brain fart on my end there. We're, we got two more rounds. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. And a left to the body there by Wise. We say even up against the corner right now, those counter shots are huge. Straight right jab by Boape. He's just still coming forward, dude, like he's possessed. Oh, a nice right hand there by Wise. But yeah, it takes one big uppercut on the step back by Wise or a step back hook to land to really rock you. And Boape starting to fade a little bit here, as you can see. We'll get back to the comments in five seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Two more rounds to go. Nice one, two by Wise. Wise lands some big shots here. Back up against the ropes, despite Boape moving forward. And that is it for the third round, ladies and gentlemen. Round four coming up here for the middleweight title. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Fuck, another close round. I think Wise landed the better shots, though. I really do. I really do. I think Wise landed the better shots. I'm brown, Aki, by the way. I'm brown. Get it right, my man. Get it right. Uh, da, da, da. They haven't fought yet, buddy. They haven't fought yet. Damn, man. Damn. Uh, C'est sûr Shane, or Shane franchise. I'm watching it on fight.tv. 
Or there's video land for Netherlands. Shout out to Ho Dan Netherland. He helped you guys out. All right, let me know your thoughts in the live chat, guys. I, I give that round to We Say personally. We're going into round four. All right, round four, ladies and gentlemen. Live play by play, commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. Smash that like button, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Looks like every judge but one judge gave that round to Boape. Right now, Weiss is up 30 27. All right, two minutes and 50. So one judge gave that round to Boape. Four judges gave it to Weiss. I think Weiss won that round. Two minutes and 44 seconds on the clock here. Outside low kick by Boape. He just, he's just fading. And I mean, I don't blame him, man. That pace he was putting on was crazy. And we say, just striking from the back foot here. If he, if he turns on the gas a little bit, we say and steps forward here and meets Boape in the middle, man, that could be it. That could be it. Keep the comments coming. We'll get back to the live chat here after this round, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes and 18 seconds on the clock and a one-two by we say Again, guys, I'm watching on Fight.TV. I got the pay-per-view. It was only $24 Canadian. But uh, hopefully you guys can find a place to watch as well. Counter left and a right there by we say And again, the guard of Boape is slowly, slowly opening up a little bit. It's not as tight as it was in the first three rounds. Tie clinch here by Boape, looking to land more knees to the body. Each of them, 40, 49%, 46% respectively for Boape as far as their accuracy. So they're landing most of the shots. Nice right hand to the body there by Wise. We say ripping the body Boape here, looking to tire him, speed up the process of him tiring out. One minute, 36 seconds on the clock. But Boape continuing to walk forward, but not as much as the first three rounds. Nice one, two, a left and a right by Wise, followed by a left and a right to the body right after. He's throwing those four-punch combos, even if he's mixing it up, going high or low. Nice knee to the body there by Wise. Boape returns the favor. Again, Wise, I think he's just winning this round on just landing the better shots alone. Despite Boape walking forward, he's definitely slowed down a lot more in this fourth. And Wise still relatively fresh. As he's just been on the back foot this whole time. Straight left jab by Wise. Wise going with the right uppercut. Nice right hand by Boape. Huge output, though, by honestly both these guys because we say he's just been countering most of Boape's exchanges there. Knee by we say on the entry. 45 seconds left in this fourth round. High kick attempt by we say. And again, Boape, you can see he's fading, man. He's fading. Nice one, two, right through the guard of Boape from we say. We say left to the body, just rips it. One, two, there's the guard of Boape. We say was unable to get through, but we say lands a three punch combo, and you saw every single one Boape's head being jerked backwards as a result of the impact. 20 seconds on the clock in this fourth round. Another one, two by We say. Yeah, clear round by We say here. I don't think any judge is going to give this round to Boape, unlike the third. Oh, and a left to the body there by We say. Boape clinches, and that is it for the fourth round, ladies and gentlemen. Going into the fifth and final round, the last championship round here next. And Boape, he needs a knockout, man. He needs a knockout, or he's not going to win this one. All right, back to the comments we go. Uh, Marius, uh, we're still in the co main event. Marius, we're still in the co main event. Uh, David. I haven't seen the end of the fourth round yet. We'll see it at the start of the fifth. Uh, in the third round, four judges gave it to We Say, one judge gave it to Boape. What's up, BMW? Good to see you, buddy. Again, big shout out to everyone in the live chat here. You guys are amazing. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Rico is king. So yeah, we'll see how many judges scored it for. Uh, I mean, I imagine all of them scored it for We Say in this in this one. Tina says Boape. You think Boape won the fourth round? I think Boape looks better in the third than he did in the fourth. He's fading hard, and I don't blame him. He's been putting on a crazy pace. All right, guys, fifth and final round. Fifth and final round. We say he's a master in kickboxing. Yeah, he's very very good. Even off the back foot, he looks cool, and call collected, and he still has a big gas tank. All right. 
Let's get back to the play-by-play here, guys. Two minutes and 51 seconds on the clock. Yeah, every single judge gave that round 10-9 to Boape. He's up on the judges' scorecards, 40-36. Boape needs a knockout. In round four, yeah, Boape only got 17 strikes. 48 strikes in the first round, 42 strikes in the second, 20 in the third, 17. Boape's fading, man. Boape's fading. And we say match that, almost match that with 42 in the first as well. Two minutes and 24 seconds on the clock here. And again, Boape needs a knockout, or we say he's going to win this one, folks. And we say with the left. We say still looks like he's got gas left in the tank. Nice knee to the body there by we say. A little bit of a low strike there. Okay, a little knee to the crotch, but Boape seems like he's good to go. Two minutes on the clock. Left hand by we say. Left by Boape in the clinch there. Two minutes on the clock. BMW, my man, thank you so much for joining. Absolute beauty. Uh, we say is winning. We say is up on the judges' scorecards by quite a bit. One minute and 57 seconds on the clock. Left and a right to the body by We say. We say with a left to the body. Uh, Hamicha won, but it was a robbery. He should not have won that fight. One minute and 45 seconds on the clock, and we say lands some big shots on Boape, and he's actually tagged him. Well, one, two, Boape's hurt. Boape's hurt. He took two hooks and straight up one, two, through the guard. They Boape's fading hard, dude. Boape's fading hard, and we say taking advantage of it here. He might finish him in one minute and 31 seconds on the clock here. Boape's on the back foot. Boape's covering up. Boape's going to fall. And they're going to call that a standing count here. As if it wasn't for the ropes and getting tangled in there, Boape would have fallen to the ground. One minute and 11 seconds on the clock. Right hand by Wise. Wise is draining the gas tank now with one minute left, ladies and gentlemen. Throwing those big shots. And why not at this point? Why not at this point? Boape's mouthpiece comes out. He is defeated. It is going to... It's going to... Oh, man. That's kind of a buzzkill now that his mouthpiece fell out because they were just throwing in the corner. But anyways... 55 seconds. Let's get back to it. We say with the right. We say with the knee. Boape just desperately throwing uppercuts here. 45 seconds left in the fifth round. Already, we say, got the, the knockdown here, or the standing count. One, two, three, four punch combo there by We say. We say, step in left, step in right. Doesn't land. Boape blocks a head kick, but We say lands a one, two after that. Boape musters up some energy to land a left knee to the body there by Wise. 25 seconds on the clock here. We say with a one, two. 20 seconds. We say with a left uppercut. They clinch here. 15 seconds on the clock. You see Boape is just done, man. He's just like, oh my God, it's over. We say with a one, two kick combo. Five seconds on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. And what a round. A left and a right for Wise. He dodges a shot of Boape, and Boape is a broken man, ladies and gentlemen. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Great display of respect by both of these guys. Boape threw everything and the freaking kitchen sink at Wise and just couldn't get it done. The first three rounds, the pace that Boape fought at was insane. The fact that we say not only met him in the middle, matched the pace, and landed just as many and more shots on the counter, and then stepped forward in the fifth to get the knockdown and seal it. Unbelievable masterclass performance against a solid fighter, against a solid fighter and a worthy title contender in Boape. Unbelievable featured fight. And we have two more title fights coming up, ladies and gentlemen. I am so happy. Nice, Hodan. I'm glad you see it. Uh, Levi, let's go. Or LeVay, let's go. We say is a complete fighter. Absolutely. Bad man. It was the We say and uh, Boppe fight, the middleweight title fight. No problem, buddy. No problem. Everybody tap. Rico is the king. Rico most win. Uh, one more fight tell Rico. Yeah, Latessio had a great win as well, buddy. Latessio had a great win as well. Sorry, buddy. It was uh, I always have the ticker on the bottom of the screen, guys. You see this? You see this? This will always have which round it is, okay? It will always have which round it is. 
That's awesome, man. Thank you so much for joining the stream. Appreciate you. Uh, Hamicha won. Hamicha won. Dude, the chat's been buzzing. This is amazing. Absolutely insane. Amazing fight, says Luca. Luca, it's great to see you, by the way, dude. Great to see you. Mr. UFC. What's up, Mr. UFC? Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. We say one, buddy. We say one. They're announcing it here soon, but we say he's going to win. Dude, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Man, what a tremendous fight. They both threw so many shots. Over, like, there was over 700 shots, strikes thrown in that fight. Now, all the judges scored unanimous decision and still Donovan we say still the middleweight glory champion of the world valiant effort there by Boape unbelievable now we move up a weight class light heavyweight championship Collision six, baby, and it's a collision indeed. Uh, Jamal Ben Sadiq's last match with Rico shows us that Rico gives better performance when he is forced. Rico's eye were literally bursting, but he took the match in the end of the. The thing is, Rico hasn't fought in a while. Like he he fought once last year in a different league, and he last fought in Glory in 2021. So that's the only concern is his opponent's been more active. Let's go. Uh, Mr. UFC, je parle français. Si tu parles français, that's the only. I only speak French and English, by the way, guys. So my apologies. Unbelievable! I think it was a great performance. We say is a little bit critical of his performance, but I think like Boape's pace was unreal, man. The first, uh, the first three round, like if that was a three round fight. Pff. Um. Anyways, he's giving him a lot of respect here, saying, uh, "No, he's a tough guy." Saying he didn't give up, he's got character, and yeah, no, I like the respect uh, between between both of the fighters there. Rico is the king. Vera, this man is gatekeeping. <laughs> Vera, what's up, Vera? Hey, he's giving a shout to uh to his country there. That's cool. All right, we're gonna we're gonna highlight these uh these next fighters here in just a moment, guys. Again, appreciate every single one of you joining us live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. We do live play by play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. So keep the comments coming. We try to address every single one of them. Vote in the poll question and subscribe to the channel. We post vlogs, music content, fishing content, MMA content kickboxing content as well as live streams every single weekend so hope you all are enjoying yourselves hope you all check out some of the videos that we're posting on the channel hope you guys join us for a little ufc stream later today as well <laughs> what's up irish animal yeah you've met a lot is happening since you left buddy a lot is happening since you left uh jeffrey i'm not showing the live dude but i will be doing play by play i will be doing play by play Yeah, Rico Verhoeven hasn't been very active and almost lost to Sadiq. Oh, it's good to see you, Jeffrey. Good to see you. All right, let's highlight these next two fighters. We have the champion, the light heavyweight champion, Abina. Doneji Abina. 25 years of age, 7 KO, TKO, 26 wins, 9 losses. He's fought 8 times. That's right. 8 times in glory. 
Eight times in glory. Uh, one knockout, four and four. But he is the champion now and well deserved. Going up against a tough opponent here. A tough opponent, the number ninth ranked middleweight who's one fight in glory, one KO. And he's already getting the title shot. Mohamed Tushesi out of Morocco. 22 years old. What a prospect. He's undefeated. 12 knockouts in his 15 wins. And again, undefeated. Fighting for the glory title. Well-deserved, if you ask me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm pretty sure... Is he not taking the fight on short... Wasn't he taking the fight on short notice as well? Shorter notice? But anyways, he's younger... I cannot wait to see this one. This is for the light heavyweight championship. And then after that fight, oh, the fight you've all been waiting for. Very excited for that one as well. Man, I know he's dangerous. I know he's dangerous. Abina's solid though, man. He got, he does have knockout power. What do you guys think? Who, who are you picking for this next one? Who are you picking for this next one? Rico's the legend. Uh, da, 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 da. friend subscribe to the channel this man is really doing something that others rarely do i just found this live on youtube thank you so much david appreciate you buddy appreciate you uh what do you guys think what do you guys think rico is very hard to finish and gets better with damage who do you think wins this next one do you think mohammed tushesi wins this one or do you think the champion doneji abena defends his title let me know in the live chat let me know in the live chat i need help i need help picking this one guys i need help picking this one do, 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 do. rico as i know everyone's picking rico to win but uh, between these two guys i'm leaning i'm leaning muhammad to Shasi. but i picked a prospect in chick musa before and, and he lost so like he got schooled uh, the Universal Sport, Sup City Life. What's up, Universal Sport? Great to see you, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. How are you? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Christoph DM, you're going to Chasey? All right, I'm going to pick him. That is my pick. Uh, bonjour, salut. All right, I'm going uh, Mohamed to Chasey. That is my pick. Let me know your pick in the live chat. Let me know your pick in the live chat, guys. Chick Musa lost it. He got knocked out in the 30 seconds of the first round, or first minute of the first round. Man, Van Rico. Rico be pimping fools. <laughs> uh, what's up, buddy? After this one, after this one. One more fight, one more fight. Uh, going good. What do you think of my profile picture? From it, it's very small on my screen. I'm not gonna lie, but from what I can see, it's pretty good. Am I missing something there? What 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 is all what what am I missing there? Uh, Universal Sport. What am I missing? Tushasi making his walk out now to the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Again, give me your predictions for this fight. Let me know in the live chat your predictions for this fight. I'm going Mohammed Tushasi. I am picking him. I think and new, ladies and gentlemen, and new. We're going to have a new light. He's got that knockout power. He's lanky. He's dangerous. Abena is very, very good, again, at going the distance. Um, I, I think Tushasi might be a little too much for him, though. I don't think he Tushasi picked his uh, walkout music, though. I'll say that much. Yeah, a gold MV. Literally, so many people are helping you out in the live chat, guys. I see the Canadian flag. I see the Canadian flag. Again, folks, if you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. So vote in the poll question. Continue to comment in the live chat. Love the interaction. Love talking fights with you guys. We also are doing a fight campaign for UFC right after this. And we have a ton of videos dropping on this channel this weekend. So join us. Subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications. Wesley, know your role. <laughs> you need to be critical.
Uh, that means I'm Canadian. Dude, oh Canada, baby. Oh Canada. I love it. I'm actually visiting Canada right now. Um, I flew out from Minnesota Tuesday night, got here Wednesday. Cryptical. I am cruel and I like it. Oh my goodness. What a walk out here. Dancers and all for the champion. I love it. He's got... Oh my goodness. He's got a whole dance team and a drum line. Unbelievable. I love this. Let's go, baby. The champion walks out to drummers and dancers. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I know my buddy in the uh, exclusive membership stream, uh, Zek, had a place for you, dude. So, or sorry, an exclusive membership Discord. So you can become an exclusive member and Zek will hook you up. I bought the pay-per-view from Fight TV. You're from British Columbia. Yeah, I, I honestly, I don't know which user you are. But if you're from BC, that is awesome. Uh, I fellow BC guy myself, dude. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, a bit of reflection light between brows and hairline. Oh, like I said, buddy, you have to become an exclusive member. You have to become an exclusive member and join the Discord. Don't get it twisted. The Moroccan is now. Uh, Butter Hari. Butter Hari's not even on this card, but what is up? <laughs> King James, I love it. Let me know your picks, guys. This is amazing. Who do you think wins this one? Abena, the champion, making his walkout right now and still? Or do you think the young Moroccan fighter, Mohamed Tushesi, and new. I'm picking Tushesi to win this one, but I think it should be a good fight. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. I know what self-made generations is going for. Abina, baby. Right now, I'm rocking. We'll play again. Christoph, uh, it's going to start in about five minutes. They're just being announced in the center of the ring. <laughs> when the bell rings. <laughs> Uh, again, shout out to all of you joining us for this amazing Glory Collision 6. It's been an awesome time streaming with you guys. One more fight here, co-main event, and then we have the main event. I mean, Rico Verhoeven, you guys have been wanting this fight. The people have been asking for it for the last four hours. Very excited for it. I'm not watching Polaris right now. How's the event going? How's the event going? Not a kickboxing fan, more of a UFC fan. Nice, dude. So my favorite promotions are One Championship, uh, Ryzen, KSW, and then the UFC in that order. Now, that's not the order of what's the best. Obviously, the UFC is like the NHL of MMA. It's the best. But those are my favorite leagues. I love glory kickboxing, though. I love kickboxing. And this is one of the best, uh, best leagues. But good to see you, Universal Sport. By the way, guys... Everybody, subscribe to the Universal Sports channel. Let's uh, let's pump up their channel as well. Love to support other Canadian creators. H is just here to help you guys. There you go. H is doing God's work. H is doing God's work. Abina, let's go. Polaris has been good. Nice, nice. Yeah, so much combat sports going on this weekend, guys. We had BKFC Thailand, Ryzen Landmark 7, Glory, Octagon MMA, UFC... Polaris has been absolutely insane. All right, fighters are being announced in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. We will have the rounds on the bottom of the screen so you guys can follow along in this title fight, okay? First defense of the title right here is the champion. 26 wins, 9 losses, 7 KOs for the champion. As long as the meatball wins. Abina is my cousin, dude. Let's go, baby. Fighting on a Suriname. Let's go. Doneji, our boy's cousin here. Abina is his cousin. That is amazing. That is amazing. Unbelievable. Thank you all for joining. This is amazing. 
Look at all the people here. Smash that like button and subscribe, guys. All right, round one. We'll get back to the comments. If I miss your comment, comment it again. Or hook me with a dono, and I'll definitely read it right away. But we're going round one. Title fight. Light heavyweight title, dude. Light heavyweight. <laughs> Dushasi is my son. <laughs> Gravedigger Jones, it's been incredible. It's been incredible. Rico is my uncle. <laughs> All right, guys. Round one light heavyweight title is on the line. Round one, let's get it on. Live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction. We'll get back to your comments in between rounds. Gravedigger Jones, shout out to you, one of our exclusive members. You're awesome, buddy. Appreciate you. And a counter left there. Oh my goodness, right off the bat, Abena swinging. High kick by Tushasi. Abena tries to make him pay with the body shot. You can see Tushasi a little bit taller, a little bit lankier. He's going to have the reach advantage. Nice body shot by Tushasi, but then Abena with a beautiful counter left and right there. Abena's, he's got such quick hands and he can land shots of the body with these. Outside low kick again by Aben on Tushasi, and he's just piecing them up. Abena's landing some huge shots on Tushasi. Nice knee at the end of a. Two punch combination. Tushe actually is keeping his guard up nicely. His high guard is tight, but Abena's hands are way quicker. And Tushe is getting absolutely punished for the leg or for the body kicks right now that he's throwing. Two minutes on the clock. We'll get back to the comments between rounds, guys. Left hand by Abena, forcing Tushe into the corner, just landing shots of the body hooks. Good job covering up his head is Tushasi, but he's leaving his body wide open. They reset back center of the ring. And oh, and an outside low kick by Tush by Abena drops Tushasi. And a one-two. He's not going to count it as a... Well, he's not going to give him the count, but it was the lead left leg is getting ripped apart by Abena. And Tushasi lands a few shots of the body of Abena. Again, Tushasi undefeated, but Abena humbling him here early with the speed advantage by a long shot. One minute and 16 seconds left in the first round. One minute left in the first round. 17 strikes to 12 in favor of Abena. And they're the bigger strikes, ladies and gentlemen. Outside low kick again by Abena. He is making Tushasi pay every single time Tushasi lands a body kick. Nice right hand to the body there by Tushasi. 52 seconds left on the clock. 44 seconds left. Right hand. And again, Tushasi taking this fight on short notice. And up. I mean, is he not a middleweight, Tushasi? 22 years old, getting this opportunity, and my goodness is Abena making this look easy. Beautiful left hook there by Abena. Tushasi tried to counter with the back step. Abena pressuring him into the corner here. 15 seconds left. They reset center of the ring. 10 seconds left in the first round, ladies and gentlemen. Right hand there by Tushasi. High kick attempt there by Tushasi and Abena with the right knockdown. Oh, he's going to call it as a slip. He's going to call it as a slip. And that is it for the first round. That is it for the first round. H is doing God's work, ladies and gentlemen. H is doing God's work. Thank you so much, H. Appreciate you, buddy. Again, I bought the pay-per-view, so I feel bad. I can't help you guys out. All right. Do, 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 do. Let me know your thoughts on that first round, guys. Let me know your thoughts on that first round. Scroll through some of the comments here. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> Watching your stream from Surrey, part of Vancouver. Dude, I know Surrey very well, dude. Dude, I'm from Vancouver Island, my man. I'm from Vancouver Island. Uh, da, 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 da. First time moving up uh, from middleweight to light heavyweight. Oh, yeah, that's it. Moving up from middleweight to light heavyweight. Hey, glad that you know someone was able to take this fight on short notice and props to him. They were joking that he was eating to to you know this week. He wasn't even cutting weight. <laughs> All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Round two in this title fight. We'll get back to your comments here in a sec, guys. 
All judges give Abena 10-9. And again, the 22-year-old from Morocco taking this fight on short notice, up a weight class, but saving the co-main event of the evening. Abena with the left and a counter low kick there. Abina's hands are just so much quicker, ladies and gentlemen. Straight left by Tushasi. Tushasi with a right to the body. Tushasi still has that finishing ability. Outside low kick by Abena. As he walks forward, that was gorgeous. Walks forward and then lands a right to the outside lead left leg of Tushasi. And he's already hurt that a couple times here. Nice counter right and left to the body there by Abena. Two minutes on the clock in this second round. Left hook by Tushasi. Inside low kick on that left lead leg of Tushasi. Is it Tushasi? Sorry, I keep saying Tushasi. One minute, 53 seconds on the clock, and a one-two by Abena. And a nice combo there by Abena. Abena finishes it with a high kick. Tushasi, good job covering with that high guard. It is tight. Abena's not landing any straight punches through the guard, but he is landing hooks when Tushasi drop those, drops those hands. They're clinched right now. Ref separates. One minute, and 31 seconds on the clock. Meatball Molly coming up on Polaris 26 now. Uh, Honan Netherland helping out the live chat. Appreciate you, buddy. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Round two. Left hand attempt there by Tushasi. Nice three punch combo there by Tushasi. Didn't land anything in the high through the high guard, but did land a good body shot. Let's see if Abena can keep this pace, man. He is older. He is older. His hands are so much quicker, though, as he lands two right hands there. One minute. On the clock, outside low kick again by Benna as he finishes that combo. Straight left jab through the guard there of Tushasi. One minute left in the second round. Right in a swing and a miss on that left uppercut by Abena. Ooh, a knee attempt there by Tushasi on Abena's entry. Didn't land clean. Tushasi throwing some big hooks here and hoping that he can split the guard. Nice knee by Abena. 35 seconds left in the second round. Five rounds if needed. This is a title fight. Straight left by Tushasi. Ooh, a nice left by Abena to the body of Tushasi. Tushasi slips there. No count. 18 seconds on the clock. Tushasi right to try to split that guard. Get through the guard of Ben, I should say, but doesn't and lands a left to the body. Tushasi is able to land punches to the body on a Ben, has not been able to get anything really through the guard, even with that one two there. Counter left there by Ben, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for the second round. I'm still giving that second round to a Ben, but Tushasi looked a lot better in that second, looked a lot better in that second. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm watching your stream and the Phoenix Suns game. The reason why I picked the Suns is because Vancouver doesn't have an NBA team. Yeah, so I always give my friend a hard time for picking the Raptors, but the Raptors are Toronto. And us in BC and Vancouver, we can't vote for Toronto sports. I hate the Leafs more than I love my mother, dude. I love you, Mom, but I hate the Leafs more than I love my mother. Um, I would say my home team would have been uh, Portland because they're like the closest team, I guess, if not for the Sonics, but the Sonics aren't a team anymore. Keep the comments coming, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat on this fight. <laughs> uh, I'm also watching live in here only for the comments. <laughs> What's up, George? Appreciate you, buddy. Go, Riku. All right, third round, ladies and gentlemen. Third round coming up here. Five rounds if needed. This is a title fight. My boy, Golden Boy Latetsu, made my day and everyone's day in this glory night. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Uh, Team Rico. All right, round three, ladies and gentlemen. All judges have for Abina 2018 going into this third round. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Tusashi landed more, uh, 20 shots in the second round to Abina's 22. Ooh, straight up front kick to the face on Abina by Tushasi. Tushasi landed a left hook here. 
Ooh, high kick by Abina on the exit there, and he landed on Tushasi. Tushasi's hurt. That hurt him. Tushasi's hurt. Nice right hand there by Abina. Abina pressuring Tushasi into the corner, but Tushasi trying to cut off the distance here. They reset back in the center of the ring. Straight left jab there by Tushasi. And a 1-2 by Tushasi. Left by Tushasi. 1 minute and 49 seconds on the clock. Abina with the left hand. Round 2, yeehaw. Round, or sorry, round 3. Round 3, as you can see on the bottom of the screen here. Round 3. Left to the body. Left to the body. 1 minute and 38 seconds. Round 3, ladies and gentlemen. Left to the body by Tushasi. Oh, Abina with a nice right hook. Tushasi dropped his guard. Tushasi got clipped with a kick there, and he's just kind of still getting his wits back. And you can see he's got some swelling next to his right eye. Push kick there by Abina. Nice right hand there by Tushasi. Abina, though, pressuring him into the corner. Nice left there by Tushasi. Abina kind of just walked into that one. Nice right hand to the body there by Abena. They clinch. The ref separates them. Meatball won by armbar. Dude, her opponent must have been an absolute can. Yeah, round three, guys. Round three. And a slip there by Tushasi. Not a knockdown there. 52 seconds on the clock. High guard here by Abena. Counter left doesn't get through the guard of Tushasi. Tushasi trying to set up a big right to the body. Left, straight left by Abena. And Tushasi walks right into that one. Tushasi's getting tired here, man. Nice knee by Abena. Oh, and a nice left, double left to the body there by Abena. 25 seconds left and... Looking for a knee there in the tie clinch was Abena. And you can see Tushasi's tired, man. Tushasi's pretty much gassed here. And again, taking this fight on short notice up a weight class. At least he, at least he answered the bell. But Abena looking to close things out here. He only needs one of those big, big right hands to land. Five seconds left in the third round. Two, one. And that is it for the third round, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for the third round. Going into the fourth round, the first of two championship rounds here next. Abina up 10-9 every single round, in my opinion. 10-9 first round, 10-9 second round, 10-9 third round. The judges agree with the first two. Let's see if they agree with the second. But again, round four is coming up here next, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know your thoughts. How do you think that round played out? We are the best. Oh, my God. It says you can take these guys out, right? It only takes one from the test you. It only takes one. Again, a shout out to everybody in the live chat. You all are amazing. Yes, you. You right there watching right now and listening. You're amazing. Appreciate you. Smash that like button. Like this video. Vote in the poll question. Subscribe to the channel as we want to see you guys on the next one. Again, Team Rico, baby. All right, round four, ladies and gentlemen. Round four coming up here. Uh, Rico, easy win. Mark my word. Self-made. Yeah, I appreciate you, buddy. I'm a fan of one Toronto team, and that's the Blue Jays. Ugh. I don't like baseball, but I hate the Blue Jays. I hate everything Toronto sports. The Argos can go to hell. The Blue Jays can go to hell. I hate Toronto sports. <laughs> but fair enough, buddy. Fair enough. Uh, 30 27 on all the judges' scorecards for Abena. Round four, ladies and gentlemen. Just smash the like button, Team Rico here. Let's go, baby. Thank you guys so much for joining. Bless up. All right, back to the play-by-play -play here. You guys are all amazing. Thank you so much. Two minutes and 30 seconds here in the fourth round. Kid saying it's going to be a draw. Walking forward, here's Abena. Nice counter left by Abena there. As Tushasi was throwing a little caution to the wind with the kicks. Two minutes and nine seconds on the clock. Abena, is he going to close things out in the fourth year? 17 shots in this round thus far, or kicks to one in this round thus far for Abena. Or sorry, that's 21 to seven total for Abena. My apologies. Nice right and a left hook there by Abena. Tushasi tried to throw a right high kick. By Tushasi doesn't land right on the arm there of Abena. Another high kick, but that one lands on the body there of Abena. Abena makes him pay with the left hook. One minute and 37 seconds left on the clock. 
A Bane has 79 strikes thrown or landed, or sorry, 80 shots landed to Chassis 63. Ooh, a nice counter left there to the body by a Bane. He's just trying to rip it to the chin. One minute, 22 seconds. Left to right, right knee combo followed by a left hook by a Bane. A Bane with a left and right to the body. One minute, 14 seconds on the clock. Right, left, the right landed, the left didn't, and a leg kick there by Abena. He's kind of abandoned the leg kick since the first or since the second round here, but it's always there. And he picked apart that left leg early on Tushasi. 59 seconds on the clock here in this fourth round. Tushasi's still in this though. 22 years old. I mean, he's still got he's got youth on his side, right? To go the distance. Oh, and a beautiful left, right, left to the body. Of Tushasi by Abina. 41 seconds left in this fourth round. 36 seconds left. Abina with a 1 2. Push kick there by Tushasi. Both of them look like they're tired in this round. 27 seconds on the clock. Clinching is Abina here. Ref right on them to separate. 15 seconds on the clock. Fourth round. Straight left jab by Tushasi. Ooh, a nice right by Abina. Five seconds left on the clock. Beautiful shots by Abina. A right and left to the body, followed by a knee in the tie clinch. And that is it for the fourth round. We're going into the fifth and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Fifth and final round coming up here next. Again, shout out to everybody joining us live here on the channel. You all are amazing. Like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. I see fireworks coming through here. I don't know what's going on, but I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. Let me know your thoughts on this fight, guys. I think like it's a it's a it's a pretty clear victory here for Abina. And again, shout out to the young man. He's only 22 years of age, taking this fight on short notice, moving up from middleweight, because he's the number ninth ranked middleweight, right? Moving up to light heavyweight to take this fight on one week's notice, or a few days notice, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, because originally he was supposed to fight uh, Tariq, right? Tariq uh, Kababes. That's who he was supposed to fight originally. All right, fifth and final round, ladies and gentlemen, and let's... Oh, shoot, did I have the... I had the wrong freaking fight up here. My apologies. Um, I should just put his actual name. Sorry, I copied the wrong name. But uh, yeah, Mohamed Tushasi taking this fight on short notice. What an absolute beauty. There we go. Fifth and final round. Let's get to it. Again, shout out to everyone joining us here. Mikey... What's going on, Mikey? A uh, shout out to you, Mikey, one of our new exclusive members. What's going on? Had a test on morning, just tuning in now. Holy cow, thanks for the gifted sub. Yes, dude, shout out to Serial Killers. Documentaries, giving out subs, left, right, and centers like he's Oprah Winfrey. We absolutely love it. Uh, it's coming up next here, buddy. It's coming up next. But yeah, shout out to you, man. Now you can join our membership streams. All right, round five. Let's turn our attention back to the fight. Two minutes on the clock, fifth round, ladies and gentlemen. Counter left by Abina. By the way, buddy, link to the Discord for exclusive members is on the community tab. You will be able to see it. One minute, 47 seconds on the clock. Nice right hand by Tushasi. Ooh, a nice left to the body there by Abina. He rips it again. Tushasi still, he's losing. He's probably going to lose if this goes, he is going to lose if this goes the distance, but he's still in this. He's still pushing forward. He's still throwing big shots or at least trying. He goes for the switch knee there and just cannot get it done and trips and falls. One minute and 19 seconds on the clock here in this fifth and final round. Again, so weep on the judges scorecards. Nice knee by Abina. Sweep on the judges' scorecards, and again, shout out to to shout out to Tushasi for taking this fight on short notice. Up a weight class, putting his undefeated record on the line for the title. That's how you know the kid's got dog. He's only 22 years old. Straight left by Tushasi. Abina with the counter left there hasn't been able to put Tushasi out yet. Nice kick to the body there by Abina. 
Threw three shots after, didn't land one of them. Nice right hook to the body there. Abina with the constant pressure, too, throughout this entire fight. And that's what took away the kicks from Tushasi in the first round. 30 seconds left in this co-main event, ladies and gentlemen. 25 seconds. Knee to the body there by Abina. Oh, counter left hook by Abina. Abina's just throwing big hooks here at the end of this round. 15 seconds left in the fifth and final round. Outside low kick by Abina. Body kick by Muhammad there. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. And still... Both of these fighters here are going to retain their titles. Middleweight and light heavyweight. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we got in the live chat here? What do we got in the live chat? How is Ajax doing this year, guys? This is crazy. What's up, Foul One? One of our exclusive members. Great to see you, buddy. Great to see you. Mikey P, I can't wait for you to join the membership stream. Can't wait for you to join the Discord. I'll thank him next time he's in the chat. Go subscribe to his channel as well, guys. Our boy Serial Killers documentary giving out memberships like he's freaking like Oprah Winfrey gives out cars. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is the most boring match till now. Luckily, I found you guys. Otherwise, I would have fallen asleep. Well, George, it's so awesome having you here, buddy. So awesome having you here. Like I said, we do these every single weekend, man. We do these every single weekend. Glad to have you in the chat. Glad to have everyone in the chat. The chat is buzzing here. The chat is absolutely buzzing. Man, you were watching a late stream. This match ended one minute ago. I'm watching a late stream. What are you talking about? I'm watching it. Well, I'm watching it live on Fight TV. On my feed, it's live. On my feed, it's live. The next match is close by the comments. Yeah, it's going to go crazy. It's going to go crazy. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Heavyweight championship belt, ladies and gentlemen, with Rico Verhoeven coming up next. I know you guys are so excited for that one. We got Team Rico's all around the chat, ladies and gentlemen. We got Team Rico all around the chat. I've been seeing it this whole stream. It is amazing. Main event next, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. Main event next. We are going to hear the official winner here against Doneji Abena and Mohamed Tushasi. Then we'll highlight the main event of the evening. Again, shout out to everyone joining us in the live chat. You guys are awesome. Uh, if Rico loses this one, we can say he will never be champion again. Yeah, you know, that's that's true. That's true. Uh, the Discord, oh Chris, if you become an exclusive member, much like Serial Killers Documentaries, then you can get the Discord link, my man. Or you can just buy the pay-per-view, I'm watching it. And still, Abina, the glory lightweight, heavyweight champion, shout out again to uh, Muhammad there for taking the fight on short notice and moving up a weight class, putting his perfect record on the line. Uh, guys, I always buy the pay-per-views, $24 Canadian on Fight.TV, you can buy it through the Glory website. If you're in the United States and if you're overseas, just go on their website. They tell you very neatly where you can find it. If you're a big fan of Glory, you'll have no issue paying for the pay-per-view. It's only like 20 bucks. I'm back. You got for the Canucks tonight. Canucks versus Stars. I got the Canucks. I got the Canucks. I will not be watching the game. Buy video land. Make some money. Anyways, appreciate you guys joining, and especially the exclusive members here in the live chat. Brother, your predictions for Almeida versus Lewis? I think Almeida's going to win. I think he's going to get the body lock and just drag him to the ground and get either uh, like a Darce choke tri or um, arm triangle choke or just ground and pound. But if he blasts double legs on Derek Lewis, I'm praying Derek Lewis is going to land a nice uppercut or his new signature flying knee. Who do we think will win the next match? I'm rooting for Verhoeven, but I think Osaro has a chance to, to, to out-pressure him, man. I really do. But uh, we're rooting for Rico, man. We're rooting for Rico. 
You're watching the live feed censored. That is why it's late. Ah, I got you, George. That got you. <laughs> George is even ahead of me, man. George is even ahead of me. That is amazing. Uh, if you're willing to give them, if you're willing to give them. Wait, Falhon, what's going on with hockey from home? Why, why is hockey from home a liar? Well, we got beef in the live chat here. We got beef in the live chat. Derek Lewis uh, said jiu-jitsu defense, just stand up. Look, I am, and I will say this, and uh, I did a UFC predictions video if you guys want to check it out. I'm not convinced Almeida is like this amazing fighter. I think he's just been throwing around fat heavyweights. He needs to challenge himself at light heavyweight. Having said that, I think he's just going to be too much for Derek Lewis on short notice. I want a nice fight. Go Rico anyways. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, just Canucks hockey from home. Just Canucks. Do the Wild play tonight? Maybe the Wild too. Maybe the Wild as well. <laughs> this is a good comment though, guys. Uh, shout out to Dom, by the way. Thank you so much for joining, Dom. All right, guys, let's highlight this next fight. The main event of the evening, the moment you've all been waiting for, Collision 6, baby. Let's freaking go. Guys, smash that like button. We're trying to get to at least 100 likes on the video. There's 360 of you watching right now. If all of you smash the like button, we will hit our like goal. We will blow past our like goal, guys. We will blow past our like goal. All right, sorry if I missed some of your comments here. Uh, but we're going to highlight these next fighters. Keep the comments coming, guys. 120 likes. All right, let's get to 150. Let's get to 150. Smash that like button, guys. No leafs at all. All right, guys. We're going to highlight these next fighters. The challenger, the number one ranked heavyweight in glory out of Nigeria, Tariq Osaro. I believe he was the heavyweight Grand Prix champion as well, if I'm not mistaken, or he won the Grand Prix finalist. I don't know. I saw him kick ass all of 2023, baby. 25 wins, two losses, 13 knockouts on his resume. He's 28 years old. He's just entering his prime. Knockdown ratio, four. Five KOs in five victories. He's five and one. He's had six fights in the promotion. In all five of his victories, he has a knockout. His nickname is Cookie Two. Unbelievable. Up against the champion, the legend out of the Netherlands, Rico Verhoven. 60 wins, 10 losses, 20 freaking knockouts, ladies and gentlemen. 34 years of age. The king of kickboxing himself. Now, he has... I mean, he's the king of glory, is he not? 22 wins, one loss in the promotion. Let me fucking tell you that again. 22 wins, one loss. This guy is a living legend, ladies and gentlemen. An absolute legend. My only concern, okay? My only concern is Rico Verhoeven has not fought... Okay, once since 20, in 2023. He has not fought since uh, October of 2022 where he fought Hedzi Jurgis in Hit It promotions where he won via TKO in round five. Before then, he won in the fourth round against Jamal Ben Sadiq, but Sadiq was giving him a run for his money. But that was back in... In October of 2021. So he's fought only twice in the last two and a half years. There's obviously going to be some ring rust. He is a legend. But he's getting older and he has a lot of miles on his 34-year-old body there. Let's hope, though, that that time away helped him. Because we're all rooting for Rico in this one. On the other hand, Osaro, he's been pretty active, man. Cookie's been pretty active. Uh, he fought in Collision 5 just a few months ago. So he's fought three times already in 2023, remaining active and fresh as a heavyweight and also getting three finishes in his last three fights. One in the fifth round, one in the third round, one in the second round. This is going to be a tough fight 
for Verhoeven, guys. This is this is not going to be easy. But uh, let me know your thoughts. Ah, man, who am I picking? Let me know your thoughts. Before I give my official prediction, we got to go to the live chat here. Let me know, guys. Let me know. Uh, da, 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 da. 300 likes. Come on, people. Don't be lazy. Like it. Let's go. Uh, da, 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 da. I like raisin cookies. Me too, Brandor. Me too. Oatmeal raisin is my favorite cookie. Hot take. Hot take. Uh, da, da, da. Rico wins this evening. Let's go. Uh, what's up, Mikey P, one of our exclusive members? Yes, I need every least penalty shot, ice time goals. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. But you got Rangers versus Wilds uh, score. Well, the Wild are playing like poop right now, but I think the Wild 5 2. Dude, I know Latessi is only 21 years of age. My only thing with him is he does get, like, he's a little chinny. He does get knocked down. But what I like about his style is he just kind of, like, walks forward and just, like, I punch opponent and just throws massive hooks. And if you get clipped, you're done. What's up, Raymond? Great to see you, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. Come on, people like it. Saw this meme today with a little Sharks fan. We had a sign saying this is my first NHL game. The game was 8 nothing. Canucks ever 2. So sad for the little guy. Dude, it was 10-1 by the end of it. I was watching that game with Shane uh, just the other day. Dude, the comments are absolutely buzzing. Watching from Manchester, England. Good day, mate. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Don. You're an absolute beauty, dude. Uh, it's so sad not to see Fedor Melenko in the UFC. He was a game challenger. Yeah, he was unbelievable. We passed 100 likes, guys. Thank you so much. Let's try to get to 150. Serial Killers documentaries, guys. Please go subscribe to his channel. There's 458 of you watching right now. Serial Killers documentary is the best serial killer documentary channel on YouTube. The guy is famous. I don't know why he's supporting this channel, but he does. I appreciate you, brother. Go support Serial Killers documentaries because they support this channel, as you can see. Giving out memberships like he's Oprah Winfrey here giving out cars. Appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you. Dun, 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 dun. Rico gets chinned. No chance. Third round knockdown. Rico loses. Oh, what's up, Viral Watcher from Spain? Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, let me know your predictions, guys. Four two stars is foul one. Yeah, David, Rico supporters A, Tariq supporters B. Uh, I think the Canucks win 4-2 to two as well. Uh, da, 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 da. Dude, look at that. Serial, killer, serial killers, documentaries, hooking Mikey P up. Cookie with the win. What's up, Dennis? Thank you so much for joining. Rico says Yasin. Thank you so much for joining. Hamza Yasin. Thank you so much. <laughs> Masood giving us some advice in the live chat. I love it. Cookie is a champion. Cookie gets knocked third round. Uh, Dorothy, what's up, Dorothy? Uh, hi, I'm from Amsterdam. I'm some I'm, I'm, and I am supporting Tariq. What is up, Dorothy? Thank you so much for the comment. I am going to be streaming UFC after this. Keep the comments coming, guys, if you want to shout out. I mean, write it in English or French. Yeah, three-round Rico KO Tariq. Uh, Rico fight coming up next. Uh, again, love this, guys. Love this. You know what? You know what? I got to go with the crowd. We're going for Hoven, ladies and gentlemen. Locking it in. Let's go, Rico. Let's go, Rico. Osaro's going to get, wait for it, humbled. <laughs> I'm scared, though. I'm scared, folks. I'm scared. Sounds good, Hog from Home, one of our exclusive members. Thanks so much for joining. <laughs> the Netherlands have arrived. Rico says the bad man. Shout out to Max and Ellis, by the way, who are helping out the chat. You guys are amazing. I I bought the pay-per-view because I just don't want any funny business. I want it. I want to see the live feed. 
uh rico's the goat rico yeah let me know in the comments who are you guys picking to win this one i will give you live play-by-play -play commentary updates and reaction throughout the entire fight the fight has not started yet it's coming up next Rico, let's go, baby. Uh, it's going to start in about 5 to 10 minutes, buddy. It's going to start in about 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, Verhoeven. Rico, says Seth. Come on, we have over 2K votes in the poll and only 400 likes. Dude, yeah, let's get the likes going. Let's get the likes going. Smash that like button, guys. Uh, Maryam, thank you so much, Maryam, for helping out the chat here, guys. Traveled to the Netherlands this year. What a beautiful and cool country. I want to go there so bad, dude. I want to go there so bad. I love Rico. It's time for Tariq to win. Dorothy with the voice of reason. Rico. Yeah, I know, but maybe. Sorry, Phil. I wish I could, buddy. I wish I could. Tell, uh, tell Glory to hire me, and then we will. Rico. You trained with Rico? That's awesome, buddy. Cookie, says Mikov. <laughs> Rico team here, Cookie. Uh, what's up, Glenn? Thank you so much for liking the video. Appreciate you. Mar uh, Mariam, thank you so much for doing God's work. Uh, it's starting in about five minutes. Hockey, do, do, if you spam Leaf, if you spam Leaf anything, instant ban. Can't believe Uberim beat Bader, eh? Well, I mean, he was Uberim on the Secret Juice, so. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. You might go to the U.S. soon. Nice. Dude, the red light district is nuts, bro. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. Actually, Netherlands is a very small country. You need only two hours to see it. I knew him uh, before he was famous. That's so cool, buddy. That's so cool. Hoping Cookies is going to win. Is Rico ready? What's up, Lynn? Hipgrave, what's up, FIFA? All right, fighters are about to make their walk to the cage now, guys. Or fight to the ring. My apologies. Yes, please don't spam. Rico is ready. Nice. San Jose is an awesome place to go. What's up, Ashley? Rico, let's go. Uh, Rico will win. Mindset very strong. What's up, James007? Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Nuali loves Badahari. Uh, let's be fair. Rico is a machine. We know that all. Absolutely. What's up, Iris? Good to see you. Amsterdam is a bad city. <laughs> it's like the it's like Vegas uh it's like the Vegas of Europe. I'm in Spain today. Great to see you, Lynn. Thank you so much for joining. Uh Cookie. What's up straight from Holland, dude? International live chat here. I absolutely love it. What's up, Shy? Shout out from Can uh shout out from Canada here. Good to see you. I am from Halsterin, where Rico lives. That is so cool, buddy. That is so cool. Uh, da, 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 da. It starts in about five minutes, Kufa. Starts in about five minutes. The, the fighters are about to make their walk to the ring. Your brother's moving to Spain. Nice, dude. Rico has a problem with his legs. If the other guy focuses on that, he can win. Yeah, he did come back from a leg injury, right? He's out for over a year because of a leg injury. Belgium in the house. So what do you think of the fight tonight? You think it's going to be an equal fight? I hope it's an equal fight. Look, I picked Verhoeven to win. I'm rooting for him. But uh, Osaro hasn't been facing injuries, has been incredibly active in 2023. Verhoeven hasn't fought for over a year. I think Osaro is probably going to win, but, I, but I'm going with Rico, baby. I'm going with Rico. But that is my honest answer. That is my honest answer. Butter is done. He is done. It is over. But he had an unbelievable career. Oh, not leg, but knee. Okay, got you, got you. Yihan saying Rico is done. <laughs> Let's go, Amsterdam. Sounds good. 
Holland in the house. What's up, Frank? Great to see you. Best wins tonight. Yes, Tushase lost, dude. Tushase lost. By the way, 600 people in the live chat. This is amazing. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, guys. I would never fight Badahari. The difference is Osaris is an active fighter, but Rico is still the champ for over 10 years, so it'll be interesting fight. Let's go. Absolutely. Osaro is a better condition, but yeah, Rico, man, you never know. Uh, to go hard? Me too, buddy. Me too. Uh, I'm going both ways. Rico's nice fresh air, but fresh air is needed. Right, right. Brother, my favorite UFC fighter of all time, Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva. Rico will finish the match in the third round. All right, guys. Uh, Osaro is making his walk to the ring now. Osaro is making his walk to the ring now. Let me know your predictions, guys. Let me know your predictions. Keep the comments coming. Vote in the poll question if you haven't already. What's up, Nick? Uh, don't come here. Only rain and paying taxes. <laughs> uh, ACHO, we appreciate you, brother. Tariq by submission. <laughs> it's not MMA. What do you think of the fight of Francis? He did way better than I thought he would do, brother. He did way better than I thought he would do. Uh, most best fighter, Sammy Schilt. Yes, yeah, Sadiq did a, had a good fight against uh, Verhoeven in his last one. Uh, Noah. What's up, Noah? Good to see you, buddy. Got to go with the Netherlands fighter, but Cookie could crack. The best in the world, Rico. Jamal is just crazy. He is. He is. <laughs> Keep the comments coming, guys. What did you think of the Lumberjack? He damn good, dude. Calvin, just commentary. Just commentary. I, I bought the pay-per-view on Fight.TV. $24 in Canada. I bought the pay-per-view, guys. Uh, but walking out right now, like we said, is Osaro. Let's take a quick look at them again. 25 wins, 2 losses, 1 draw, 13 knockouts for the heavyweight title challenger. He is the number one heavyweight in the division. His nickname is Cookies. 28 years old. 5 wins in glory, 1 loss, 5 KOs. He's finished every single one of his opponents. And he's been active fighting three times in 2023 where he got a second round knockout, a third round knockout, and a fifth round knockout. Looking at his opponent, the man, the myth, the legend, okay? Rico Verhoeven, he's still the champion. 60 wins, 10 losses, 20 knockouts, the king of kickboxing, 34 years of age, 22 wins, one loss in glory. Listen to that. 22 wins, one loss in glory, ladies and gentlemen. He's the legend. He has been very inactive. He's only fought twice in the last two and a half years, okay, and only once in glory. He's been facing injuries. He's he's only 34, but he's got a lot of miles on that body. But uh, Osaru, he's a very good challenger. Verhoeven, obviously, he's a legend, and let's see if he still has. Let's see if he's healthy and has a little bit left in the tank. Chris Van uh, Der Berg, you're a smart man. You're a smart man. Ba uh, ba <laughs> What's up, Val? Badahar got smoked. Stop saying he's the best. Deal with it. He was the best. He's he's done now. Uh, thank you so much for joining, Val. Brother, don't forget to fill up your drink before the fight. I think I'm going to... I still have a little bit of coffee left. I still have a little bit of coffee left. All right, guys, keep the comments coming. Let me know your predictions for this one. Who are you rooting for in this one? If Rico wins, he uh, who could he fight next? I mean, the next heavyweight contender. There's a lot of good heavyweights in uh, glory. There's a lot of good heavyweights in glory. Uh, Butters in love with Ronaldo. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Let's fix a bet, bro. One man, one word. Are you in? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Ashley, it's going to start in about uh, probably another 10, you know, five, or probably another five minutes as Rico's making his walkout now. <laughs> Hank, I think Rico will shite his pants. 
The Lumberjack is also one of the best. Yeah, but he lost to Sammy Schultz also. Brando, I literally traveled. I, I took a I took a flight 2 p.m. from Minnesota to Edmonton, and then I left Edmonton at 10 p.m. to Vancouver, slept in the Vancouver airport, and came to Nanaimo on the blah, 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 on the Wednesday. So didn't do anything for Halloween. I was flying. Uh, I listened to a good podcast. Amir, we're rooting for Verhoeven, but it's it's going to be a tough match for him. It's going to be a tough match for him. By the way, shout out to over 700 of you watching us live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Smash that like button, guys. Rico was knocked out. Uh, Kevin, no, this is YouTube, buddy. Kevin, you're a smart guy. You're a smart guy. Kevin, stop spamming the chat here. You're a smart guy. You know the answer. I'm doing live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all your music folks in the live chat. All right, here he is. Verhoeven's making his walkout. The champion. Hey, looks like he's still in good shape, man. Looks like he's still in good shape. Uh, Kevin, you're a smart guy. You know the answer. Rico wins in the first round. It's over, says a C H O making his walk out now. Oh, the audience is going to lose their mind. Oh yeah. Podcaster was good. Flying is cool. Nice to hear you had a chill time. Yeah, it was chill. I'm visiting my friends and family on the West coast right now, Brando. Wait, Brando, aren't you from BC as well? Dude, if you're on the mainland, I might meet up with Zach for a few brewskis in a Canucks game. Collecting those air miles, buddy. Let's go. Uh, Rico's entering in a Dior jacket. What an absolute G. Dude, Brandor, let's, uh, yeah, I'll hit you up in the, the live chat. Let's, you, me, Zach, let's all meet up for some beers. And if not a Canucks game, let's hit up like, a, you know, one of the a BCHL or even a, a Giants game. Oh, Brandor, let's go, baby. Let's go. Kevin, it's illegal, dude. I'm not going to be showing something I don't own. I'll be doing play-by-play, -play, commentary, updates as I bought the pay-per-view. He hasn't started fighting yet. He's walking out now. Recor is walking out. Uh, I can't, Charlie. I can't. You know, they'll shut down my channel. I will be sued. They will pee-pee-whack me so hard. Um, I'll never be able to drain the main vein again. Da, 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 da. He hasn't fought yet. He hasn't fought yet. <laughs> Trust me, dude. YouTube's getting too smart for that. I bought the pay-per-view, guys. I bought the pay-per-view. Uh, you can find it on the Glory website. They have various spots where you can find it. Uh, again, if you're if you're a, if you're a real fan of kickboxing, you're paying twenty bucks for for the cheapest and best pay-per-view of the month. Uh, let me know your predictions, guys. Rico wins in the second round. But if you guys, uh, if you guys are sticking around, we're doing live commentary, live play-by-play. -play. Yeah, everyone's pissed because they want to see the match, but they they forget it's YouTube. Uh, there you can download a free VPN as well. There you go. Mm -mm. I'm gonna call Rico tomorrow and just ask if he won. Like this video, like this video, let's go. No, I will let you know when they fight, man. They're make uh Verhoven just entered the ring, guys. Verhoven just entered entered the ring. Keep the comments coming. Smash that like button. Let's go, baby. Final fight. Final fight of the card. Let's freaking go. Are you guys not stoked? I am freaking pumped here. Let's go. Main event of the evening. Rico Verhoven is back, ladies and gentlemen. Tariq has been so active this year, knocking everybody out. And he's finally here to test himself against the greatest heavyweight kickboxer in glory history. Is he not? Is he not? Dante doing God's work in the live chat. Thank you so much, Dante. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to talk about it, dude. You know, you're a smart man. You know I cannot show it. Guys, you know this. You are all smart people. Don't let me down. You're smart people. You know I cannot show it on YouTube. <laughs> I'm the, hey, if Glory hires me to do commentary for them, I'll happily show it. But 
Glory hasn't hired me. They're going to sue me. They will, they will quite literally kill me. Uh, da, da, da. All right, give me your predictions. Final call out for predictions. We're rooting for Verhoeven here, guys. It would again, new blood is always a good thing. And Osaru definitely, I imagine, I imagine Osaru is the favorite, is he not? Main event of the evening. He's been more active, hasn't faced as much injuries, a little bit younger as far as miles on his body, but Verhoeven, you can't count him out. He only has one loss in the promotion, despite only having two fights in the last two and a half years. Uh, Tariq knockout in the third round. I like to see Rico fighting. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> Bald guy presenting. Uh, I got the pay-per-view, guys. I bought the pay-per-view. This is YouTube. You know I can't show it. We're going to do play-by-play and commenta commentary here, guys. All right, it's time. And look, guys, there's people in the live chat who are giving you links. Look in the live chat. People are helping you out. People are helping you out. Because uh, I live in Canada and je parle français. Uh, I was in French immersion. What's up, Jess Poso? Uh, I think Rico will have a hard fight focusing on too much on the injuries and his filming career. Who's going to win? I... Th it's going to be a tough one. We're rooting for Verhoeven, but Osaru could win here, guys. They're being announced in the center of the ring now. Uh, BS, you're a smart man. I cannot do that. It's starting in like literally two minutes. Starting in literally two minutes, Rico goes down. I'm watching it on Fight.TV, but uh, that's where it's being broadcasted in Canada. <laughs> BS, hee hee hee. It was. I'm sorry, buddy. I wish I could. Trust me. I wish I could. Uh, if Glory hires me, then we'll do it. All right, guys. Keep the comments coming. If I missed your comment, just comment it again as we call these fight. Rico Verhoeven is being announced in the ring. 60 wins, 10 losses, only one loss in Glory as he has gone 20 and 1 in the promotion. The best heavyweight kickboxer. Of all time in this promotion, 100%. And 800 live viewers, guys. We do live updates, commentary, reaction. Keep the comments coming. You guys are amazing. Round one is upon us. Five rounds if needed for the heavyweight title. Team Rico, let's go. Let's go. Uh, Fight.tv. Fight.tv is what I'm watching it on. And I might be on like a, a little bit of a tape delay here, but regardless. Round one is starting now, ladies and gentlemen. Commentary, reaction, let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. All right, fight is about to begin, guys. Fight is about to begin here. The coaches are leaving the ring. Referee about to give them their instructions. Brandor, thank you so much for the $10 donation. Let me know when you're backed in the lower mainland. We will definitely cra uh, catch a Giants or maybe Canucks for feeling baller, man. I'm getting excited. Uh, hopefully, we can grab a drink. Let's go. Brandor, we will, buddy. We, we, we will. I'm going to be here for all of November. Thank you so much for the donation, buddy. I will give you some more thanks and praise here in a bit. But this main event is starting, so we have to get back to it. Appreciate you guys. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much, Brander. I will get back to it here in a sec. Go, 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 go. Round one heavyweight title. Let's get it on. Two minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. If you want to sync up with my stream, inside low kick here for Cookie. Verhoeven with a few feints. Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Osaro, Cookie with an inside low kick. Straight left jab by Verhoeven. Outside low kick by Verhoeven. Cookie with the right hand. Inside low kick by Cookie. Great job by Verhoeven checking that kick there. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock, guys. Round one in this championship heavyweight bout. A lot of feints here by Verhoeven with that straight left. Osaro, though, Cookie, he's not biting on any of them. Two minutes and 12 seconds on the clock. They are in the center of the ring. If I missed your comment, just comment it again. We'll get back to them between rounds. Inside low kick by Cookie. Great check there by Verhoeven. 
Cookie, though, in the pressure here, trying to get Verhoeven into the corner. Verhoeven with a good checking of the leg. Going back to the knee there, inside the low kick on that lead left leg on Verhoeven. Cookie's landed a couple of those now. One minute and 42 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Verhoeven. Cookie tried to grab it and land a left. Didn't land anything clean. Very patient are both these guys right now. Very patient. One minute and 31 seconds on the clock. They meet center of the ring. Faints by both of them, but more so by Verhoeven. Very, very active here. In and out, in and out. Hands always moving. Trying to faint with that left jab. Being very patient here is Verhoeven. And Cookie's just looking to counter at this point. Low kick there by Verhoeven. One minute and seven seconds left in the first round. Outside low kick by Osaru. Body kick by Verhoeven. On the right side of Cookie. 54 seconds. Final minute left in the first round. Ooh, a nice counter left there by Cookie. Verhoeven with the feints again in the center of the ring. 43 seconds left in the first round. Pressuring Cookie now into the corner is Verhoeven. Enters the cage here. Nice counter right there by Cookie. Cookie with a knee in the clinch, and the boys clinch for the first time in the fight. 25 seconds left in this first round. They separate. Verhoeven trying to pressure Cookie back into the corner, at least up against the ropes here. 18 seconds left on the clock in the first round. 15. More feints here by Verhoeven. Straight left jab there by Osaru. Enters the clinch. They clinch your final five seconds of the first round. This is all the action that we will see likely at the end of this round. Three, two, one. That's it for the first round, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for the first round. Let's get back to the comments here. Let me know your thoughts on the first round. Very close first round. I don't know how to score that. We will see the live scoring in a bit, but let me know your thoughts. How do you score that first round? Uh, yeah, dude, we're going into the second round now. We're in between the first and second round. Uh, first round just ended. First round just ended. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Who do you think won that first round? I think the speed of the fight so far favors Verhoeven. What do you guys think? Who do you guys got in this one? Who do you think won the first round? Let me know in the live chat. Uh, he is strong. Rico wins the first round. Okay, okay. Team Rico. What are feints? Feints, dude. Look it up. Like, uh, like pretending. Pretending to throw to try to get your opponent to bite on it. Thanks so much for joining. Not a lot of action here. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I love it. I love it. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Round two. Keep the comments coming. We'll check back on them. Uh, in between rounds. So it looks like all but all but two judges gave the first first round to Verhoeven. Two two judges gave the first round to Cookie. Two minutes and 42 seconds on the clock here. Nice one-two by Verhoeven, followed by an inside low kick. He's still going strong. Rico won around. Rico, Rico landed more. First round, just feeling each other out. Absolutely. Ben, on how to send me a hundred bucks? If you go to the live chat, dude. If you go to the chat, there's a little money. There's a little money sign. That would be sweet. I'd appreciate a donation. Two minutes and fifteen seconds on the clock here, guys. Second round. Appreciate all you joining. Appreciate all those who donated as well. Shout out to Serial Killers. Shout out to Brandor. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much for the donation. One minute and 51 seconds on the clock. They clinch. Left hand by Verhoeven. Left body kick by Verhoeven. We'll get back to the comments here in a sec, guys. Right hand by Verhoeven. Verhoeven's landing more in the second round, guys, and he's pressuring Osaro, in my opinion. First round was close. Could go either way. The judges saw that, too. Excited to see how the judges score this second round. One minute and 32 seconds on the clock in the second round. One minute and 24 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice right hand by Verhoeven. Dude, he still got it, man. That was a big shot by Verhoeven. 
High kick by Verhoeven, pressuring Osaru into the corner there. Beautiful stuff. Switching stances as well there was Verhoeven. Dude, we almost got a 1,000 people watching here. Shout out to all of you. This is amazing. One minute left in the second round. One minute left in the second round. Nice right hand by Verhoeven. Dude, he's just the greatest heavyweight kickboxer of all time. Is he not? Look at him go. He's making Osaru look like an amateur here in the second round. 42 seconds left in the second round here. They clinch. Verhoeven, man. Just too many feints. Just too many feints. Straight double left jab there. Osaros slowing down tremendously here. Two minutes, or sorry, 24 seconds on the clock here. And despite the low kicks from Osaro landing, Verhoeven doing a tremendous job here, continuing to pressure Osaru. 15 seconds left in the second round. Osaru on the back foot, back up against the cage, checking leg kicks here. Nice straight left jab. Good head movement on the back foot by Verhoeven as well. And that is it for the second round, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for the second round. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. I think Verhoeven won that second round quite handedly, in my opinion. I think he landed, or he did land some big right hands as well. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. What a great round by Verhoeven. Verhoeven mighty in this round. Uh, second round, Verhoeven looks good. Verhoeven looks good. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm watching it live from Video Land. He's absolutely taking over, dude. Absolutely. Uh, Marius, yeah, I'm, I'm letting you know, dude. I'm giving you live play-by-play -play as we go. Uh, da, 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 big boy. Hit the like button, guys. Yeah, smash that like button. What's up, the banana junkie cookie monster? Keep the comments coming, guys. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Osaro is so weak. He's so weak. Proper punches. Let's go. All right, round three, ladies and gentlemen. Round three. Let's get it on. Osaro Finito. Yeah, 10-9 on all the judges' scorecards. This is such an awesome fight, says Knowing Philosophy. Thank you so much for joining. Keep the comments coming, guys. Keep the comments coming. Two minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. 30 seconds in here. Still remaining patient is Verhoeven. Verhoeven lands a good left hook. There at the end of a kick. Hook combo. Nice body kick there by Verhoeven. Osaru's got nothing for him here. Good feeling out process in the first round by both of them. But Verhoeven taking over in the second. And now two minutes in 12 seconds in the third round. Two minutes... On the clock in the third round. Two minutes on the clock, guys. Nice left to the body there by Verhoeven. Verhoeven's the one pushing forward. Verhoeven's the one pressuring Osar into the corner or back up against the ropes here. He's the one dictating the pace. He's looking damn good in this fight. Double left jab on the back foot by Verhoeven. Dodging all of Osaru's shots here. Nice inside leg kick by Verhoeven. Overhand right swing and a miss by Verhoeven, but he's landed 27 shots. Osaru, only 17. High kick attempt by Verhoeven. One minute, 30 seconds on the clock here in the third round. Verhoeven, man, one minute, 21 seconds on the clock here. Still pressuring Osaru here. And Cookie going for the clinch. One minute on the clock in the third round, guys. Left hand by Osaro. Osaro desperately clinching here. One minute on the clock, guys. One minute on the clock. Osaro about done. Rico! 55 seconds. And a swinging left and a miss there. And Verhoeven lands a good counter right on Osaro. 50 seconds left on the clock here, ladies and gentlemen. Verhoeven's looks... His footwork looks amazing. His speed looks amazing. He tripped there. He tripped there right back up to his feet. 35 seconds left on the clock. And for the first time all round, Osaros moves forward. Beautiful right knee to the body on Osaro by Verhoeven. 25 seconds left on the clock in this third round. 
High kick attempt there by Verhoeven. And really, he's the 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 broadcasts are giving a lot of love to Verhoeven here, but it's but it's it's well deserved. He's basically sparring right now. He's landing everything he throws, conserving his energy a little bit here as we go into the fourth round. And that is it. That is it. a thousand people are watching right now. Are you kidding me? A thousand people. You are amazing. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. You were amazing. Appreciate you. Osaro might go down in the next round. Yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on the fight. Round three is over. We're going into the first championship round. <laughs> Hello! Rico Goat. Rico, love the energy. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining. 1K people watching, guys. Smash that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. This is amazing. Open ears and listen now. Cookie now has doesn't have any speed anymore. Give him a pillow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Rico. All right, round four, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Back. Rico is the best kickboxer. Let's go. All right, round four, ladies and gentlemen. All the judges give Verhoeven the fourth round, 10-9. Verhoeven is up 30-27 going into the fourth round. Zero strikes landed. Zero strikes landed for Osaro in the third round. Osaro with the left hand there. Osaro is walking forward. Two minutes and 33 seconds on the clock, guys. Two minutes, or yeah, two minutes and 23 seconds on the clock here. Two minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. Rico with an inside low kick, but Osaro is the one pushing forward now. Osaro is the one pushing forward now, down three rounds, and he can recognize it. Two minutes on the clock in this fourth round. We'll get back to the comments here between rounds. If I missed your comment, just comment it again. Two minutes on the clock. Inside low kick there by Verhoeven. Now Verhoeven starts to walk forward again. Two minutes on the clock, guys. Fourth round. And Osaros, what is he going to do? High kick attempt there by Verhoeven. One minute and 49 seconds on the clock. Is Osaro, did he already gas himself out? There's a faint by Osaro. Verhoeven's walking him into the corner, though. They clinch one minute and 41 seconds on the clock. The ref separates them. Verhoeven with a straight kick to the body. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Back in the center of the ring. Still light on his feet here is Verhoeven. Verhoeven goes for the high kick, doesn't land. One minute and 22 seconds on the clock. Fourth round, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't think this would go to the distance. Nice right hand to the body of Osaros by Verhoeven. Nice right uppercut by Osaro as he enters, but Cookie not landing. Not landing enough here. Body kick. Left kick to the body there by Verhoeven. One minute on the clock in the fourth round, guys. One minute left in the fourth round. Fifty-three seconds on the clock. They clinch here. The crowd is booing. What's up, buddy? Great to see you. Rico is the king. Thirty-eight seconds on the clock in this fourth round. Verhoeven walking down Osaro. Osaro's backs to the ropes here. Inside low kick by Verhoeven. Left to the body by Verhoeven. Verhoeven's schooling this guy right now, ladies and gentlemen. He's showing he's the best, even if he's inactive. High kick by Verhoeven, and it landed. The foot clipped him. 13 seconds on the clock. Back in the center of the ring. Nice right or left uppercut by Osaro. But that's pretty much the only thing that he's been landing on Verhoeven this tie right. Final five seconds of the fourth round. Nice right hand to end the round before the clinch by Verhoeven. And that is it. For the fourth round, ladies and gentlemen, we are going into the fifth and final round next. Let me know your thoughts on this fight in the live chat here. And we have 1,053 people watching. That is amazing, guys. Smash that like button and subscribe. Really appreciate all of you watching Masterclass so far. Damn, that high kick was brutal. We all know Verhoeven is the king of kickboxing. There was questions that, you know, maybe he was going to 
maybe this will be the start of the decline. Nope, not even a little bit. One more round left, guys. Fourth round, no punches. Oh my god, so boring. Verhoeven is absolutely dominating. Osaurus can't win. And still, one more round. Who's winning? Oh, Verhoeven is dominating. <laughs> King of the PEDs. Let's go, baby. No, that would be uh, Alistair Overeem. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a fight. Verhoeven is winning, guys. Verhoeven is absolutely dominating. Fifth and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Fifth and final round. Let's get it on. Two minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. If you just know, he's not won a single round. One judge gave that fourth round to Usaru, but Verhoeven is up 40 36 on the judges' scorecards. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for the comments. Appreciate you, buddy. Sorrow's going down. All right, we'll get back to your guys' comments after this round, okay? We'll get back to your guys' comments after this round. Two minutes and 35 seconds. Fifth and final round, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll get back to your comments. Yeah, I know. I saw that. They clinch here. Two minutes and 23 seconds on the clock. We're in the fifth round, guys. We're in the fifth round. Two minutes and 13 seconds on the clock here. Osaro, for the like the, only, the second time in this fight, pressuring Verhoeven a bit. Verhoeven with a body kick here goes for the clinch. Couple knees there by Osaro. Looks like there's some bad blood in this one. Osaro lipping off a little bit here. Verhoeven. Adding fuel to the fire. Double left jab by Verhoeven. One minute and 50 seconds left on the clock here in this fifth and final round for the heavyweight title. Glory Collision 6. Shout to everyone watching. 1,100 people. That is amazing. One minute and 35 seconds left on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Clinching is Usaro at the end of this fifth round. One minute and 30 seconds. High kick attempt there by Verhoeven. He just clipped him. Verhoeven, left to the body, left jab, right hand by Verhoeven as he goes in for the clinch. Rico, having himself a hell of a fight, coming back after a year and a half off in the promotion. One minute on the clock, last minute in the fifth round, ladies and gentlemen. Then we'll get back to the comments. Body shot by Verhoeven, high kick by Osaro. 55 seconds on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta love steroids. Love steroids. Let's go. That's why KSW is one of the best MMA promotions in the world. Let's go, KSW. <laughs> 43 seconds on the clock. Osaro is being backed up here. The most important 30 seconds of his career, and he's letting Verhoeven play with him. In this fifth round, final 30 seconds here. Osaro's got nothing. The Cookie Monster's got nothing. Verhoeven, what a performance coming back from injury. What a performance. And still, ladies and gentlemen, final 15 seconds left. Left jab by Osaro. Osaro needs, he needs a Leon Edwards moment. Final five. Four, and he clinches here. It is all over. Verhoeven's going to win. Verhoeven's going to win. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. It is all over. And still, Verhoeven is still the glory heavyweight champion of the world. Verhoeven is going to still be the glory heavyweight champion of the world. Easy win. Easy peasy. Cookie's going to lose. He's got nothing. King Rico. Rico won clearly. <laughs> Dude, that's what makes KSW so awesome. Rico wins. Dude, he looked like a shadow of himself. Oh my God, let's go. Rico's way up. He's eating a cookie. Well, that ended. Oh my goodness. Time for a change of champion? Well, he's winning, dude. He's winning. Rico is a tank. Let's go, baby. Rico dominated the fight. Rico dominated the fight. Rico won, buddy. 
Rico, go. Let's go. Rico. Five rounds. Verhoeven will keep it. Absolutely. He's the king. Let's go, baby. Let's go. The OG masterclass. Good luck, mate. Thank you so much for joining, brother. Appreciate you. Hope to see you on the next one. Muhammad Ali, one of the greatest. Just a boring match, says James. Very one-sided. Rico, the champ. Yes, I also love steroids. Rico, the goat. Congrats, team. Rico. Yes, next UFC in an hour. I hope you guys join us. We're going to be streaming UFC as well. I hope you guys are going to join us for a little UFC. Not sure what was wrong with Osaro. He didn't land anything, dude. Not one good punch. King Rico, fatality. Walk in the park for Rico. Rico wins. Let's go. It's definite he's going to win, dude. It's absolutely definite he's going to win. He was up so much. He was up 40 36 going into the, the fourth and there's, or going into the fifth, and there's no way he lost the fifth. There's no way he lost the fifth. No way he lost the fifth. Uh, it's the end of the fight, guys. The fight is over. The fight is over. We're just waiting for the official decision, but uh, Verhoeven's going to win. Hell yeah, UFC's coming. Uh, Verhoeven. In 2013, I was in primary elementary school since Rico became champ. I finished high school, finished all exams, got a job, and then got promoted. Rico has been champ that entire time. What an absolute legend of the sport. That is one of the best comments we've seen. No problem. Thank you so much for joining True Dutch King. Thank you so much, guys. S subscribe before you leave. If you've been watching, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you, guys. I know. What the heck, Tariq? Didn't land one good punch. Guys, thank you, Brandor, for the $10 donation. Can't wait to, to meet you and Zach in Vancouver. Again, uh, we'll have a couple beers, dude. It'll be a good time. Hopefully catch a hockey game. A shout out to Serial Killers Documentary as well. The best YouTube channel out there. Go check out their channel. Thank you so much for gifting memberships, my man. All right, we're listening for the judges' scorecard here, guys. But again, we know who won this one. We know. Too much stress. Eh. Just keep collecting them checks. Uh, it's Jelton Almeida against Derek Lewis. And still... Rico Verhoeven, unanimous decision. Unbelievable, the return of the king. Yes, we will, buddy. Yes, we will. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, it's Derek Lewis versus Jelton Almeida. Smash that like button for this guy. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. He maybe could attempt MMA. He maybe could attempt MMA. Verhoeven saying that that was easy. It's over, buddy. It's over. Rico won dominant unanimous decision. And still... He won every single round. He won every single round. Rico won, baby. Every single round he won, dude. Every single round. Guys, thank you all so much. 716 of you. It's amazing. 5045, ladies and gentlemen. 5045. No problem, Jim. No problem, Luna. Guys, I just want to say there's 700 of you watching right now. Every single one of you, every single one of you, like the video. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We have a UFC stream next. UFC Sao Paulo is next, ladies and gentlemen. If it ain't Dutch, it ain't much. Imagine being a heavyweight world champion in boxing, but everyone knowing you actually aren't because you lost to an MMA fighter. He broke him. Um, 50 45, unanimous decision. Dior shirt as well. I mean, I hope Lewis wins, but yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, 
We're jumping over to UFC, which starts in about 20 minutes. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel, guys. We do these every single weekend. We had, at one point, 1,200 people in the live chat. Amazing. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the donations. Thank you so much for the memberships. Like and subscribe, guys. We'll see you in 20 minutes for UFC on the other side, and we'll see you for the next Glory event in just a few weeks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Again, smash that like button, support the channel, subscribe, and we'll see you for UFC later today. You all are amazing. Shout out, you all. Thank you so much for joining. We will see you on the next one. Peace.